I can see the beach now. Hey, oh! Oh, fuck yeah! Hey, she's gone! Hell yeah! Where did it go? Did In the grass? Yeah! We, I didn't, we didn't get it, we were looking that way. I wanna try again! <laughs> did you see it? No! Are you kidding me? No! Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, the pike. You can keep that. I'm gonna keep it. Do they have horns? They have teeth. Okay. It's one of the whitefish, Bree. Oh. It's a big fish. No, it's not. It's a pike. Oh, everybody quiet. Gotta go. What are you doing? Shit yourself. I know where it's at. Get this shit right there. Oh, there you go. Red Wolf with the five. Red Wolf with the ten. Get the salts. Let's go, baby. Five out of five out of five. Red Wolf's pulling back, pulling back at two, three subs. What's up, baby? I'm talking to the wall. <laughs> People don't even think it's weird, dude. Hey, y'all don't see. I'm literally talking to the wall, and nobody sees this. Like nothing going on here. Just, just a drunken guy talking to the wall here in San Francisco. I'm, I'm not even drunk, guys. Far from. It's just hilarious. It's just hilarious because, like, legit. Like Yep. We're like, keep it tight. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Should I keep it? Yeah? We can do it at dinner. Okay. Are you a coffee? How are we doing today? You guys are going to like our music today. We're going to bump it up some old schools. Yo, come on with the subs. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What's up, Maxie? I can't believe you alive. Yeah. I am Yeah. I mean, everybody that was there and seen it said the same fucking thing. Like it. Right in front of us. Girls, look at the moose. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, you. hey bud, what's going on? Oh hey. Hey. Oh hey. Oh fuck, this thing's so big, dude! Look at this, look at this son of a bitch. Look at Alaska. God damn it. <laughs> hey bud. Oh my it. god. Hey bud. <laughs> I think it's tall as a truck. Hey bud. Hey, bud. <laughs> That's so fucking big. I want to put it on <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit, it's burning my hand. Ow, ow, stop. Ow. Shit. <laughs> shit. Oh man, my hand's on fire, bro. Oh shit, we lost out the kite. Oh, we're going down, folks. Oh, we crash landed in the yard. <sighs> Holy shit. That is not a way to fly a kite in the morning, bro. Holy shit, that is an, a lethal kite. The kite went down, my hand blew up. I'm done with that fucker. That is no kite to Oh god. Oh, I can barely sit on this thing. How are you doing this? Ready? Yeah, I pushed my window. Oh god. Ready? No. Oh god. <laughs> 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 I can't feel my toes. I pushed I pushed her far. Oh god, dude. Oh, that's so great on my back. Dad, I can't feel my toes.
It's coming to me. It looks like a whale. Well, you got all the vegetables attached to it. I know, right? Oh man, you ate that. You ate that, bro. Bro, you stay ate that. She's getting a video of it. Not yet, but <clears throat> where you want to take a picture with? Right here. Right there. Yeah. Well, they don't run again. Yeah. No more. No more. No more mo oh, moose right there. Oh, two. Oh my God. Holy shit, those are huge. You guys see the moose? It smells like straight marijuana now. Moose? Smoking marijuana? There's just two moose just, just chilling. What, what the fuck? She bought a gun? What the fuck? She got her own gun? <laughs> what do you got there, dude? I got my own fucking gun. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What do you mean about a gun? I got approved in 30 seconds. What? The guy in front of me was like, he's like, you got delayed. The other guy, you got delayed. And he goes, here's his approved. And he just put it through in like 30 seconds. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? She just goes in the sporting goods and buys a gun? What? Throw it on here. Whoa! Okay, throw it on here. Because our food's already done. Yo! Oh, no. Yeah, don't. You want not know, Yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah, I got them white. I can't get you when this speaker isn't on. It was just a little farther away. It was on. I, I just haven't been keeping. Yeah, I haven't been keeping it in my backpack because I'm trying to separate my two modems. When they get next to each other, they get too hot. So I've been trying to separate them. I, I've been noticing they're, yeah, slowly. Um, is yet uh, again something that I love to do outdoor nature and enjoying that so again um, <clears throat> glad to have you here I'm glad to watch I'm glad to have you watching but as far as number one goes this is number one <clears throat> I'm just glad it's not ass cold out here today Christmas, everyone. So glad to be here. I'm glad you're here too. And what's up? What? Um, how do you get into this? Kind of stuff that somebody the other day did the AP broadband thing. Yeah. How do you, how do you, uh, you just 192. Oh, okay. And then the password is either admin or ones. Yes, sir. The yellow, mellow. I knew it was gonna do it. Oh yes, bam, you know what this is. That is a beautiful. That is a beauty. Oh yes, sir. I knew the yellow was gonna do it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, get, redo your food. You can have mine. They got all your food. That's all bath water and stuff, too. Yeah, dude, get all yeah toss that out. You can have mine. All like your teeth. No, it's fine. <laughs> that came all over your food. <laughs> it looks like right at me.
<laughs> we got it. We got it. I should have held on to that key. It's not locked. It's just I have to grab it. Put it in my door handle. I know you did, but you should have put it in the glove box. Or underneath um, the yeah, center console. The, the center console. It's all my fault. Like if you want to be on it, right? <laughs> He's like, I'll do both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. There's like 500 people watching you. <laughs> you do this all the time? Some the I do. I I stream every day. Really? Like here? No, no. Uh, just all kind of shit. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm homeless. Really? That's actually cool. <laughs> yeah, I have a camper out there. I just kind of sleep every, anywhere I want. <laughs> yeah. Where have you been? All around the country. Really? Yeah. That's a favorite. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have a favorite. They're all pretty cool. Florida was cool during the win uh, winter time, and Montana was one of my favorites. Tennessee, a lot of places. Nice, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I just go where I want, travel, and do what I want. <laughs> <Soda. laughs> <laughs> I gotta do it one more time. I wanna do it one more time and then I'll stop. Okay, one more time. Hmm. Happy it's not snowing, is it? <laughs> I gotta do it. <laughs> I, I, it's snowing. But it ain't snowing, right, Pappy? <laughs> I gotta do it, dude. I love you, Fabio. You know I gotta do it. You got another mouse? Scott, what? Can you please get Kaylee the fuck out? Kira's just trying to get a rubber band. She just crammed and smashed her head against the thing. See if you guys can see it on your end, okay? It goes down in the hole. <clears throat> you know how deep you are, dude. Ha <laughs> ha. What's up, Kirtan? I left my other phone in there. Shit. Oh, you can drive a few, yeah, you can fly, drive a few hundred trucks on this. <laughs> Is that incredible, dude? Look at that. It's almost lunchtime. Are you ready? I know, maybe. Somebody make a clip of this, yeah? Up, you're, gonna, you're scratching the blade, but... Okay. Freaking unbelievable. Can't drag your cross yet. Oh, 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 See? Oh, oh, See, that's what I'm telling you. Look at them. Look at them go! <laughs> and they're gone. That was yep. dope! Sorry, I probably scared away. Scared me. <laughs> Did you guys see him? That was a lot. Oh my gosh, that was there's one, Josh. There's a big one by you over there. Over there. Yeah, we use Onyx off road. What's that? Onyx off road we use. So we just find different spots like that off Onyx and, uh, and then we, yeah. Can't, oh yeah, we just got done sledding with them and took them sledding. But think about, uh, we're gonna go a couple hours from here to another spot, and then um, after that, we're thinking about maybe Alaska. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we're gonna pack up slowly and get it. Uh... I think she needs her meds. The medicine's not wearing on. It's kicking off. Oh, shit. It's already frozen. Slushy bears all for everybody. Um, go put them in the sink. Put them in the water. Oh, boy. Slushy bears are the worst. Oh, slushy. I'll be more refreshed. I'll be able to spend time with the kids. Everything will be dope, dude.
get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> holy shot, bro. Oh, Legit. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's dark. Holy shit. It's dark. Oh, it's coming towards us, huh? Yeah. yeah. in there, that's what I was afraid of. Four pound test. Hey, Mary Stone. <clears throat> Get my hook back. Oh, man. Only running four pound test. It only takes a second for that to get caught up and break the line. Like that. garlic salmon eggs. Those garlic salmon eggs work wonderful. Does, you do not. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you, you lies. No. I bought a Dollar Tree today. Dollar Tree was temporarily closed, dumbass. Fucking hate <laughs> Can't do the twist that's why I like that one you go like this and it just fucking sends it you know good job Kimmy good job good job baby just stay right stay right there the fuck dude First fucking beer, dude. I must put it down. I ain't getting nothing in there. There was definitely something in that. We don't know what that was. What are you guys doing? What? Yo! <laughs> that is hilarious. Shake your ass. It's not quite happy hour, but time is doubled. It's added. That is fucking hilarious. Yeah, there's a secondary. This is yeah, the first that's one. The first one. Yeah, guys, we are not done yet. <laughs> no, that was just the first one. Yeah, there's a secondary. There's another one up here. Yeah, y'all yeah, think we're done yet? Oh, no. We're in Canada, right? Now we're in Canada. Yes. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't like it. <laughs> no guns. Kidding. Yeah, that's the first yeah, one. Yeah, one more. One more. Dad, at least you know it's gonna be a little bit safe because there's no guns. Okay, so what's 25 US dollars to Canada? Woo we answer one. Thanks. Hey, welcome to Canada, boys. Uh, let's Here's see my. Where they do the body search? Oh shit. Oh hell no. Well, that was the. Big Papa, you fucking legend. Well, that was the U.S. Customs one. Now we're going through Canada Customs. <laughs> Great. 
But they were Canadian officers, I don't know. There they go. Look at them. Twenty thousand of them. Look at them go. Look at the little fuckers. These right now would be perfect lake trout bait. Look at them fucking skip the water, bro. Kaylee. Don't hear snakes through the the uh, the dog bed, by the way. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> a bunch of hippies with hairy armpits. They come out and they fucking litter everything up. They shit everywhere. Leave the toilet paper, and they and they destroy the area. So our hunting grounds and our camp camping grounds get shut down because of those turkeys and what do you do right usually most cops and everybody comes through they use their diligence and they go there's your welly bitches oh shit oh man we're moving hell in it Woo! damn Shit, losing all kind of shit back there. Woo! Just a full send. Oh, we're kicking up speed. We're gonna fucking get there now. Hey, now. <laughs> I'm so fucking sucking wet, dude. I got water all over me. I went in that thing like a water whacker ball. Who did that? Woo! FaceTime, that's a good idea. We getting wild today? I don't know. What's up, Sleazy? I don't know. We're just going with the flow here. Oh... No, no, that's hilarious. That's t that's completely good. Um, would that refresh? It didn't lag. I actually it went through, but I don't know if you heard it. A Baja might be a goat. I'll, re I'll replay it. There they are. I see them. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I got him on camera now. more thrusters on. No, you're right there, you're done. No. It's been an hour. I'm not joking. Buddy? Are you been oh, why is it just lingering around there? Oh. What? Down here. <laughs> well, they did. They did. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Julie, I wonder if they know they started us. <laughs> What's up, Legends? Uh, How you doing? There we go. <laughs> did he mean to do go live? It's been 30 minutes. <laughs> and now he's like, it's been 27 minutes. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Good morning, guys. They kind of filled in some of these potholes. Thank goodness. Yeah, we out here. We oh, way out here. Bro, you're about to lose your bumper. You live out there. You want, I mean, yeah, I said we just go to them, see who's out there and fucking just slam it. Damn, we'll be in here soon. What's up, Lee? What's up, Paige? Really? Legend Tier 2s? <clears throat> Portland? What's up, Jeep? He should be on his long term. Dude, it's hard to beat, man. This place is just gold. Golden. <laughs> I would have been past you. What's up, Garris? What up? Leave. Yeah. It's just a process to get out of bed and get everything set up and then get coffee going and, and flowing and kids out and then, you know, pack pack down everything and take down the Starlink. Coffee. Bathroom and... Yeah, baby. Any updates on the house? Uh, yeah. They, nothing yet. He got the offer, and uh, oh, he got the offer, but we nothing yet. He said he wants to talk to his what? He he, he got a couple bits out uh, not too long to find out. So we'll find out. Hello, what's up? Got there this. we go. Told you he's on his lunch, right? Yo, well, there he is. There's the man himself, the legend. Brother Bam, we are going all the way to the biatch. Actually, he might be on his last break. He has lunch, is it? This is where we fucking smash the fishies. I also want to try the other yeah. side over there. Right here, right there. Just got on lunch, yes sir. Oh, okay. I said that earlier and I was like, wait, maybe? <laughs> We were a little, I wish we were a little ahead of schedule here. 10 fucking 30 here. Just glad they filled in some of these potholes. They didn't fill them all the way in, so it's still bumpy, but it's not like. It's, do, it's doable. Yeah, you can actually drive on it now. It's it's night and day game changing difference. It's little bumps instead of fucking rocking the whole truck and trailer. <laughs> Another fake account, I see. <laughs> oh, you're the one from the YouTube. I see. Oh, yeah. 
Ah, my guy from the YouTube. Oh, yeah. You're the YouTube guy that keeps commenting all my stuff. Hey, Christopher, Chris, welcome in, bud. Bud, bro, you're getting crushed. Everything you think you're doing, you're getting crushed. We're fucking winning. We are just getting started, and you're losing on every element, bud. You're playing checkers. We're playing chess. Try to keep up. Oh yeah, by the way, we're late on breakfast, so have mom make us something real quick. Would you please tell your mommy I'm up? I'm gonna come upstairs and tap some meal deals on us. <laughs> oh, fucking peasant! <laughs> he's mad, dude. I just commented on the YouTube. I was like, "How does it feel?" Because he he was he's watching my all my YouTube and commenting, and he goes, "Hey, Tori." He's like, "This, this, and this." And then the next video I put out is literally shitting on the comment he made, like, uh, like. Oh, he talked about the isolated city. And then next thing you know, we're in a most isolated town looking at the place. It's just hilarious. Just shut up the haters. <laughs> What's up, peasant? Tori, what up? <laughs> How does it feel? Here tonight. I'm a little bigger. Oh, yeah, guys, do follow my YouTube channel. I'm putting out uh, YouTube shorts. We are putting out YouTube VODs one after another. And uh, go ahead and ban that guy, by the way. Get him out of here. Um, we're going to be putting out gods left and right. Uh, YouTube shorts are going out right now. Updating you guys. A lot of stuff going through. Thanks, Oh, yeah, her seatbelt's on. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta see the junior part. <laughs> yeah, they got their belts on. They always do. I'm like, you guys can take your seatbelts off. And like, when we're, like, you know, in the woods, just creeping, like, going two miles an hour. Here they go. He gone. Thank Here you. Gone. Thank yeah. you. Now he has to make another account Bam. and a whole another watch day. And I will get back to a little bumpy here, bud. Yeah, this one gets bumpy. Yeah, I, I will get back to trying to update you guys on the times when we're going to go live. I know I was a little upset on that day. I was like, yeah, then what? Fuck off. I'm not going to update anybody. But um, our, our shit's so inconsistent, it's frustrating because I can never give you a permanent answer. Oh, boy. We're back to the pots. Potholes. Hey, at least it was the last half a mile. Shot collar, 20 inch blade. I've never seen that road like that. Yeehaw. Hello, Spunky's mom. And I'm going to be putting up, uh... Hey, Spunky's mom, how you doing? What? What's up, sis? What's up, Snarky? <laughs> putting out these YouTube videos. Snarky yeah. puffing, hello. No, we're not. Well, we are going to eat. We're going to go make food. Well, it's 10.30. Oh. We're done for it. We're not going out to eat. We were going to make food back there, and then we're like, you know what? It's a weekday. Let's go all the way to the end. Ah! We're back so that's in the how bounce. normally this thing is. Ah. Oh, God. Uh, Please don't fall off the table. What? The cooktop you left up there. I'm going to fix it. Maybe you should, because I don't want it to fall yes. and break that. Attachment. Hey, Sheena. Oh, you meant Josh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Guys, yeah, this road is donkey. Get all over that side. I am, but there's huge puddles uh, underneath. Uh, excuse me, guys. Pardon me coming through. We're doing it. <sighs> oh, what? What, bud? Brad, what's up, legend? They did have fun. They're like, why'd you guys come back? You should have stayed another day. <laughs> Brother, Brad. Oh, nope, Kira cried. He just like bottomed out the whole car. <laughs> What's up, man? 
so the water sample actually the guy didn't have the water on because he wasn't been there in a year, about a, a while so he turned the water off for, at, the, winter. for the winter and um fuck it wasn't on when i got there so nope. he's gonna have to go back turn it on so we can get the water sample but that's after if he accepts the offer what's up homie how you doing jason Go over this. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hopefully, bam. My stomach's been like turned upside down for two days. <laughs> yeah, it is cool outside. Huh? So, <clears throat> I've been doing research on on what what's out there for hunting wise. Black bears are so abundant out there. There's so many black bears because it's it's just full of berries. It's like black bear paradise. So your boy's gonna get a black bear rug here shortly, or a hat, or a jacket. You know we're gonna go do some black bear hunting, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> Always good to see you, Red. <coughs> and good, Blue. How are you? Blue, good to see you, man. We're going to go out there and smack some fish. We just drove far away from our last spot. You guys saw us out. We're a long, we're long ways. We're like six hours away from where you guys saw us. If you were to, if you caught, if you count the ferry boat ride. <laughs> Well, probably almost, five hours. Almost 200 miles. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, we're wow. Sliding, sliding and slipping. It's just pure ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're sliding. <laughs> Naughty buddy. I really like this house right here. Like, I love the colors. You have to choose which one looks worse. This whole fucking place looks worse. Well, that one's like the, 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 the. This one's at least a little skipped in between. Sixty-five refunded too. Sixty-five. Yeah. That's something different. <laughs> I emailed her again and said that I got double charged twice. So. The sixty-five is probably because they charged us for LRT on top of it when LRT included. <clears throat> That looks so stupid. They put that fake little. Uh, oh, that's nice. What doggy? Oh, it's a campground. That's why. It says what, pot, pot what, what temperature is it for you guys? 
Get to the far right, you go far, whatever. Guys, we're, we're going to be pushing 30s. I mean, reality of things is we're really not going to be in warm temperatures any time ever. <laughs> we're looking at the temperatures in, you know, the next a year. couple months coming up. And it just appears that the temperatures are going to stay like 40 degrees, 50 degrees is like where we're going to be at. And then the winter is going to be, you know, below 30. Not zero, negative 30, but under 30 degrees. <laughs> oh, behind this big drop. If that place wasn't so much, I would just put it. 33 there. 25, Chad said. What's up, man? 57. Um, no update on the property yet. Uh, he, he did get the report. He did reply back to the, um, our real estate agent and kind of let him know that, okay, he got it and he's looking at it and he's talking to the old wife. <laughs> I see Lenny. So you'll get a free pizza for next time and they'll still call them and they'll deliver it again for free. And then they'll give you a thing that says, that didn't go as well as planned. Here's a free pizza. Ugh. So I've come to the conclusion though, we're going to need a pizza oven for out there. So that we can make our own homemade pizzas. Not uh, huge potholes. This is probably the best try. Bad news, I broke my fucking new cell phone, so yummy. Mommy. Sheeple, what's up, Ledge? Radler, what's up, Legends? Car Courtney, what up, baby? Mary. Well, you missed a lot, Mary. We out here. How you doing? That's a cool home. Sebastian. That's a G right there, man. That OG. No, because he's gonna wait for me. I wanna go this way. Ugh. Can you go easy on the bounce while I drink coffee, please? Nope. <laughs> la, la, la. Oh, boy. We gave him fucking 48 hours to reply, so he has today. <laughs> yeah, he has till today at like 5 p.m. We dirty, bro. We gave him 48 hours. We said we want this bitch closed by the end of the month. Uh-huh. Faster. Hey, what's up, fuck boy? Fuck boy, Bob. What? Has that been your that ain't been your name? What's up, Richard? How you doing? Yeah. Oh, this looks repaved. Oh, this is or totally redid up. Redone, yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, maybe not. It's just darker. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Paige. There's some at like uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, stuff like that, that are like the wood-fired pizzas. I want to. I want one like that. These bumps, man, are uh, so bad. They're so deep and they're horrible on the rig and they're horrible on the trailer and everything just gets thrown off. You don't off want off. everything off in the trailer to be on the ground. It gets just fucking pulverized. This sauce is sweet, man. No, it's not really? ice. That's not what we're going to do. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. That's a cool house. Look at that. That reminds that should be in Pacific City. There's some big old titties. That's a beach house. That's a beach house. Definitely a beach yeah. house. Yeah, that's a beach house, not an Alaskan house. <laughs> what are you thinking, bud? I mean, it's a good layout, though. But the, the wood, though, you guys got to take care of your fucking wood, man. Yeah, that has not been 
Fucking remedy that, man. You while. gotta treat that stuff with some good love. I really like this one. Also. <laughs> Look, the bird's sitting on top of the bird. Right, people? Oh, it went away. But there's a turn. Right? Cool. The view in the house? Woo! That glacier in the background? Good lord. So the house we're looking at, if you guys don't know, the reason why you can't get to it is because it's surrounded by glaciers. So all the, all the, all this shit in front of us, if you just drove north, well, south. if you just, south, is it south that way? Yes. If you went that direction and went up and over all these mountain ranges, that's pretty much how you're going to get, that's how you would get to our place that we're looking at. Without this peninsula. This is, yeah. So all this right here is glaciers upon glaciers. You can leave here from boat, but it's going to take you a couple days here, a couple, yeah. whole day. Glacier city all through, oh, glacier nation. Glacier country, more like it. Cause we don't do that city shit here. We country boys, we're the real deal here, bud. We go out. But hey, this uh, all out up front of that is all glaciers. So you would have to, you can't walk there. That's the reason why you can't get there. And that's the reason why there's the diversity of wildlife's changed oh. there too. And also the biggest thing about Alaska, everybody always says, oh, the bugs are so bad. There's not as many bugs out there. All the locals ever we talked about, they're like, what do you mean bugs? I lived here for fucking 26 years. Never had to put on bug spray. Flies? What flies? Never had to deal with them. Mm -hmm. So if you answer that question about it, there's a answer somewhere along the way of we are going to be in it. Nobody out here, it looks like. Nobody, oh. nobody out here, but one, two jackalaros over there, probably hikers. We got the beach. We got the beach for our stop. Wait, what's this guy doing? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Hi, bud. Don't pop a fucking attitude with daddy, bud. I got my belt on. You can get a spanking. <laughs> Go back there. I'm gonna turn around. I'm trying to turn around. Queen, what up? In today's game is glaciers. What's up, guys? How you doing, legend? Good to see you, baby. It was a pleasure. That guy's in a fucking hurry. I, I think he forgot to grab Did you take something. A shit? I don't know. He's like, oh no, get back there. People like him, the road's janky, just so you know. When you drive like a maniac on these roads, you dig out the holes. I think I should get over more. Yeah, a lot quieter during the week. Well, that's why we decided to come here, Brother Bam. Fucking legend is, uh, well, it was it was basically, we were going to go to the Kenai River, which obviously, for anyone that knows anything about fishing, it's going to be slow. Yes, it's real It's real class fishing. It's one of the best fishing rivers on, in the fucking, in the whole world, dude. Uh, you know? And... They hold some of the biggest and the finest quality trout. The biggest st salmon runs on the planet come from there. And re regardless, it doesn't much matter because it's between seasons and it's a, it's the breakup in Alaska. The weather, the, the water, the, the seasons. Perfect. There, there's not, the fishing ain't gonna be fun. Oh, of course. The fishing ain't just gonna be that good there. It's just because of that. And I was like, well, the tides aren't that good here, so we're going to have some pretty heavy tide exchanges. And I said, you know what? Let's take the opportunity, come here for the next few days, fish this place out, see what we can do here. There's some hiking and exploring we're going to do. And then we, and then we, during the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, when this place starts to get busy, we can get the fuck out of here and then go to the Kenai when nobody else is out there. So here's what we're looking at right here. Holy fuck, it's beautiful. We're gonna cast out here. Look at this madness. Mask on, what's up, legend? The, well, the Humvees is gonna be too far from, from us to do them. That's just the reality of things. You know, we gotta do what was best for us and our interests. You know, we always try to do stuff for everybody else. And if it works out and it lines up, you know, we'll do it. But when it doesn't line up, it's just the reality of it, you know? I can't put my entire life on hold to go be in a place where there's no salmon fishing beach fishing and content for me except for the you know the homies would be crazy but i mean then then basically i'm just fishing fishing uh majority i'm going to be fishing lakes which i hate fucking lake fishing can't stand it and then i'm fishing lakes and uh and then i'm sitting around just waiting for the humvee stuff to go 
you know and that's what, what is that good for for me it's just hard for me to do something like that if there ain't a homestead and if i don't have a homestead in the area and i can't find anything out there so life leads you on a journey and you take the journey you can fight the journey or you can ride the journey it's like a wave yesterday holy shit you guys could see some of the ways we went out you guys would sh some of you guys would literally shit your pants leaving that place but the waves when we left when we left um the 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 town i'm looking at the house there was 10 15 foot 15 20 foot swells we were you you would go down a swell and all you would see is just a shit fucking wave just a wave you couldn't see any of the, the place and it's an hour it's a fucking 45 minute boat ride so you, you we had 45 minutes to just just the most rugged seas i've probably been on in a long a long time but even even some of the worst than the uh, Oregon and Washington and they have some of the worst bays on the planet you know the Columbia River is known notorious for da dangerous but we went across it and Bree was about to throw up the whole time and I was just like woohoo I'm not getting seasick I'm, I live for that shit but that catamaran is something else but yeah we were out there we went across it and boy howdy it was pretty rugged very rugged but um, those boats and those guys are good with the uh, what they do no, I didn't throw up. I was chilling. Look at that view. I know this place is incredible. There's no properties out here. See, I would live out here. I honestly would. So here's the difference. So where we're looking to live is very, very isolated, very remote, right? Obviously. Small little village. Here's the difference. Weigh the options. This place is going to be slam packed. Everybody's going to come out here and fish. Everybody's going to come out here and explore. It's going to be busy. So you have to deal with all the other people. This whole beach will be lined up all summer long. This beach will be lined up with people. Okay, cool. And then the Kenai River, same difference. Where we're going, it's isolated. People aren't driving, getting on a on a boat taxi, bringing their fishing rods. They have two hours to go fish the rivers we're going to have right out in our backyard. The glaciers. All these glaciers, you go that way, there's all the glaciers towards the property we're looking at. So you're not going to have that. There's year-long salmon fishing. I control for king salmon all year long because that's where they go. They ca they capitalize Homer as a as a fishing capital of the world uh, for um, halibut. But guess what? Guess what town's closer to the actual fishing holes? The one we're looking into. So... Homer is where people go to and they say Homer is the halibut capital of the world. And then they got to drive an hour and a half to get to where we live. <laughs> and uh, where we're going to where we're gonna look at the house and try to buy. So then they, they, we're going to be an hour and a half closer to the halibut holes. To all the fishing, to all the salmon, to all the the stuff out there. So when you look at it like that. Hope yo, you find what? A cool place. Yo, shit, thank you. I don't get sick anymore. I don't get motion sickness anymore. I used to. When I was younger, I would be throwing up, pulling in crab crab pots. I'd be pulling in, uh, I was doing tuna, uh, fish, uh, uh, fucking, um, working on the on the boats out there. And I was throwing up like a motherfucker. What's that, Krypton? No, fuck the traveling. We're done doing that. We're still going to travel and explore and show you guys around, but we're not doing traveling like that anymore. Yes. Oh, thank you, McClatcher. How you doing? Oh, good morning, guys. How you guys doing? Good. McClatcher, thank you. Legend, McClatcher, appreciate it, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll have internet there at the cabin. There's cell signal there. Looks fucking glorious. Calm water, fucking priceless. We need to get the stuff out. No, there's um. Cool. Watch out. No bear, stay. There's cell signal at the property. Um, I I just need to put a booster up, and my modems and my stuff wasn't working properly that day. Yeah, so there's the internet there. It's just it wasn't. It wasn't working because of that. You can get out when we get out, bud. Stop it. Stop it. Stay. 
I don't know. I just put my phone. He must be sitting on it. Cool. I lost the phone because of you, buddy. Okay, get out. Oh, I put it back there. Oh, uh, okay. Um, somebody just walked that way with two dogs. dogs over Good, well, get out. Come on, bro. Here. Yeah, we're going to settle down for a little bit. We're not, we're not going to be burning thousands of dollars a month anymore. We're going to have more of a schedule for you guys. You know, you, people don't understand. That's what pissed us off about uh, Haley. We like Haley. I wish Haley would come back, but what pissed us off about her is she's like, you know, not understanding that. It's 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 a totally different thing when you're sleeping in a place that's 30 degrees, and then you go out to 30 degrees. You never get a chance to warm up. People get to go outside, and they go back into a nice heated, warm house, and then they come back out. We were in negative 40s, negative 30s during the day, weeks straight during the day, in a wall tent, and we go from freezing. If we got lucky to get the wall tent above 30 degrees in the wall in there, bear. Come on. Let's go. Come on in, bud. So we'd go from those temperatures. Come on. You lost your chance. Come on. It's just those idiots over there whistling at them. Come on, buddy. They didn't just whistle. Come on. Come on, Eddie. Come on, bud. Bear, come. Let's go. Load up. You can go in there for a while. No, because your computer's on the deck. It's right fine. There. There's plenty of room for them. Okay. Come on. I need to get the rods out. All that janky shit. Okay. While you're cooking, I'll do the fishing. So, anyway, you're going from cold to cold to cold to cold. And in that case, we're going from br brutally cold to cold. It's kind of hard to want to get out of your sleeping bag when it's 30 degrees. He's fine. He's gonna... and, and, and if you're doing it once in a while, it's fine. You're like, oh, nice, 30 degrees. Let's get out and put our gear on and put a fire going. But it's, it's different. Oh I'm a culture. We're going to be buying land and a house. Cabin. It'll be an extremely isolated log cabin in What's the woods. The, gold? the same ones we always do. We're all fishing today. Watch your head, Kaylee. Abby's gonna be impressed how fast I get everything out. You guys are gonna be like, wow. Everything's just gonna be more consistent. I'll be able to give an actual time schedule, like, oh guys, we're gonna actually be doing this. In fact, I'm actually gonna be on a time schedule. So here's how we're gonna start doing things when I get the property running. Um, for the most part, I'm gonna go to basically not a nine to five, but I'm gonna go from I'm going to shoot to put an alarm clock, wake up around 6, 8 o'clock, get the stream going, get breakfast going, and then I will stream until, uh, I'll stream until like 5 or 6, my time, in Alaska, and then I'll host uh, Bree or host somebody else, And but I'll have a, a thing, if I hit my goals, I'll, uh, it'll add an additional hour or whatever, if I hit all the goals for the day. So. What? What's up? There's just Quit talking. A right here. Oh, I understand. Two yeah, yeah, I, I get that. And yeah. A lot of people are like, no one comes out here. Yeah. Like, oh, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Well, that's not my vehicle. Also, um, there's no trailer parking over there, so we're kind of. I know. Kind of screwed. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely, just two cars need to be able to go around. Yeah, there. that's not my vehicle. Just, I know. Here. <laughs> we're out, we're far enough off the road. I, they're probably gonna leave, but yeah. Come on, bear. Right, have a good day. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> You're driving like a. Yeah. Come on, bear. Get in here. Come on. Get in here. Load up. Stay in there. Now she's gonna be the carrier that calls. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she is. Let me get their license plate. There's no parking here. Go slow around the corner. Don't drive like a bad at hell, lady. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, she was kind of nice, but she knew she was. She's like, well, you can go park over there. There's no park. There's no trailer parking over here, so it is what it is. 
we'll probably back up a little more but She wasn't nice. No, I know she wasn't. She had a bitchy face. She looks like mm. <clears throat> the way I see it, guys. Here's here's the logic I always give you, everybody. <clears throat> if you don't like tourists, you don't like company, you don't like people. Don't live in a place that has tourists. Don't don't live in a place that has company and people. That is how things work in life. <clears throat> I don't go to uh, Arizona in 100 degrees and complain about the 100 degree weather. Why? Because I know I live in Arizona in 100 degree weather. <laughs> I don't go to a place with tourists and then complain about tourists. It's, it's not what it's not how it works some people they move out to these places and yes it sucks that other people like to experience it too but that's why i'm moving not here or anywhere that's why i'm particularly trying to move to far away in the middle of nowhere so i don't have to deal with that type of shit Okay, what else do you need? She got the, you got the reels. I'm gonna need my rod tips, which are gonna be on that. And then, uh, should I use the small table or the big table? Small table. Shall we? Oh, the new home stuff is gonna be off the wall. Okay, and then I'll, after a few, I'm gonna need uh, the bait out of there, the herring, okay. my gloves, but. She's making biscuits and gravy. All right, Mary. Uh, we throw a little more coffee up in this. So it's not open yet. Why are you picking this up? Where's your? Oh, I'm like, where'd you Okay, I'm gonna go get the table out if I can figure out how to get the table out. And then we'll get the big camera out. <clears throat> so I don't need a lot of stuff girl i want you to get out of here get your actual snow gear on because you're going to be outside all day okay, I have fantastic i just want to hear you be like well i'm cold i didn't go to the car my hands are cold none of that janky and help me carry this out i mean what you could do is as soon as you get done doing that you can just back up another two or three feet Okay, grab out the shrimp, the herring. Come on, grab this stuff. Get your hands out of your sleeves. Always in your sleeves. Can't use them. Why even have hands? So where should we, I wonder where we should go for the fishing right here. Should we, should we, should we just go like 20, 30 feet this way? Cause there was a, a hiking trail I want to take a look at that hikes around. I don't know if it's actually something I can access. But there's a hiking trail I'd like to take a look at. We'll just go like right here. Morning. Yeah. Okay. 
took these off. I'm gonna lean up this way because we're going uphill. And then hopefully we can get all these to stay. Where I set everything up so they don't fall. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> Wash out, you're not blocking the camera view. Do go it up. All right, so this is a, uh, this is all salt water. This is the ocean. You can catch halibut out of here. All kind of fish. Salmon run through here. Uh, this is all salt water. It's not a lake. So the, the ocean's just right over there. This is the, the bay. So fish go out and come in. Um, I, I read that they're going to start. So it's still early in the season, early halibut season. It's early season in Alaska for any fishing, really. And well, the fish are going to start moving out of the deeps and start moving towards the, the shallower water. So hopefully that will work in our advantage and catch some fish. So Stevie. Yeah. So this should be in the backseat. Are you kidding me? I think we should be able to go back to the old days of just punching people in their fucking mouth. Don't give a shit who you are. You just need to get... Some people just need a good old thump. Like, what were you concerned about? Thump. Where's your concern now? The doctor office is down the road. <clears throat> Teach people to mind their own fucking business. That's why I carry a shotgun in my seat. <clears throat> Never know who the fuck's gonna fuck with you. What kind of animal's gonna come after you, eh? <clears throat> People just need to... If they don't like people, leave them live somewhere else. Type of bullshit. <laughs> okay, I got the herring. Do you know what my green boot is? <clears throat> Did you check the end of your bed? Did you hear all that? No. Bonk. Um, Are you my sir? What's up, Legend? Did you guys see that I got the fucking snow dog? I still have it. It snowed the other day. What the heck's going on, man? A lot of long time legend viewers out here. Ernest, what's up, man? Nothing happened. We're just getting to the spot. We're just getting set up. Um, a little, a little late breakfast, as always on the 30 show. You're always gonna find a late meal deal. But we out here. Okay, I got everything. How easy is it to be fishing? You need gloves? Yeah, I'll need gloves. I don't have to go through my tackle box anymore. I can cast a line out already. We're just gonna be fishing here. We're gonna fish here all day. Okay. All fucking day. All day I need, um, what I will need is here in a few. I'm gonna need so those bikes. Here? Yes, all your boots. Are we behind that table back there? Okay. We'll bring out the barbecue later and stuff like that. Here, Ailey. I need those metal rods. Where are the spikes at? The spikes? Mm -hmm. You know, to be honest, I moved them. You were playing with them one night. Yeah, but they, they were behind this thing. Right there. Over here, okay. When I moved them, they're not there no more. Okay. I'll find them. I put them somewhere. I mean, obviously they're long, so you can't miss them, but they might even be in the back of the pickup truck, so. What are you doing, Kaylee? She just needs to put in her bathroom, so. <sighs> What's up, Babs? How you doing, Legend? Yeah. It... He's finally calmed down. It was super windy last night. I was, I got there and I was like, dude, please let it be nice tomorrow. I don't want to deal with this wind. I just want to be out here and doing stuff and fishing. I don't want to deal with any wind. And then we woke up to a nice day. It's one thing to have cold weather because that's what that's the reality of what we're living in. We're going to be living in cold weather all the time. Alaska for fuck's sakes. 
it's, it's always <laughs> it's always going to be cold <laughs> i mean you think those places out there right now that are 60s and 70s i mean where i'm from it's blue skies and sunny and 70 degrees out there on the coast of oregon it's still 30 degrees and snow in here it makes me kind of like oh i miss that a little bit but hey that's what bud I'll be in an isolated town, homesteading, surviving, enjoying life. I don't get much better than that. One line in the water, just like that, Abby. Kinda, see what that depth is. It's like 10 feet there. That's pretty shitty. I think we're having an outgoing tide. We'll leave it. It's pretty shallow. I'll only be like 50 feet, but this is the reality of fishing. I could go by those rocks, I think. And that's what I was thinking about doing. There's a trail that goes around. And then I want to see where that trail leads out to. And then I can do some dangerous fishing over there. But for now, we're going to leave this. 66, we're going What's up, Ledge? All the legends. Um, I think spring... Spring sprung too far forward. I think I should fall back personally. I don't know. Spring backwards, not forward. I don't really care to have more. I think right. I don't. I don't care to have more daylight during the evening or the morning. I want more daylight during the evening. But then again, this is Alaska. That's exactly what I'm about to get. It's gonna be daylight all the time. So you guys want to take bets that that lady phones in a complaint about the parking? Any takers? I bet she does. That's the right one. So it's not going all the way down because maybe... There we go. It's a little bit of junk up on there. Feels good to be organized. It's only gonna get better and better. So either I'm gonna buy a boat or I'm gonna buy a drone. The thing here's the deal. I have to weigh my options very wisely. <clears throat> A drone, I can get from the shore and get my shit out anywhere I want to, to it, right? Obviously, the, the benefits is cheaper. I could drop, you know, a few thousand and get a drone and get myself out to the fishing hole. Second off, when we get the property, a homestead going, we're going to be doing a lot of homesteading and that stuff and aspect. So, how much, how much time am I going to be able to go out and run the boat? Because I'm going to need, the, the property needs to be kind of leveled, so I'm going to have to get invest in a tractor, obviously. So we're going to need a tractor to, um, to push some land around and get some, and get some of the uh, gardening going immediately. And then I got to get some of the pigs, goats, and rabbits, and quail, and all that pushed over, and all that going. So we're going to have to somehow immediately sort that out. So, I mean, <clears throat> it's all, and I, I'm not, I told Bria, I said, you know, I didn't go to this, this location and pick one of the most isolated places you can go and surround myself by some of the best fishing on the planet for salmon and halibut and rock fishing and all that to to not have the opportunity to fish this summer i mean that's that's janky you know i came out here 
and surround myself around this stuff because we want to be we want to be out there <coughs> fucking slamming fish and and uh I could do all the the stuff I need to do so what's up Marauder? To get supplies of the boat I'm going to show you the realities of what it's like to live out in an extremely isolated place in Alaska. The most isolated homestead to ever touch iRail in history. <clears throat> and actually, a true definition of homesteading um, is being self-reliant, really. Uh, relying on your own food and your resources and not, you know, not going out and buying and shopping and all that. So that's exactly what we're going to show you guys. The realities of what homesteading is like, let alone at the elements that we got to endure. Um, about 100 inches of snow annual. It's a lot of snow. Tons of snow, cold weather, brutal conditions. Um, you got to figure out how to get your stuff on and off and through areas that, you know, we're going to be in. There's no trucks and trailers and stuff just delivering st things. You got to go through a boat. Where did I put my gloves though? I can have another line in the water, halibut line in the water as soon as I find my gloves, but I guess I dropped them or didn't grab them. Look how easy to get my shit. Before it'd be like, oh, there they are. Put them here. Oh boy, still dirty. So <clears throat> that all has to go. Yes, all that stuff um, is it. I put in the contract. I said get that fuck, get that out of here. So he will have to clean all that. All the stuff in the garage, he has. That's all stuff that he hasn't picked up yet and has to take out. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I I don't I don't mind him leaving some things. Some things can be left, but I mean, I can use as a homesteader and fantastic. As someone doing homestead and living out in the elements or locations, you can use a lot of that stuff. You could use tires for this and that. You can use some things for your homesteading. But I'm not trying to look like a fucking fucking tra a trailer trash crackhead type of setup, you know. It's like no offense if you guys have Christmas lights in your house. I think that's I think it's like a lot of crackheads do that stuff, you know, put Christmas lights in their house in their living room. Like uh all like little lights all year long just decorating is one thing but leaving it in it's like when i was in high school you know i would put christmas lights in my room like look how cool i am but that's kind of what i feel like um i don't want to be a part of so i want that place to look nice <clears throat> i'll do some redneck shit but we're not gonna have this place looking all shitty and janky shit laying around everywhere it'll be nice and clean it'll be Hopefully done this month, but you guys got to understand he has to he lives on Kodiak Island now So he has to come out from There grab all of his shit Load it up haul it out It's not easy. I mean that's a lot of shit to get there to get off so Hopefully he can sort that out before we get there because that was one of the things I said In his previous contract he had from last year, he said uh, he had all summer, which was last year's summer, to take to get all that stuff out of the property. I'm like, all summer, dude? That's a, <laughs> that's a lot of shit. I can't even utilize my shop. Which is cool because it has a fully paved shop. So yes, hopefully he will take care of that. But again, I'm in a situation where I'm I just want to fucking settle in somewhere and move in somewhere. So I'm pretty easy going, laid back dude. We're all just ready to settle in and be done with these traveling and paying thousands of dollars a month in fuel bullshit.
Isn't that incredible? Right. What's that beautiful? So oh. I gotta keep doing this goddamn thing backwards. I get the chat on you guys and put it on the wrong side. Oh well. Um, are we live on YouTube? Yeah, we got a lot of obsessed viewers that are banned over here. But they're on the YouTube because they can't talk here. So they're just over there being peasants, which I don't mind. Don't get me wrong, YouTube viewers. Thank you. But them ones that are banned here can't talk. So they go over there. Oh, we aren't live on the YouTube. Sweet. He's, he's mad because he's banned here and he can't talk, but he has to watch us. He has to watch us. He's like, God damn it. Can't talk over there. Yeah, sorry. I'll fix that. I didn't know I was live on YouTube. What up? from up here or should I just make this and bring it down? I'd, it's already ready. I'd make it and bring it down and have Kira grab a couple things of water. Okay. Alright, player. Alright. I keep forgetting that when I'm live on YouTube it automatically goes live. Usually I end my YouTube stream at the end of the day and then the next day I turn my stream on the YouTube doesn't automatically fire up when I go live on Twitch. So, oh, and the tripod. What's up, Loomis? How you doing, Legend? I'm just saying that's what it looks like, you know? There's a lot of rednecks out there that have cars and trash in their yard that aren't low lifes, but usually when you see it, you get stay, stay anyways. You either get it or don't. I just think it looks trashy, is what I'm saying. <coughs> it, when, when you go, I like to go into a house, it's a nice open floor plan. And I like to be nice and bright and vibrant and open and welcoming. When it's dark and dreary and little lights up there and it looks like I'm in some sort of fucking nightclub. That's what I'm saying. I don't like to look like I'm, I feel like I'm in some sort of low class nightclub. You know, I'm a grown ass adult. You know, I want to walk into a house that feels inviting and bright and, and clean. Not like shit everywhere and... You know, the lights are dimmed down low and you got some fucking Christmas lights lighting up your house. I'm just like, what are we still fucking five years old? Yuck. That's all I'm saying. I want to feel inviting, not dark and dungeony. <laughs> I 
like a dungeon. When I was younger, um, not young younger, but I, I always, I some reason wanted a basement. I don't know why. I was like, yeah, basement's gonna be fucking awesome, dude. And I finally got a house with a basement. I lived there for like three years. It was dope. But then after a while, I'm like, it's kind of dark and dungeony. Luckily, that's not our case now. So I'm gonna have to go back up there real fast. Hopefully, nothing gets hit right now. Because I'm gonna have to go back up there and go get our rods. Um, holders. I gotta make these. So I need to go get the tripod, the big camera, and the rod holders. I gotta find out where they're at. I gotta get the rod pipes and I gotta try to remember where I put everything. Any luck in finding those rods? Nope. Which rod? No, the rod holders. Oh, no. I, okay. Okay. They're you right here. Warm. Oh, I see one. Ah. And so I'm pretty sure I put them in here. Okay. Okay. So there's that. What? Everybody parks there. Oh. Yuck. No. <laughs> I thought I grabbed the one that was raw. But... Yeah. Alrighty. So, same thing I did. I just need to grab the big camera. Are you eating some? Did you get some biscuits and gravy too, Mr. Dude? Move. Okay. Dirty thing. There was a bag of. Is that where I put it? Thank goodness. Get back there. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I forgot the big camera, Kara, will you do that? No. Oh, never mind, I know where that is. I don't know why I'm going here. Here, grab that axe right there. I'll fucking do it then, holy shit. You guys haven't done anything to help me at all today. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's insane, I gotta literally do everything except for cook. She's grabbing it. I'll just do it myself. She's grabbing it. It'll take her a week to do something I can do in a 10 seconds. Where's the big camera? Oh, I know where it's at. I'll get it. It's in my bag. From when we left. Okay. And I was gonna use hose clamps. I'm just gonna use a duct tape for now. Forget it. Breakfast, late breakfast, but we out here. If you want chairs, grab chairs. HMI's in the kids' camera backpack. Alrighty, buddy. We hope you all having a beautiful, awesome day. Welcome in if you guys are just tuning in. Have a care, grab my other cell phone in the truck. 
I'll just go do that. Gonna eat. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, does it, you guys? Look how beautiful it is. Hey, sheep over there. <laughs> he said the weed man. That's wrong fucking bias. That's a homie. No, Ron's a homie, man. On the laser, good people. Hard to find good people like that. So. What are you doing, kid? How's the food? Thanks for helping. Nice of you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. I'm just gonna go right here, I guess. Like that. And then. <clears throat> uh, this is a, this is all the ocean, bay water, all salt water. Hey, Caitlin. So we're just gonna go like this. Um, I think I wanna I guess, like, like that. And then I'll use a hose clamp later, but so I'll at least get us started, I guess. And then have to come up like that. Zing it down. And then underneath. It'll be kind of ghetto for now, but we'll leave it. Just because it'll work. Just like that. And then <clears throat> Bam. There you guys go. Twelve dollar rod holders. Well, actually, that's like eight bucks. They're usually twenty something. That'll work for now. I'll put another here in a few. I'll put another one of these right here. So I just wanted to get something in the ground now. <laughs> That'll work, bud. All right, I need to eat. Yeah, there's cod out here. There's all kinds. There's gray cod. There's uh, rockfish. There's 30, 30 different types of rockfish out here. Um, there's halibut. Uh, all kinds of fish out here. Okay, let's see if we can get over. Just keep running to the truck underneath the seat. Grab the 
You have it? I got it. Yeah, I, I get things done. We're rocking. Nobody's out here. It's just us. We fucking loving life. I'm sure we're being watched. <laughs> By who? Karen. Her? The lady. So? No, no. no. You can go by yourself. Oh, yeah. Only go right. Right turn. Right turns. Okay. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? We're out here doing a little bit of fishing from the shore. Nobody's out here today. We got all to ourselves. That is the benefit of Monday to Friday. Everybody has work. We're out here fishing, living the life. Beautiful views. Biscuits and gravy, breakfast. See if we can't catch some fish. Right about that. All right. Let's go, Mark Top. How you doing, Legend? What's up, guys? <clears throat> Getting bit? That one's so important. Catch it. No oh, damn, can you imagine catching fish already? Oh, Dad, I did get the phone. Oh, you did? Yeah. No. Yeah. <clears throat> Pumba? So this one broke. It won't turn on. You have to hit it like a hundred times to get it turned on. So this is my YouTube phone, my my, my main phone for everything. Fucking toasted. Brand new, by the way. I was going, it was dark inside the trailer. I was using this. I put this on the shelf and uh, I don't know, it just fucking fell. Guess I was moving around in there and just slid off. Is there anything we can sit on? Oh yeah, there's chairs underneath uh, the table in there. You want to us not to take those kids to Starling Cable? So I mess up the Starling Cable. <clears throat> Well, if you actually just look at how it's lined up, you're good. I think you got it, sweetheart. Grab two. Well, you're getting... Wait. I just that. Will you grab me water, please? What's up, OG? Okay. No, I have... That's what bullshit is. I have a protective case. I have them. We got them. We haven't put them on. Like, fucking dipshit. Right, OG? Fucking stupid. I told Bri, I said, why do we have these cases if I didn't put them on? I said, that's silly. <clears throat> we have protective screen glasses in a case. Only thing is, it depends on the case. Sometimes it makes it really hard to put it on my wrist mount. So, if it's too big of a case... No, I got the... I got you yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. It, it is what it is. Kind of. Thank God for insurance. Yeah, we have insurance on it, so it's not the end of the real. We're just going to insurance. Uh, you're getting hit or something. You got insurance on it, so that's cool. But bottom line is, <clears throat> put that case on. You, you get that. This one's open. You get, a, you get your phone. I'm going to instantly put a case on it, a safe case. We can't, we can't be bothered by. <sighs> Hard dumbasses. <laughs> Smart. Bring home Pumba. No, Pumba's in a happy place. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like he's in heaven. <laughs> he's in a happy, happy place. No, um, the thing is, is, <clears throat> right. I don't, I can't get Pumba back from there, and he's in a good place. You know, he's been there a long time. I love my old Pumba pig. There will never be another pig like that one. I'll probably won't ever even 
consider getting one. If you guys don't know who Pumba is, he's the old legend little pot belly pig and we rescued him. It's going out. Okay. You're d it's not, I mean it's get it's the line's going janky janky. Oh, there's it's not like a hit, but Pumba yeah there he is. Yeah he's a, he was a good little buddy man. He was so funny. He humps anything and everything. He'd hump buckets, he would hump tires, he was so funny. By the way, howdy, did he have a way with messing with me, though? He knew he was messing with me there. He's so smart. Heck with you, Dad. I'm a good little pig. Yeah, we're going to fish all day here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, okay, I'll hump anything and everything. I would ban on Twitch. And I was watching Bree stream out back. And in the back with my sand rail. And here you go. Here comes my pig. Just snorting. Just cooking and talking. Bree's just on a little talking mission here. And the little pig comes around. Snorting. Jumps up on the sand, the tire of the sand rail. And just starts, the uh, sand rail just starts just... Just mounts it and starts and I'm just, going to heaven. I'm just rolling laughing I almost pissed myself I was laughing so hard I was like this is what you guys see it was the funniest thing ever okay you're not gonna turn around I'm gonna go right behind this little fish on no. probably will hope so Barley. Oh my gosh, the time he went to hump the girl's bike. Oh my goodness. I thought sometimes I was going to get banned from him doing all that. There, there was countless of times I was like, oh, this is kind of, I don't know if this is okay on Twitch. <laughs> I was like, I might be in trouble. There was times where he was going to town so hard that, you know, he busted, just went, went all over the place. I'm like, oh boy. Like this is this is not this is not good. Never had never met a happier pig. He was a happy guy. So we're gonna set these lines. There's a um, good chance that we'll go out over by those rocks and kind of walk out there and explore. I looked at the depth chart out here and it looks like. Looks like some distance before I get out to the fishing that's deeper. So we're just gonna work what we can and hopefully, hopefully we can pull some fish in here today. I know I can go to the rocks. I know I can go to the rocks and catch fish out there where I was catching fish the other day. I know for a fact I can slam fish there. But there's a, there's a possibility if we've never fished here and this is kind of where a lot of you guys kept saying we should go out to. This is where all the locals go to. So all the locals come here to fish um, as well. You gonna put that in there? I will. So th this is kind of a new new spot that I I don't know. It's kind of hard for her to do. I know that we can probably catch fish. I mean, everybody, there's people, there's YouTube videos of people catching heaps of fish here. So it's uh, just a matter of putting time in because <clears throat> they were all fishing here this whole beach was lined up and there were people out there on the kayaks and whatnot and i was like you know what i'm not gonna fish here i know where the fish are and i went to it and i went and caught yeah i went and caught more fish over there than pretty much anybody over here did combined so i know that there are great opportunities over that way but I try to pick battles, so I try to pick my, my times to fish certain places because I'm somebody that prefers to fish with nobody around and secluded and in solitude, like fishing should be. Yes. So what I decided to do is come out to this spot knowing it's work hours, weekday. 
Just got out of some shitty weather. I figured there ain't gonna be much people out here. I figured correctly. So we're fishing here and I think we're just gonna stay here the entire day and just uh, see what we can't come up with. You don't, you ain't gonna catch nothing if you line it in the water. But I know that I can catch fish there and I know that I'm on YouTube and Twitch and I know how people are. If you don't catch anything in the first 20 minutes, they're like, what the hell? So enjoy the fishing show. <clears throat> Pray to the fishing gods that we catch something, some hogs, because that's what we're out to do. Uncle Marty, what's up, man? Hi! <laughs> Hi! Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Uncle Marty, good to see you. That's my real uncle, by the way, guys. What? Tell him. Tell him. What? Good. He don't know. He don't know? So we, we put an offering on the house. Yeah. We did. We went out to a very isolated town, surrounded by historical history of fishing and some of the best fishing uh, out, out there. Year-round salmon runs. You control for salmon year-long. King salmon out there. Silvers. Uh, rock fishing. So solitude. Middle of nowhere. Uh, log, log cabin with a pond. It takes about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minute boat ride to get to the first entrance. The first drop off, and then uh, it's, it, it's like a 20, 20 minute car ride to get to the town or so. And then you have the other boat ride is about an hour, <clears throat> hour and 20 minutes to get to the, the actual town from the other entrance. Marty, text me. I'll send you some pictures. So it's pretty damn isolated and it's pretty in incredible. Um, we're going to be doing the homesteading out there. Oh, Shall be entertaining. Let's get more lines in the water. Yeah, we're pretty excited. Yeah. You know, um, it kind of sucks because all the family, you're in North Carolina, you know what's up. We actually almost considered, I got, a, I got a homie that lives out in North Carolina, one of my good friends growing up. He's like, fuck you. He's like, you're supposed to live in North Carolina, go fuck yourself. You know, he's just joking. But, uh, you know, everybody, everybody's so spread around in our family. And it's so hard if I'm not living within a half hour to an hour of everybody. We're going to only see them once, once or twice a month if we're lucky. If we're lucky, lucky, right? So maybe, tw what, 12 times? We're going to see them 12 times a year? Yeah, so we're going to see them 12 times a year. You know, what's 12 less than 12 times, you know? Zero. We'll just see them zero times a year. What's wrong with you? Why are you? You you can't get that done yourself. I got the chairs out and I was trying to pull them out, and the coffee can was right by the door, and I <coughs> took it and I rolled it over and it just exploded. No, because he didn't put the lid on all the way. Well, d why'd you roll it over and throw it, man? Yeah, you I, three can't really like literally do. It. You guys literally can't do a single thing. You guys yourself. You realize this? That's insane. Look. I don't care. I saw this coming anyway. I already. I'll put, be back. I already put paper towels on. I'm gonna go get chairs for the three of you nerds. You got them? Oh, good. Then you're good. You accomplished what you needed to accomplish. You didn't fail. Coffee creamer that I just got is everywhere. Oh, I thought you didn't even get the chairs. I was like, wow, you quit that easy. <clears throat> no, I don't have good ears. He was blabbermouthing. No, I'm streaming so you can have a house, smart ass. How about that? Alright, right, let's bait up another line. We're gonna get the purple, the blue rod out real fast. Who? Where? Oh, okay. What do you got? A fucking storm coming through? Thank you for sharing your, what you did on Discord the other day. We need to mark these so we don't one goes to what. That's not it. It's the one with the small um right here. Let me see. Yes, that one's it. So these ones with the small is kind of 
greenies, I guess. Or a two. So both ones are fresh. Oh, we don't have the other two. Okay. Let's see But yes, we do need to mark them. Yeah, we absolutely need to mark those. They're too similar. Yeah, thank you, uh, tomato. Much love. So breezy. It's a wise guy. <laughs> yeah, wise guy for real. Oh, it's snowing there. Oh, that's nice. Legit, man. <laughs> Hi. That one has the wrong tip on it, so none of these fit this one. This, this one goes to that one. The one with the rugged edges go to that big one. That's the Babylon. The, rug, the rugged bottom tip goes to that one. Well, neither one of these fit this. Yeah. Okay, well. Either one of them. Okay, this to this. Oh, that one worked. Okay, never mind. I was going to say. Maybe there's something in it? Yeah, there's something in it. Sand or something. It was the same thing. That one has the, the, the rough top. I know that for a fact. So. This one goes to there. Okay, if that one only goes to there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, it's not like we need this rod out. We don't need that rod. Yeah. You just use this. Yeah. Well, but we don't have enough reels anyway. No, we only have one more reel. I gotta line that up. Oh, did you bring the line? No, okay. I'll, I'll go get it. Oh, I thought you did. So one of these tips are not right then. This one. Well, then try that one on that one, the one you just had. And one of these tips need to go to that look other. Look how old that looks. Look inside of it. Look inside that one. Yeah. So that's not for that one. No. That one's brand new. It, maybe it never went all the way down on that. Maybe. Uh, why does it have scratch marks? Possibly because people no, mistake. it goes right here. You can see the thing. Possibly people mistake their own one and put that on there. I don't maybe know. Maybe that one. One of them doesn't fit on one of them. Mm -hmm. I know that. And that's that's how I always told all the rod them. tips guys are almost identical they're all black no they're they literally are identical it's like they get it right out of a let's see that one's shorter than that one yeah it's almost as if they get like these tips just mass ma um, made and it's like all right well throw that tip onto well, this tip they all are pin yeah they're all pin but watch let me see <coughs> come here let me see this one this one and this one and they're both Shot for the line above you I know they're both 10 foot rods right are they even? Yeah, they're even. So. Okay. Then these were right. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> they were. Watch out. I know, right? You said I know, and you just went ahead uh, and did it. I thought I was already. Yeah, I was. It was somehow monkey fucked up. Okay. Here. Let's see if we can do Come on, fishy. Let's throw another line out, shall we, bud? Let's see if we can't get this one correctly on this time. I keep I get distracted with all the things I'm doing. Yeah, snowing over there, bud. You can keep it. I, I sometimes mix these up. I just bought these pre-ties because I'm going to use those and I'm lazy to tie my own right now. Uh, this is just cool. I'll fix that in a minute. No, I mean... So, I just pro I just buy these pre-ties for now. And then uh, what I keep doing is forgetting to put... I got a fish! No, you don't. Do you? I, I think so. <clears throat> I think... I no, you don't. We'll see. I think what you might have is the ground and heavy lead. But we'll fucking see just in case. Hey, that feels like a fish. I don't know. It might be just on the ground. Yeah.
You do have six ounces in your dragon costume uh, gravel, so we'll see. Ah, that scared me. Nope, just yep. shrubs. Seaweed. Okay. Okay. No, I did that one right too. Okay. I keep thinking I did it backwards, but I did it right. No, you did do it backwards. Did I? The weight goes in the bottom. Yeah, that's what. The hook goes on top. That's what I thought. Yeah. I keep fucking doing that. I can fix that now if you want to bring that over. Yeah. Yeah, I keep doing them. I keep doing them backwards because I'm just not paying attention. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, they, they're knitting and she's whatever croquet, whatever that thing is over there. Something. Oh boy, howdy! All right. shot what <clears throat> oh okay here ready for the flinging. I thought I was gonna fix that one I fixed it did you and you switched it around The pickles. <clears throat> I got water right here. Can we move it? Oh, Wendy. That was a slight breeze. Right to me is so peaceful. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice out here. Definitely peaceful. It's good stuff. You know, it's great when you're able to come out here and kind of enjoy nature and it's just really nobody out here. So it's, I just put the other one underneath there. Are you going to put it on? Okay. What do you mean? What do you do with it? Why do you think you... like this first. Wait, don't, don't touch it with your wet hands. <gasps> Not me. It's already wet. I was going to go like this. I had no idea I was even digging the hole. 
Yes, you did. Hold that. So it's got a little. You fart? Bottom. Well done. How does it do both? <coughs> Both ways. Nope. Too soon. We're drinking. Loving the view. Right? Here. Now, let's put it down here. Yeah. Here, right? Even with the other one. I got it. You can move your hand. Okay. <clears throat> What's that? Noon? Oh. Yep. We'll put some other stuff on this eventually, but for now, this will do. Comes a boat. I guess we'll leave right there. <clears throat> yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna do like a little happy Gilmore if I can send it, bud. Gorilla tape, man. Duct tape ain't what it used to be. Even gorilla tape's kind of falling off already. Sleazy, what up? Bringing the P and W ways to Alaska, baby. Well, they want thirty dollars for a damn deal like that. I'll make my own. Eventually, I'll have a have like those little screw mounts. I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, see, there's a road that goes up there. That's what I was saying, that road is open and they plowed it and it goes up and around. But I don't know if it's going to people's houses and shit, but. Is it? I hope you all are having a beautiful, awesome day. If you guys are just tuning in, hey, we got some big stuff happening. We are out here in this most amazing location in Alaska doing some beach fishing, shoreline fishing. Uh, just any fish that will bite while they're in for it. It's fine. Whatever. It's better than what we had. Actually, I'm going to go with her because I'm going to put my knife. Yeah, it's a little windy. Uh, wind chill is only four to eight miles here and there. Just enough to kind of get, oh, that one's a little more than maybe four. There, nice and tight lines, the brand. That'll work. I mean, I'm gonna eventually put some hose clamps on, uh, hose clamps. Hey, while you're up there, Bree, while you're up there, go grab uh, the, I think we need, let me see what kind of screwdriver. Yeah. That should work. Maybe that'll be a tight squeeze. Yeah, that'll work. Barely. Yeah. It might work. Is it all the way closed? Oh. Yeah, just grab, just grab, um, here, take this with you. Make sure that thing fits around it. Sure. And if you have to, it's right when you first walk into the left, all the screwdrivers are right there. Thank you. <laughs> Kaylee, what are you doing? Remember when I told you, hey, you're going to be warm enough to be out here? You might want some of your snow gear. Looks like you're huddling up. A little chilly. Huh? The wind is cold. Yeah. 
Do you want like a, a blanket or another jacket? What's up? If you just finish your blanket you're working on, you're in. Too bad you don't have any... Uh, we can get a tarp. We can lay a tarp down and you guys can bring out a sleep, my sleeping bag. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, you have the SD's blanket you can use. Kira, grab SD's blanket off my bed, would you? You can use that one. Nick, what up? Tipsy Legends. How we doing today, baby? Hope you all having a beautiful, awesome day. This is fantastic. Uh, we did put an offer in on a homestead, you guys. It's going to be incredible. Uh, I know a lot of you guys already saw. So the, the homestead is that direction, all the way up and over. There's no road access to get there. It's glaciers. You see that mountain right there? It's just full of glaciers where, where it is. So um, there's no roadways, never will be a bridge, never will be a pathway there other than boats and airplanes. And then if you guys saw the other day, the cold reality of it was, well, you can get stranded there. We were stranded there. We were stuck. You know, and we came back in the, in the waves that we came back in, the swells. I mean, I'm surprised Bree made it without freaking out because that boat captain, I mean, he, he's good at it. But he goes, this is a calm. Wait till we get to the open, open waters. And then we get to the open waters and there's 10, 15, 20 foot swells damn craziness. What's up, beautiful? Can you call mom and ask her to grab that? What? My gloves. I'll run up there and grab them. Or are you going to be a kid and run up there and grab them? You guys got to stop relying on mommy and daddy to do stuff. You're 13 years old, bud. You, you could barely walk a half a mile without being out of breath. It's nutty. Hey, while you're up there, grab mine too. Mine are on the dashboard of the truck. Got to get these kids from being so lazy. It's amazing that we live this lifestyle and yet they're, they're kind of getting lazy. We're going to fix that. So yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on. I'll go over there after a while and I'll try to fish around those rock ledges. I'll see what we can do there. I want to kind of... I want to hike up there that road and walk all the way down because I think it takes you around that peak and that peak there's a beach over there I don't know if it's private property I just saw it on the map I'd like to check that out who knows if there's going to be people over there fishing if um, this place is busy really don't know and I'm thinking about investing in an air drone too or a boat even though we're buying a house we're dealing with that right now so we already got to do that but a but a, a drone it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for further casting when we're able to only get into 30 to 70 foot of water or 100 foot of water we can just bring that drone into anywhere <laughs> depth just oh you want to hit 700 oh there's a 700 foot hole right there okay drop it done deal no brainer alaska allows it you can do it why not and then you know it's like well if i'm gonna put three grand into a drone what's another you know 10 to 15 grand for a boat you know what i mean you might just buy the boat <laughs> that's the logic right you're like what that's 15 grand more yeah exactly you might just get that but then you gotta look at the boat where we're living where we're looking to live there's no boat launching fees so you can just park your shit and launch your stuff and that's dope but uh there's also a lot of islands out there we're surrounded by heaps of islands which opens the doors for me to go out by myself on the boat like we used to and just parking up along some beach line drop an anchor let the boat let my bungee anchor yank my shit out and i could just stay out there and do a survival stream on all the surrounding islands so that's an option you know bring a bunch of fishing gear and stay two three four days 24 hours who knows just and uh there's all there's so much potential so many options really what it comes down to you know oh yeah well what's up Rena um see here's the thing so the Here's the catch. Here's the way I look at it. 
<clears throat> they have they have, furniture is going to be a, a deal that we got to sort out but the guy did say he was wanting to leave some furniture behind the couches and such so we'll at least have that but then we also need we're going to need to level some of the area out that whole area in the backyard they, they did nothing with it they have a pond back there and the pond it and the whole back they, there's a sauna a log cabin sauna i mean there's a lot of stuff but it's right by the main structure the whole back area um the few acres back there is janky bumpy lumpy and and i guess dumpy <laughs> it's pretty bad so i'm gonna have to level a lot of that out which how do you get a tractor <laughs> i'm gonna have to put a tractor on a on a ferry boat and ferry boat it in it's gonna cost some money buying the tractor is gonna cost money so yeah you're right and i'm gonna need a decent size size tractor i mean we're gonna need something that's gonna do the job so that is that but at the same time i also don't want this first year to be all about oh well now i gotta dump all my money into just the homestead stuff then I, it means i could have just homestead it anywhere right realistically but then the following year we will have more structurability so i'm kind of like trying to prioritize what we want to buy first what we need to get first obviously the first and most most important thing we're getting is the homestead and log cabin that's already the w you can already catch fish in, uh, from the rivers and the bridges in the area the sloughs in the area there's already loads of fish apparently you, you know i can get a little skiff and, and go out there i can I can cast out from some of the beaches and hit some hit the waters. Some of those uh, those halibut, big halibuts. Some of the big halibuts are only 20, 30 feet of water in, inside of the the beach lines by by all the shrubs and whatever the seaweed. So I don't know. There there's so many possibilities and so many things I want to be able to do and trying to do, and it's all just about what first. Yeah, no more Walmart. Yeah, well, there won't be no Walmart. We're secluded. It's all homesteading. There, there's no homesteading content like what we will do for you guys. We pioneered off the grid living and homesteading on Twitch. We've been we've done it long years back, milling wood, building own cabins, building uh, awnings and barbecue sections, redneck swimming pools and tree forts and chicken coops and all that all that shenanigans but you know we incubated our own quail ducks we had the rabbits the pigs the goats and we're about to go 10 times bigger on that we're gonna we're gonna package a product a pr produce we're gonna live mostly off of what we grow because that's what homesteading is homesteading isn't just going out and building a structure out there and that's not that's just living in the woods homesteading is the true definition is really being self-reliant and eating and growing and you know having livestock that's homesteading if you don't have a, if you don't have a bunch of livestock that's not really homesteading you're just living in the woods or you're just out in the city wherever you are doing that out but that's where we're gonna change everything from us we're not doing any walmart runs we're not going to be spending the money in gas driving and spending the money in buying food and eating the shit that we eat on a day-to-day -day basis from the stores we're gonna eat our own grown vegetables and pick our own fruits and vegetables and can our own salmon and make our own salmon um smoked salmon and uh hunting black bears there's black bear paradise where we're at heaps of black bears so <clears throat> heaps of stuff out there so we'll be packaging and still milling our own fish and we'll be doing pickled quail eggs pickled eggs in general in incubating them uh, yes all that fun a lot of tomato plants tomato plants are going to be essential making our own tomato paste and yeah it's going to be incredible it's going to be incredible okay and then Okay, let's see what we can do with this. What's up, Large? How you doing? Do you see seafood? We're, we're gonna need a lot of seafood. Homesteading is a lot of work. 
Yes. Indeed. Okay. Like, didn't you just eat breakfast? Now you're eating and... I was just tasting the stuff I should... See if I can get this to work around this. The what? Oh, okay. They're adults, but okay. Weird. What's the dealio? Her gloves are too small. Imagine that. Mm, don't work. Hopefully. Ah, janky. Oh, it it's just right. Is that other boat come by? What boat? Just enough to bite on there. Oh, okay, that's like. What? I was like, oh, you guys can do the pieces down for a little snack. You know, and then we grabbed the box and it was empty. It's like the whole thing's gone. There's no way you guys ate that much today, is there? No. Bam. Look at that. Bingo, buddy. Living the dream out here, man. Absolutely beautiful. Hope you guys are having a good day, too. I tried to show some of the scenes of the cabin since it is so remote. The internet is just barely off. So I'm gonna have to get a repeater. Um, I'm gonna get, um, I got this, I got this company I've been working with. He's in a beta phase. And this guy, he's like, a, he's like, he's, he's kind of like Elon, but not even close. You know what I mean? Like he, he's, he's trying to develop this technology that's advanced, but, but, like there's a, L LTE boosters you can get, like Wii Boost and stuff. He's working on something that's supposed to be 10 times superior to Wii Boost and all that. LTE boosters. And it's supposed to... We did, Jamie. It's supposed to be... It's, it's, it's like in the beta phase. I've been talking to him for like a year about it. And uh, I never really needed it because I'm on everything else. So now I'm going to hit this guy up and see where he's at with it. And see what he got for his product. And see if I can try to do some testing with it. And if it works... Um, I was, I'm gonna have this, this, and it's like this, it's crazy. I'll show you guys it when I get it, but it, it, it should suck in. You put it like 20 feet above your house and it will suck in, in, even if there's like the tiniest, a little bit of service, it'll, it'll bring hundred percent service to your area. It's crazy. So if there's like a little bit, it's just gonna, it's, it's supposed to be incredible. So, um, that was a year, like six months ago, I was talking to this guy, maybe almost a year and <clears throat> I, don't, I was going to do some testing with it a long time ago, but we got so busy and everything. And I just kind of like, well, I got Starlink and, you know, I'm okay with it. And I was like, I really don't see a purpose of it. So if I can, if I can get that guy's uh, beta on it and see where he's at with it, instead of running like the Wii Boost and shit, either way, I'll get some Wii Boost set up eventually. But we just need to sock in just a little internet, just a little internet, because we are in the middle of nowhere out there. So there's just enough internet. I should be able to suck in signal and then have uh, Starlink as well out there. So uh, okay. we should still have cell signal. Because wow. the last thing I want to do is have to run Starlink all the way through my property and then all around the surrounding areas because I want to be able to jump on my, you know, snow machine or go out, walk out in the woods and hike up in the mountains and the surrounding area and if i put a if i put one of those repeaters there and i go walk up way up in the, on the glaciers and put another one up there because that's what we'll do you know what i mean i've i once crawled i once before starlink was a thing i once crawled underneath a culvert <laughs> underneath a road in 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 a creek bed through a tiny culvert an army fucking crawled underneath to run like i can't watch this <laughs> to run internet through and underneath i mean yeah, I will do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, Starlink works incredible there. And I have some technology that runs my Starlink. Like we have a, we have, we have a setup. If I put my thing here, I can have internet on that mountain right there. But the, th the thing is, when you're throwing Wi-Fi internet versus LTE internet, there's different bandwidths and waves on it. So you're not going to get as, you, you're not going through a bunch of trees. Let's just say that. You're not throwing your Wi-Fi. I don't care. I have, we have pretty, pretty insane technology when it comes to Wi-Fi and meshing 
but you're not throwing your internet through clusters of trees. It's just not the way it works. It sucks out. But when you're throwing LTE service, LTE service goes through these trees a little differently. No, we're, no. So I'm gonna try to work with that. It's not insane. How you doing, Legend? Those are people's houses. I don't know. We're just on the beach. Yeah, we just out here. Vision. We got one line in the water, but boys and girls. Two. That's just a fucking. <laughs> that ain't like the halibut line or anything. No. It's just a line. I'm all telling Abby and everybody, yeah, we can get out there super quick. I was like, one line. It's been tied up, just need to get it cast out. Wait, why did you put this one like that then? You I didn't touch that, you did. We did this together, dude. He did. What are you talking about? No, you did. You did that together with me because remember you helped me hold this piece open? Yes. I didn't put it on there myself. Remember you? Okay. Because I was like, oh, what color did you get me? You said, I don't know. I just grabbed one. Okay. You don't remember helping me with one of these? I didn't help you with one of those. I just asked what color was on there. Do you not remember holding a clasp open at all for me? Remember? Like if you just hold that open. Oh, you I, remember I now. put the clasp on there, yeah. Yeah. I put it on though, like on the, on there. These things came with that. You helped me open this line and put it. Uh, helped me put it on here. Do you remember? No, I didn't do that. I only put the thingy on it. I'm not. It's not a big deal. It's just, it's just crazy. You forget. I really didn't. Okay. You already had it on there, and I was like, "What color did you give me?" Like, I don't. I, I just put one on there. I was like, "Oh, it's green." I, like, I like the green one. White one's dim. Okay. Do you want it on this side? Um. Yeah, they go on the top. Um, like this. Where's that uh, screwdriver? Come on, fish. So the tide is going out, you guys. Yeah. You like it, Bree? Looks good. Does it? Good. Oh, we gotta get the toothbrush and stuff out today. I know. Right. Oh, well. And I meant to grab it. Something's going on right here. I meant to grab it uh, a minute ago, and then I and I forgot my phone too. But I was. Working on the screwdriver. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, we're always doing go, go, go stuff. Trying to get the fishing lines out, but I was like, I'll brush my teeth when I get down there. Hey, lovely lawyers. Good morning, afternoon. How's your weather today? Kind of jealous. Um, we just got out here, just getting lines in. No fish yet. Just... This is a spot a lot of people were like, oh man, you should fish here. So we're doing it for you guys. But, uh, it's halibut.
No. That rod fell. <clears throat> no rod holder for that one, uh, you know. <laughs> so what's on this? Like a regular rockfish thing? Just shrimp. <clears throat> Where should this one go? Right next to that one. I'll uh, zip that. Like 30 feet past that one. Oh yeah. I don't know, that guy was fishing over here, remember? Drone dude? Yeah. It didn't matter where he fished, you could just fucking bring it out to where he wanted. Every time we come out though, he was between there and there. Yeah. Here. Doesn't mean he knows he's fucking that fish or not. I mean, just because you catch a fish here and there and buy a drone. Put it right in front of Kaylee. So she can keep a little eye on her. I'm trying to get that down to fall because it's about to fall down. Oh, that was not going to fall. I think it's heavy. Okay, good. All right. <clears throat> we'll throw it out here. Spread them around a little bit. Throw that one in. Raining there? Oh, hmm. It's raining over there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to build another rod holder real fast. I hate to put these down on the ground because I don't want any rocks in them. But we need to build a rod holder. Where's your gloves, silly? I guess you're not touching wet water and stuff. So my hands are wet. I, I just got this. Oh. Yeah, my hands can't go in there. Do you need help? I'm managing, I guess. <laughs> hey, Paige! Little laces in here. Yes, hello, hello! Bears in the trailer. There was too many other pups out running around, so. She was like, I can have a beer in 90 minutes. She's counting it down. Off work? White cloth? I saw Lala was painting the bus. Oh, she was. Right. Bingo. That was playing, Stan. Right there. This? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then just tape the other one up top because it's just kind of the holder. What if I didn't know? Tape over there. Well, I hate people. <laughs> That's the most blunt answer ever, right? 
Or George said, why do you wish to be in the most isolated place? And I said, I hate people. <laughs> Wait, let me move that really quick. I move really, the whole thing. This whole reel's gone to shit and I'm tired of it. Move, the, move it off first. I'm gonna go like this. And I want it to go like that. And then go on there. <laughs> so it has something mm, to stick to. This whole road's just a mess. And I don't like it. Because <laughs> I hate people. It's true. I like you guys, but... Peopling is hard. Okay, you want me to do it around that way? No. Okay. Alright, care about you. Sweetheart, can I borrow that? No, not raw land. <laughs> Good enough for the homies I roll with. If it was up to me, if it wasn't for the fact that kids need a place somewhat close to human beings and friends, look how nice that looks. I would, I would get on an airplane, I'd pack a whole bunch of my shit, I'd pack tons of guns and ammunition, and I'd pack, I'd pack a handful of things I need. And I'd fly in the middle of nowhere by some absolutely beautiful lake or an ocean or river. And that's why I would build a log cabin and never leave. I'd live there. But we need to make sure that the kids and Bree have at least someone to hang out with. Snow is falling off. I like that. I would just, yeah. I would keep changing them all up. So three, it will look really cool. Corky beans. Can you send me the picture of your blanket? I want to show Kaylee. Again. Um, yeah, Kaylee, you, you know what I mean? That looks so pretty. I love it. This is one I was trying to break Cool. I just don't want you to get hurt. That's a heavy axe. Can you help me break it open? Yeah, give me a minute. I'm going to put the backpack down. I'm going to... Okay, we'll wash it. Switch some things up. We want as many lines out as we possibly can. There's no sense not to have 20 lines out. Just kidding, can't have 20. Just as many people as we have, we can have lines out. So, we want to have all four out. Enough that our odds are increased. Nobody is out here, it's just us. So we're gonna do everything we can. Catch a fish. Little shanky. She's crushing it, huh? Balsam. Thank you, man. I made these. We went to the store the other day. I know. Son, please come out. Oh, yes. We went to the store the other day and... Balsam! They're, they're only, they're, That's what's for dinner. That was $25 for rod holders. Or I can just go and grab... 
eight dollars i spent i spent like 16 bucks for this setup and it works just as good if not better yes yes that's what we'll do for dinner so yes jellyfish mm-hmm can you see balsam eating legend what's up man so good news is we uh for you guys who don't know we did put a offer in on that log cabin homestead super isolated absolutely incredible location uh surrounded by world class fishing um halibut capital of the world all year long salmon runs you can salmon troll um there's king salmon out there all year long rock fishing and uh the river and the slough and the beautiful place that we were looking at uh we're gonna we're gonna get back into our homesteading if you guys don't know we were the originators of Optic Grid um, homesteading and um, Bush Craftsman Survival, and we're bringing it all back. <clears throat> so we're going to get back out there. It's going to be a long journey to get there, but we've been looking for two, almost three years since we le left our last homestead. We've been looking for that long. We've been looking around, trying to find out where we belong in life and where we want to end up. And well, this place just was it. It just happened to call to us because of many reasons. Many reasons. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's gonna be great. So yeah, good news, Balsam. That's what we're up to. Uh, there's gonna be a lot to accomplish since it is boat in only. Since there is no access by any way, means, um, by road or walking or hiking, we're gonna be canning our own vegetables, uh, making our own herbs, and incubating our own chicken eggs, quail eggs, duck eggs having rabbits and goats and pigs and chickens and uh, lamb and all these things down the road. It can't happen overnight. It's going to take some time, but it will happen. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's say that. We're working on this beach line pretty well here. You had a water leak? Yeah, during the storm. So you have the landlord to have to deal with it. Boy, howdy. Water leaks are fun. So, if you look at those mountains right here, you go that way a lot of miles, kind of where we're looking to be at. And it's all glaciers, so. Yes, jarring our own pickles. <laughs> yes, we're gonna make our own pickles. Own quail eggs. We're gonna make our own pickles, pickle quail eggs, all that. We're gonna show you homesteading a different way because it hasn't been done on twitch yet i haven't seen any homesteaders yet on twitch <clears throat> there's there's a few people out there doing some stuff but not actually like making their own beer and pickling their own eggs and raising their own animals and living completely almost 90 percent off of just what we raise and eat and grow we won't be doing store runs and stuff like that so you know when it comes to homesteading it's the reality of real, real homesteading is essentially being self-reliant right it doesn't mean just building shit it means self-reliant you know, not eating the store-bought and stuff, not running the store. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be making our own herbs and seasoning and, <clears throat> you know, canning our own tomato paste and making it, making just all that stuff, you know. We'll still do stores and stuff because it's going to take us a while to get set in. There's so much to do in a small period of time. It's going to take us a while, but our goal, our goal is to show you the reality of what it's like to live in a very foreign, primitive location, isolated um home setting and getting to a point where we 100 percent live off of what we raise grow and hunt that's that's the ultimate goal so we're, when we get there it'll take time uh we're gonna have to obviously invest in a tractor that's gonna be something to clear the land it's just gonna be a fucking long journey hardcore journey You'll crush it. I know. Thank you, awesome. Appreciate it. We've done it before. We've lived off the grid. Like I said, I built my own antennas. I built my own saunas. I built my own TV uh, antennas, windmills, solar panel systems. Um, I've been extremely self reliant. We drilled our own wells. We ran our own water. Uh, tiki, torches. tiki torches. Yup. Like I said, we we've done it before. We're the original uh, OGs of off the grid um, home setting. So. And then just homesteading in general. So being being a long journey to get back there, it's been a while. We're not there yet. We're still we're still in the beginnings of the the offer. It takes a while. But instead of going from the ground up, 
that was something I was thinking about originally. I was like, I don't want to go from the ground up. I want to have something on the land. The kids and Bree and essentially I, we just want to get straight to it. I don't want to have to build a house and all that. We could have done it that way. We looked at it and even considered it. It's just nicer to just be, well, there's already an establishment out there. So we can get right to the festivities. That's what I'm excited about. Yeah, oh, we're way past that stage. We're we're in the we're we're past pre-approved. We're through the underwriting and everything. Yeah, we're we're all the way through pretty much. It, it, it's all down basically to the guy to accept it and then uh, closing essentially. We already have the down payments and everything needed. Yeah. Shout out to you guys, you know, all you guys support. We put it back to work. I say all the time, your bitch, your subs, your donations not only give me motivation and interest to continue the stream, but it also brings you content. Right, content loading. The more support we get, the more we do. That's how it's always been on my channel. I make a million bucks, I'm giving you a million dollars of content. If I make a hundred dollars, I'm giving you a hundred dollar content. So yeah, we're already through all that bullshit. That's what's dope. Yeah. Yeah, we're already, we're up to the, is everything unlocked up there? Yeah. I want to get that third line out. Here. Truck is locked? Yeah. Yeah, I need my toothbrush. Mine too, it's in the door. Bite. Oh, <laughs> I'm over the annoying part. Well, my main thing, guys, here's the deal. We've been traveling and doing this so long. People don't understand how it's easy but hard at the same time to do to do traveling a nomad lifestyle moving in like we are. Because, first off, the amount of money we're spending in gas and going out to eat, it's just fucking insane. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to... We everything we have is in totes in the back of the truck. It's not like you know you, we just have a RV where we can open a fridge. We have to crawl through the back of the truck and dig through totes to figure out what we want to eat. That's annoying. So sometimes we're on the move and we're like, okay, we need to get a bite to eat. So let's grab whatever's available. So if we find ourselves going out to eat way more than we should, so the money we're gonna save. And the gas we're gonna save. It's gonna be fucking amazing. And the stress. Because there's a lot about where we're we gonna park, where we're we gonna stay at the end of the day. You know, especially in the winter. <laughs> especially how we're doing in the winter. It's not like all the campgrounds are open. The campgrounds only open up till May fucking 15th. Because Alaska still has snow up until May. They're still not accessible through May. So when you look at it like that, you can't just go in the woods because there's no wood access. Yeah, hell. yeah, there's no real access up to the wood. Oh yeah, I know where my toothbrush is. It's in that right here. Nope, not there. In one of those. What's that? Okay. I don't know what it is. Well, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, is this spot, I know where I can catch fish. I, I'm i doing this spot on a gamble. I, I can stay here for a couple hours, and if I don't catch anything, I'll just move because, I mean, <laughs> I've already I've already found where the fish are. I've already caught a shit ton of fish in this area, but it's not right here. 
this is where all the locals go and this is where everybody else goes and they swear that this is the spot to go you ask anybody in town they're like oh yeah you just go you even like I, there's even a youtuber that, that that comes out here and he fishes a spot and it's like you know i i i went out and i go hmm this doesn't look like a spot i want to fish and i went over and fished the rock ledges and i was fish on fish on so i wanted to try this i'm a, i'm a i'm somebody that goes okay well it's monday tuesday wednesday thursday it's early in the morning everybody's at work there's not gonna be a lot of people out here let's go fish this spot while it's not busy and see what we can come up with type of guy and then i'll on the weekends i'll find somewhere else to go or not fish at all there's no people here that's why we're here no buddy stay stay Sorry, big guy. Oh, poor bear can't come out because there's fucking dogs everywhere. enough land to do what I need to do it's not like a hundred acres or anything but it's enough that I can be able to do what I want accomplish what I need never gonna be enough but you know it'll be enough to get me started and do what I need and you know start from there so it dies for days how you doing yeah I mean I I optimally wish there was more land on the property but again, it comes down to again, like it's, it's enough to get me started, it's enough to accomplish what I need to accomplish for now. And then later on, we can always buy out surrounding properties or move, but it's a good starting, starting point. It's more than I, it's more land than I'm going to be able to do with, do anything with this year. Let's just say that. I won't be able to do what I want to do this year with the land we have on it. And it's, by, in the means of it, it's surrounded by thousands of thousands of acres. Basically, from this point right here, all the way over there fucking 200 miles or so 100 100 something miles of this land from here so that this is the backyard essentially all this all this land right here is basically the backyard or the side yard of where we're gonna live so this connects if you go that way way over there links into Hi. Huh? That links into what we're looking. So, and there's no way to get there on this way. I didn't hear what you said. I see mine. Hey, friend. There's an eyebrow in the lantern, too. Sunflower seed mouth. <laughs> oh, look at you. Just, just be all slick and shit. <clears throat> Come on, fish. Come on, son. Yeah, come on, son. <laughs> The tide is going out, out. Uh -huh. So that's great. We'll gain some extra casting distance. 
I haven't got the video up for the property yet. I'll get there. My phone broke. How you doing, the brand? What's up, Legend? Little tizzle in the house. A lot of legends out here. I'm working on a, from the start of the journey of going from the Kenai, I'm having YouTube shorts. So go to my YouTube channel and you can check out my YouTube shorts. Well, the second we got onto the Kenai Peninsula, to the beginning of the adventures, to all the things we've done so far, up to the point of looking up to the house. So you'll be able to see it, like episodes. Okay, well, man, they got to the Kenai. Oh man, they stayed the night here. Oh, they stayed the night here. They made breakfast and dinner here. They stayed here. They did this. They went here. They went there. They went there. They went on the ferry boat. They went up and looked at it. I have a whole entire storyline. Yeah, I'll eventually turn it into a YouTube video. I've been documenting everything. I've been documenting every bit of it. Excuse me for spitting. Smells like freedom. Tizzle, what's up? Hell yeah, there's... Apparently, it's like... <laughs> apparently, there's so many bears out there because all the black bears... The black bears are just full. I mean, yeah, the berries. So there's there's a shit ton of bears out there. Black bears are loaded out there. A lot of black bears out there. And so we're gonna do some black bear hunting. I'm gonna get my black bear rug. I'm gonna get my black bear skin. And I depending on the, the rolls out there, some places you're allowed to shoot more than one black bear. So we're gonna be we're gonna be going out there. I'll I will do all the hunting. There's a lot of um birds out there, a lot of bird hunting and squirrels and and such like that. But again, it is surrounded by glaciers. So you know you got mountain goats up there as well uh being surrounded by glaciers you're gonna find it, it, it's not like you can get out there and neither can some of these animals so some animals are gonna have a little less but some are gonna have a little more because the population ain't depleted by other um things you know so if you add wolves into the area it's gonna start depleting moose if there's wolves there you go yep mangy dog so if you start adding you know Wolves to this place, you're going to start losing moose. If you start adding grizzly bears to this place, you might start losing moose and this and that. So each thing you add and subtract. Right, right. I think it's fine. It's a potty into the biggest pothole road possible, so I'm pretty sure people aren't going 90. Just yep, just enough to kind of bug you up. Yeah, really was in. I'll give it another uh, launch it out there again. All right. What is that noise over there? There was a boat. Here. Charter boat. Music or something. Well, yeah, it does, doesn't it? I want to go for a walk, guys, here shortly. I want to kind of go around and see if I can get to the beach. There's another beach over there. That'd be kind of cool. Just to take a walk that way and see what's up there. 
you know, we got all the lines out there already, so we're finally fishing. All right, guys, so we have some lines out there. We soak this one. We're going to roll it in and throw it back out. We went and built our own rod holder for now. The ones at the store were really janky. And they were quite expensive for what they were. So we went and got some parts and built our own. Now let's see if we can catch fish with it. Holy shit, what? Cool. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. That's still enough to catch fish. I can fix it. I mean, do you want me to get rid of that fucking... Do you think that thing's deterring anything from eating it? I don't know. I'll get rid of it. It's kind of big, but I mean, I know a lot of people use that, but... I think if I ran double knots, I mean, uh, a trailer hook, and put it between the trailer and that, it might be better. But I don't know. If I was a fish, I want to eat that. <laughs> Would you? I mean, we're not 200 feet deep also, you know, to try to get the light. I mean... That's it, just take it off. Let me get it some sucker. I think we're gonna go with an air drone eventually. If I don't get a boat, I'll probably just invest in a nice air drone and do that. A fishing drone. Yeah, a fishing drone. Of course. I swear someone's gonna stare you over there. They are. Maybe they're gonna have a vet so they're just like testing everything. I mean, I doubt they're going to move up this weekend, but... Good job. She's saving all the jellyfish. Saving the jellyfish, huh? Yeah. No, oh, that one's probably dead then. Okay. In Juno, there's so much kelp, it's hard to fish. Ooh, good to know. There we go. Try not to walk in the water. Well, that's, yeah. Well, I want to see Juno. I'd like to adventure there one day. But for now, we got our own adventures out here. So hard to do with this fucking big ass glove on. I, I cannot wait not to wear gloves for a couple days. You have to wear. Oh, near the shore, yeah. I know some places like here you can't you can't keep the kelp, so there must not be very much. Um, but I know the other side, you can keep kelp, and people make kelp salads and all sorts of stuff. I don't I don't know why. <laughs> Never tried it. Maybe eventually. I do have a dehydrator, so we can make our own sushi seafood, seaweed or something, maybe. 
I have to look into that. Tell us what up, Azrael. Hello, hello. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, uh, this is our pause. third cast. Okay, make a decision. <laughs> Confused, huh? Mm -hmm. Seemed like he was. Good to see you, by the way. Raw Moto, the legends are out here coming through. Flawless. Lost his OG legend badge, but hey, he's still hanging the banging. <laughs> What's that? That's a hell, Kevin Echo. What? I think they're testing the tsunami shit. What the fuck? You never know. We're from the coast. They do test where we're from too, but... We knew when they were gonna do it. Is this the one? This is mine, Kay Kaylee. Focus. Am mine? I don't have a rainbow machine. Okay, well, so I'm gonna drink a lot of it. I do have one though. I do. I have some left in the bottom of mine. Oh. Okay. Taiwan. So uh, was there earthquake in Taiwan or something? <sighs> well, you just never really know. When they're gonna do a test, if you're not from the area. No wonder why nobody's fishing. There's a fucking tsunami coming, bud. <laughs> You'll get an alert on your phone, too. You think? Test day. Wait. Well, they already did a noon sound. I guess there was an earthquake out there. Um, what the holy zoinks? So Taiwan had an earthquake, 7-9. Is that far? Is that along the way from us? So, 7.2 yeah. is what happened with um, Hardball here. Yeah, but that ain't here. That was there. Someone's... Taiwan is on the other side of the country. Yeah, but it ain't gonna fuck with this. Y'all better get on the internet box. Remember that one time I was out doing a survival stream on this historical, a whole historical ghost town? I was out there doing an island survival stream, and <clears throat> there was a tsunami, there was an earthquake right out. And there was an actual legit tsunami warning. There was supposed to be a tsunami coming where I was. Yeah. And I, I shit you not, uh, everybody in chat's like, yeah, there was there's fucking tsunami warning. My brother called me up, my mom called me up. He's like, you can get the fuck off that island. There's a tsunami coming. And then it, then everybody goes, no, it was canceled. It was canceled. And, the, and then the following day, uh, there was an alert from Noah. Noah said we had a malfunction. Now, the tsunami wasn't actually canceled. But it didn't show up. It just didn't happen. But they said they said there was a possible one that was still pushed to come. But the Noah had a <coughs> they they had a malfunction in their systems, and, it, <laughs> and I was like, well, good thing I got off because it could have actually still came. That was crazy. That was a crazy fucking day. Yeah, it's fucking nutty, dude. I, yeah, I mean, where I was, you were you'd be a dead man. You can look at that, it was called Bay Ocean Spit. It's no actually needed. Yeah. Cool. I 
My nose is cold. Yeah. Piece of shit. Hey, what? What? Oh, the, the 1964 earthquake. I thought you meant the last one. I was like, nobody had a tsunami in Oregon. Oh, I didn't know either. Crazy. Those are the grandmas that are like, I'm not leaving my house. <laughs> Idiots, I'll tell you that much. I'm going to ride it out here, honey. Don't worry about me. Process elimination to the idiots. What? In rock, the rock community no, I don't want to be a part of that. It was so funny. There are a bunch of idiots out there. Well, some guy was like, where can I go shoot our guns safely and just, you know, have fun in the woods or whatever. And somebody's like, you can't shoot those in Brockway. And he's like, well, I wasn't asking that. Yep, too many libtards out there. Some person said, like, gave him directions to Idaho. Yep. Like, we don't like guns in our community. Anyway. That's why I left that place. A bunch of liberals. Right, Caitlin? We're going to throw down the other rod here today we bought this as a package deal I've yet to actually line it up so let's get it done so we have another rod out just keep on putting more rods in the water and be more efficient What am I missing here? Why ain't this thing connecting? Oh, I see. Dude, doing anything with gloves is fucking horrible, bud. Like, it just, this thing janky and it, it's in the way. Come do this. You don't got gloves. They were so far off camera. I was fixing the line. Okay. Oh, we well, we can just toss that one and go buy a different one. Yeah, that's what we should do. I didn't bring my scissor. Target acquired. Target acquired. Jixer with that get to the American here in the house. What's up, man? Hey, how you been? Good to see ya. Jixer on the snipe, the first snipe of the day. The legend, actually, the second sub of the day, I believe. Legend coming through. Good to see you, bro. Thank you. You get it? Yeah, I was yeah. just going the wrong way. 
This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was being a hoarder me. I couldn't do it because it this thing was hitting that and bothering me. Mm -hmm. anyway. Let's do it with the other hand so that just nothing wasn't in the way. You're really good, Kaylee. You're in the third layer or no? So second. Nice. You're doing really, really good. Main. Dang it. Sure. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It went around the toothbrush. Oh, shit. I can do both. Oh, can you? Yeah. Okay. Well, it just slipped, so there we go. I got it. It's on the toothbrush so it has a little grippy. You don't have to hold it. It has a grippy and a hold. How are we doing today, guys? Good to see you, good to see you Jake. Hope you're having a good day, man. Thank you for the gifted. Appreciate that, legend. He was asking how where American was. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen him in a few days. He's out there. Shout out to American because he's the one to design our weather command setup. Azure also, did you see my tweet I sent you? I did not. I haven't got on it. Not yet, no. Nice and sunny there, he says. Yeah, I, I haven't been on social media really the last couple of days. I haven't checked my Discord or anything much as that goes. Been busy. Yeah. Rip, rip points. My, my social media phone actually, my main phone for. Right here goes a sailboat. My main phone for my YouTube and TikTok and social media and everything broke. So now I gotta, this is my chat phone. I only use this phone for chat. And this, this sucks. If we don't catch anything here after a while, we're just gonna get out of here because this is where everybody comes to go fishing. All the locals and everything swear that this is a spot to go. Me being someone from the Northwest, I swore the rock ledge was where to go. And I caught fish all through there. So I'm sitting around trying this place because nobody's here and well we'll see slack tide's coming fishing should be moving up and getting good so if it works our in our favor we'll do it otherwise we're gonna get out of here find every spot fish fish the rock ledge on the way back hmm. what's up rib coins how you doing you mean x <clears throat> It's still Twitter, it's just an X for... I know. It's funny because there was an interview and Elon was talking and the Disney owner was there and the guy in an interview asked Elon, he goes, are you upset that people are advertising on your website anymore? And he goes, no, I don't want them to advertise. I don't want them to spew their fucking lies over here. We want them to be honest here. And uh, the, the the owner of Disney, and, uh, he 
you can see his attitude and his look. He's just like, well, go fuck yourself, the Elon. But, you know, I thought it was funny because, you know, he's trying to protect free speech in, you know, how those guys will manipulate you. Thought it was an interesting interview clip. It's tied to it. Yep. All right, let's get another line out. There's four of us out here, so we'll put four lines out. There's no sense to only have three lines when there's four people. I might, I might do my own line on this one. You know, I got time. I should tie my own setup. So I've been using these pre-ties because, well, just trying to get out in the water quickly. Let's make our own tie-up. There's no sense to not try our own. Let's see. My sturgeon line. Well, that's what he did was buy it and, and got rid of the bullshit. Come on, line fish, let's go, bud. Let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. One for social media, I wanna be on any of it. What if we're streaming, I mean. Hi, <laughs> Green Eyed Lady. Hi, Green Eyed Lady. How are we doing today? <laughs> See if I can remember how to do this. I always do it backwards the first time. Make a dipshit. Do I do the first one? Yeah, first one first. I'm gonna take my gloves off. Wait on the bottom. Ah. Let's see. Mr. Pinnacle, how are we doing today? Oh, well, we're out here. See what happens. That's all you can do, right? I don't know these hooks. I think this line might be too big enough to put it through this twice. I think it would. What else do I got? I got 60 pound. If I can come around maybe if I can find like 40 pound we'll be doing it. I have it. Just gotta find it. Here's this one. Maybe this one's a little thinner. 60. Money can't buy happiness. Look at the what? Fucking smile Who's doing this? this? Love the pickles, pickles. 69 pickles. What dude? Can we go back to the place with seagulls fucking screaming to fish? I hated that place. We left there. Yeah. No, what's up, man? Thank you so much. You guys a few three dollars here and there helps a lot. Thank you. Because the water was up there earlier. Yeah, the water's way up there. No, it's just still fatty ass line. Yeah, that's that's where the water line was 20 minutes ago. It's a little thinner, but. What was I doing? <laughs> After you get that line in the water, I'm gonna take this one and walk down here a little bit. For sure, doll. All right.
Okay. Now we're gonna take this. We're gonna run this here. Like that. Bap. Easy. Then we're just gonna go like this. So what you'll see you, is like this. Legend pickles always come with that support. Adds up fast and helps a lot. Okay. Like this. Oh, you're doing the that. That'll give us that line right here. Get to the bait loop. I'm gonna have a trailer on this little slut. Awkward. Yeah. And then, just say the least if I did it right. I usually do it backwards the first time because I don't. It's not like I do this every day anymore. It's something I do barely. Doing anything with gloves on, bud. So, size of the herring. I think I should have had that on the outside. That only matters. Fuck it. So, so it gets interesting. So, we go like this. Like that. And I'll do one Aww, more. Oh, a little fluffy. And we're going to run that in here like this. I feel like there's a moth on, oh. on the beach. What I should have done, or I could have done, what? is grabbed. That little, that little glow in the dark jelly. Is that that? But a lot you of put people, it in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what a lot of people have been running for halibut is he's running these things like that. But there's another one that's smaller. We're not going to run it. We're going to keep it natural. And we're going to go. Oh, there. There it is. Oh, wow. Come on. This is where it gets interesting because you got to get this one to go through that one. And you got to run that line. So that one comes over like this. Oops. A little longer. The people are up there. And then in. Like this. I should have cut that tag off. It's causing me a headache. Then. Is that Pomeranian? Mm-hmm. Let's do one more. And then pull that down like this. Push that over, make sure it's right. I'm gonna pull these. <laughs> probably on vacation to Hawaii. Yo, Milta! Milta, what up? Legends. I'm Milta in the house. Okay, so what we're gonna do here Good, is that. Dude. Good job. What, this? Yeah. <laughs> you just got just a little present. I, I wish my back would just pop. It's right between my shoulder blades. Come on, baby. What? No. There's no fish in the bay. No fish bay. We're going to call this no fish bay. What do you want me to do with that? Joe, you know I got those. Don't touch the daddy. No. Yeah, I think we're going to do, uh, yeah, the chicken meatballs. Meatball subs. I don't know what the hell we're going to do for lunch. That's always the hardest thing, because... Well, because you don't make anything... When we're not streaming, but grilled cheese for dinner. Uh, actually, I was gonna make spaghetti last night. Again, I was gonna go swimming across the bay, but I didn't, so it didn't happen. Why can't you open your water? Susie, Gus, what up? No, we're not. We're not cooking near the screaming seagull. We're not even around there. Hell, with those little bastards, huh? 
I mean, I was hoping the fishing would be a little More decent productive. over here. Uh, I'd like to stay out here all day and just cook and make lunch and shit, but. I mean, after a little while, like maybe in the next like 30 minutes, if we don't get anything, you know, enticing anything, we could start making our way down the yeah. thing. Isn't it beautiful, Susie? It is beautiful. You gotta cut them in half and lay them on your on them. Let me. I can turn them into spaghetti, like spaghetti meatballs. It doesn't have to be meatball subs. Um, uh uh. I don't. I think I helped all of them. Yeah? I think you're putting all the jellyfish back in the bay. Another one right here. That one's dead, though. Okay, but he can still be in the water. Okay. After you cut him in half, he yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did it. I know. You didn't say I want you? No, nothing. So that's what we got. We got some nice white bread. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> you walk right in that line. I wonder what time of the it is. Alaska tides. Mm -hmm. I think it's black right now. Really? Oh no. Um, hang on. Next time is at 406 is low. Backwards. Janky ass 30. And then it's only like a six foot tide exchange coming back in. Oh, so we're gonna have good fishing. Yeah, it'd be good fishing out there if we're rock fishing. I think it should be good here too. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Everybody always swears that this is the fucking spot and we come out here and I've never had any luck and I see people come out here and they're, they're really not doing much luck. I come out here several times, four or five times now. I'm like, how's fishing? Nobody's catching anything. I'm just trying it because, well, Seems like everybody keeps coming out here for a reason, so. <laughs> what? And we have the beach ourselves. No brainer, yeah. I'm coming at this a different one. Looks like such a fake background. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You can drive on the other side, but I think I'm going to take right there. There's that big boat. Okay. I guess you didn't like the glacier views. And yeah. Hey, what? Oh, the people. I know, I told you it's a little fluffy. Where did you come from? Hi, to me. <clears throat> She's like, I'm going to come see you. Oh, come here. Where's your people at? Come here. Hi, Jenny. You look like a little teddy bear. So tiny. Hey. Come here. She's like, no, mercy or whatever. What the heck? Wait. Why is its leg shaped? Watch how it walks. Oh, it is shaved. It has one whole side of shaved. Maybe I went through some surgery, bud. 
Why is it out on the beach by itself then? It's probably from a freaking eagle or something trying to get it. Oh, true. Hey, little fluffy. I thought you were supposed to peel my hair and put it in. Are you trying to let your people? Oh, yeah, I had surgery. Okay. Probably for a microchip because it probably keeps running off. <laughs> probably. Hi, Annie. You're so fluffy. It is deaf. Then how did I hear people start barking? Oh, there's people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Are you not? Well, I'm not being very freaking cooperative, isn't he? Mm hmm Bouncing off the leaves. I was talking to you and I was like, come here. <laughs> Look a little girl. Just on its own little agenda. Bye. <laughs> yeah, what up, Yoli? How you doing, Yoli? Yeah, buddy. Poodle. It's got to be cold on that one leg, bud. <laughs> What's an Alaskan Shepherd, bud? Alaskan Shepherd. I think it identifies as a fucking Malamute. Malamute. It's, <laughs> it's walking up to you. You can try. Oh, it likes you. Aww. It's not gonna bite you. Pet it. Apparently, it likes you too. He likes you. <clears throat> Look, we got a new dog anyways. <laughs> He's trying to sniff you. Hell yeah, Violi. Yeah, I saw that, Port Rock. The legend? I saw that. What? Did they recriminalize the drugs again? Interesting. Bummer. Fish. I was gonna go back and have some fun. Fish is look. <laughs> hey, Dad, look, you've got a new doggy. That's the kind of dog I want. My eagle bait. That should work. Okay, I need some fire and lead. It does look like a Back poodle. To... The way its foot is in shape, but its leg is. Yeah, it just that like part. But... And the fire is out of here. Um, that sounded cool. Yep. Only reason I wanted to have one of these dogs is because I don't know what they're doing. Do you need another glove? That plastic bag in there is garbage. If you need one, I got another one right here. Uh, hey, with the Prime Prodigy with the OG, I'm locking it. I'm locking the 12, man. Thank you for that 12 months resub. Where's this one going? Love it when you use these green screens. Love it when you use this green screen. That's green screen on Twitch, man. Um. What I got? I'd say. 
Over there? Yeah, I'd say over there. I mean, it's where the boat launch is. It's probably deeper over there. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to put the chair, but... Uh, well, Kira's not using her chair. Yeah, bring it over, buddy. Oh, I almost said, uh, I bet you it's her dog. Alone, right? It's beautiful. You want to have a blanket on your lap? Sure. <laughs> hey! Well, Dad's using the chair and I don't want to go in the water. Our favorite part of Alaska so far. Seward. F favorite part or favorite like? What's look? your favorite part of Alaska so far? Freedom. Uh, what? Just dive. Uh, feeling like? <laughs> curious of the house. I mean, there's a lot. I like Alaska a lot. Oh, smell that. The salt water? Now it smells like the bay. Yeah, I would have to say, I mean, I like Alaska a lot because it's beautiful and you really do feel like you have some sort of freedom out here. I I mean, what's your favorite part? Um, as far as location wise goes, I'd say Sedovia, where we're looking to buy a house, or even this town right here, Stewart, so far. Location is um, so or actually, the pass through. The pass, the, the thing that this has salt water, but. You like the Richardson Highway. The Richardson Highway was fucking amazing. But the glaciers, I love the glaciers and the mountains and the wildlife and then the sense of freedom and uh, the wilderness it has. And uh, the location we're looking to buy land at. By the way, we put an offer in. It has a lot of freedom uh, vibe here, man. It really does. I mean, you feel. You feel like the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, it, it's unscathed land, you know. There's places people never been in Alaska. There's places people don't go, you know. And then we haven't even we haven't even felt the fishing yet. I mean, yeah, we're out fishing now, but it's between seasons. We're not even in it yet. No, I just jumped out half a minute. Was that too I went and I Battery's not charging. Let's take a little glance. That one's on. Let's see what's happening here. Hmm. Should be charging. What's that? So Johnny, we're in Seward, Alaska. We have four lines in the water, three for halibut or cod, one for whatever the hell hit, hits it. Yeah, TikTok. I've been putting videos out. That's mission socials. Follow our socials. I put a few TikTok vods out. Yep. So, hmm, what else? Yeah, we're not even. We haven't even touched Alaska content yet. We're just getting started. You know, we're we're only here, um, <clears throat> in between the winter to the spring, and you know, working with the the breakup out here is what they call it. And then you get the next. Two weeks next month to two three and five months is just going to be a whole different game i mean the, the conditions get better the weather gets better the daylight stays longer and the fishing just becomes a whole different animal a 
whole different animal. Love it. You're cr crushing that felt it, like bud. A slight earthquake. What? That felt like a slight oh. earthquake. It felt like the ground went boom. Yeah. It's beautiful out here. The glaciers. So if you look that way, up and over all those glaciers somewhere, right? It's like yeah. this way, right? It's yeah. Where? So if you go that way, a lot of mileage up and over all those glaciers, that's where we're looking at the property. There's no roads there. There's no driving there. There will never be car driveway or bridge to this place. None. Thank you, Johnny Jet. Ron with the 5,000! Ron Legend! Oh, that's the biggest bitch of the month so far. Ron, come here with the 5,000. Yo, thank you, Ron. Yeah, I always think about Ron and, and Janet. I'm always like, man, we've been streaming late hours. I don't know if we're catching the early streams enough for everybody to be able to see our content. So YouTube, uh, you guys out, out there on the YouTube, you can always come, go back and catch up where you left off. But we are, we are just getting started out in Alaska, and we're going to be putting out more content earlier, hopefully. Um, it's kind of hard, like I was saying this morning, when you're out here living like we are, you go from, it's 30 degrees, right, with the wind and stuff, it's like 20s. You go from cold, cold, to getting into your into our cargo trailer where we sleep at night. So we're not in a house or anything or a hotel, we're in this cargo trailer. So you go from cold into, you know, 35, 40 degree cargo trailer. And, you, and me, I'm sleeping on the ground. So I'm sleeping on the ground, so it's really cold. So you get, we don't got, we don't run a heater in there. It's just, we, we run a, we don't run the buddy heater because it's been acting up again, so we stopped running the buddy heater. So it's it's just temperature what it is in there. So we cook a little, turn on the propane stove, take the chill off, and we lay down and go to bed. And then when you lay down and over nighttime, you got a negative 35 degree sleeping bag. When you get up in the morning, I'll get up at six, seven o'clock, and I'll just be like, and I can see my breath and I'm just like fuck this I don't want to get out of this thing and I'll just keep laying there until about nine and I'm like okay we got to get out of bed and it's still chilly outside so it's not much motivation to get out if you had a house and a cabin or something you get out of your bed you make your coffee you're nice and warm you put on nice warm clothes you're in a nice warm element you know so we're working on getting this homestead squared away as soon as possible so we can have that vibe and start streaming I want to set the clock, no matter how tired I am, I want to start getting on uh, about 8 o'clock our time. So, yeah, Ron's, Ron's a legend, man. Thank you, Ron. So, yeah, we, um, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Woo! 5,000 bitch, man. That's a lot. That's the most this month so far. Thank you. So, yeah, we're, uh... We're finally getting all the lines in, doing halibut fishing. It's only gonna get better. You know, getting into the homesteading stuff. I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Good to see you, Dylan. Anyone read the history of Sylvia? If you got a history on it, let us know. We got a Russian settlement is all I know. Russian settlement, not, a, a, um, not sure much past that. Mm. And we have all the lines in the water that we can't have. So here's the deal. Let's get it. Hats off to the tribe, baby. Tribe love, man. If you got three or four good pals, you got yourself a tribe. There's nothing stronger than that. We must stick together. I hope you sure do, buddy. That's the shrimp one, though. Bummer. Damn, 5,000 bits. A lot of bits. So yeah, we're we're gonna try to fish out here. This is kind of the local hole. 
a lot of people come out here this will be packed in the summer especially when the halibut's really moving in you're gonna find this bot is just lined up shoulder to shoulder fishing rod to fishing rod there's a there's a road that goes up and around i want to venture around it and see what we can do but for now doesn't seem like it went very far what i can see the truck go like right there and it turned around and came back it was a um, garbage pickup truck well may not have went very far but i do know that road goes very far why, but why was a like, garbage truck up there there's houses up there I don't know what kind of property is up there. I don't know if it's like private and stuff, but there's a beach. <laughs> there's a beach, either that corner or that next corner. There's a beach. Mm. Lucy Barry. Looks like. Oh, when you picked it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to go for a walk and. I yeah, I want to go way over there and cast out there. Yeah, I want to, there's that rock ledge, and somewhere over there, there's that beach line. There's no crab here, right? Why? Because it wasn't a donation of dollars, it was a donation of bits. Um, don't think so. I mean, it's like equivalent to me saying, hey, thanks for the, you know, if someone gifted five subs, it'd be like, hey, thanks for the $10 dono. No, no, that was $25 or whatever, but. Camera's doing the no camera bullshit again. Maybe it stopped. I don't know, maybe it's not gonna do it for a second. Hey, I was doing that no camera camera bullshit. I knew, but you'd never get money. Well, you just watching means you're helping the show, so you're never required to get money. It does help to support the channel, though. You guys are the sponsors of the show. Just by lurking, you guys. Just, just by lurking and watching or smashing the sub helps us a lot. There's a lot of people that's never donated a dime to streamers, but they come in and support our channel for whatever reason or vice versa. Yeah, hey Amber. Oh, this does go way over here. You'd be good fishing here. So I don't know. Um, Father Time, what's up, man? I just hate these green screens, man. They're just too nice. Look how beautiful this water is. Incredible. Well, I run a lot of ads, so 
you still gonna you still gonna get some you're still gonna get some support coming in just by watching by watching those ads so unless you got ads blocker <sighs> well we all have a beautiful awesome day guys uh this is this is where hey mustang how are you doing good to see ya <sighs> well wow it's beautiful that view is insane there's a little beach somewhere over here there's a road that goes up and over the top there's a little beach over here i wonder if i can get to it by walking this way i wanted to hike and cast out some rods alaska's insane the fire side what up g should have brought the big camera Wow, oh, this is where we ought to be fishing. What are we doing over there, bud? <clears throat> we ought to come over here while we have the opportunity to fish this spot. Look at this. Incredible. I was gonna, shit, why would I even do that? Come over here without a rod. Janky ass, jank. Wow. Oh, yes. The Time Bandit. Boy, howdy. Yep, we were just there the other day. Two days ago. Or three. Damn, bro. Look at this. Holy sheesh. Yeah, there's a road. That means the beach is over there. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Hello, Archon. <laughs> I, I should have brought the big camera over here. This is insane. Insane. So beautiful. <clears throat> you could have a filth day here. The water is glacier melt, beautiful, clear, clean water. I can see straight to the bottom at 10 feet all day long. Unbelievable. There's there's the beach. I think I see it. I should cast out from here. I should, I should go get all my shit. Reel them all up. Cast out from here. I'm going to get way further out there. And I have a feeling that this is going to be way better fishing. Uh, you know, there's, there's Dungeness crab a lot, in a lot of places in Alaska, and they, they're some of the biggest Dungeness crab, um, they say this is where the biggest Dungeness crab come from. There's, uh, the Tanner crab as well, Tanner crab that you can get, and there's obviously Alaskan king crabs and stuff, but it's all about location, and it's all about what is allowed to be caught at the time, because some places you're not allowed to get the Dungeness, um, and I don't know quite yet where everything is. You, you know, you think about your neck of the woods with Tizzle. There's crab everywhere. California, there's crab everywhere. Oregon, Washington coast, there's crab everywhere. You can pretty much cast out in any bay and you're going to probably get some crab. Alaska seems a little different. You, gotta, you got different clamming holes, shrimping holes, and crabbing. And it's just finding them. And as we continue to search and explore, I'll figure them all out. So, I don't think there's crab directly out where we're at. Because, well, I'm throwing my line out there and I'm not getting any any crab fucking with it. So, I would say no. This is why I like Seward. I was going to stay in Homer, Alaska, but I just think Seward is just so much more. I mean, I don't think. I know it is. 
Sewer is absolutely stunning. And I heard Valdez is somewhere you got to experience too. I haven't got to Valdez yet. Although I probably won't end up going to Valdez while the snows are still in the mountain. It's a long trip. So beautiful. Okay, trying to get to Valdez, Alaska. I got to go to the Richardson Highway. I got to head quite a ways back. As Azrael knows where it is. I got to go quite a ways back. I've been burning so much gas, money, and time. And then I don't see much of a reason to go to Valdez because my research shows the fishing really don't start until May, late June, you know, or late May and June in Valdez. So I don't know if there's like rock fishing or anything and catching fish from the shore. Not sure how that works out there yet. What's up, Tora? Snow crab? Yeah, it sucks. It, it sucks to see populations of seafood and stuff. But I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a, there's a lot of mismanagement by every everywhere I go. There's some sort of mismanagement. Like if you look at the Oregon coast, there's more seals than I mean. There are so many seals, and they're just devouring the population of so many different things. You know, you used to be able to fish. Hey, the fish just jumped right there. I think. Potomac Bay used to be able to go out there years back and just slay sturgeon and and slay uh, flounders and stuff in those areas way back in the 40s, 60s, 70s, and early 80s. <clears throat> but the seals just destroy all the fishing populations, and you can't kill the seals because they're not allowed to be killed. But And then they say there's not that many, but... We have buddies that are commercial fishermen, and I ran the, we ran the underwater diving operation. So there's thousands and thousands and thousands of seals in the Tillamook Bay, thousands. And what do you think they eat? What do you think they're fucking eating? You know, kill some of those son of a bitches for a while. Let us harvest the fish. I mean, the seals are just useless fucking animals, in my opinion. I don't know what they're good for. <clears throat> and then you look at. Some of the otters out here, it's the same concept. The otters are just, just devouring the the clams out here, just eating the shit out of the clams. And then, you know, you got thousands and thousands of otters. So then you got thousands of people on top of that harvesting it. So, of course, the populations of things are going to deplete. It's a no-brainer. You got predators. I mean, look at look at the Mount, uh, Yellowstone National Park. It was the same thing. They introduced wolves again. And then it started to bloom and get green. But the elk population... And all that went down, and the wolves are kind of soft managing themselves over there, so it's working. But there, there needs to be a balance of nature. And that's where humans need to interfere a little bit and balance that out. And it's not always the answer of taking food resources from us. It's sometimes taking some of the population down that's depleting the population of other things, such as crabs. All right, let's get this view back in here. Beautiful. Hey, high attack. Yeah, those long lines, man. Those long lines. Oh, yeah. I hear you there. See, it's a never-ending cycle topic, right? Like you, We can le legit talk about this all day. Like, balance this to balance that to balance that. Look at this view, though. Wow. Holy sheesh. Yeah, I mean it's it's just a it's just insane like the whole cycle of life itself and directions affect everything, right? Like the long lines affect you in Canada, you know, and then we can go even deeper and talk about pollution and stuff that you know places like China produce. So DJ, how you doing? What's up, DJ? Awesome day. This is a picturistic view. I don't know how it looks on you guys is it on the screen. Makes me wish I had my big camera because this would be just unbelievable. 
I should go get the lines, reel all the fishing lines up. We should walk all over here. We got a couple hours of, of uh, fishing over here. So we could probably fish here for two hours probably. And then get out of here. It's going to be lunchtime soon too. It's two o'clock. I don't even know what we're doing for lunch. I just have a, I have a good feeling about this spot. I feel like we can, we can get an extra 50, well, extra 100 feet on my cast. I can cast an additional 100 feet out right here. Because we're casting from way back there on the shore through some shallows. And this is just straight deep all the way out. I said we'd go do that. I did. I went to the beach. <clears throat> yep. We're at the beach. We're at the cove. Uh, nobody's out here. Just us. It is low tide pushing slack tide. And we're not too far off. Here, sweetheart, we're going to go back and get our rods and stuff. We're going to come back out here and fish here for a bit. Okay. And we're not too far off. The slack, and I just came out to this spot looking around. I'm like, dude, we need to cast out from here. What are we thinking casting out over there? The viewers, yeah, a million dollar production crew has nothing against this real talk. Let's go, baby. For real, it's beautiful. <laughs> I know, man. This spot is looking golden. Exactly. These are mussels, bro. Really? Yeah. They edible? Yeah, they're edible. Raw? I mean, they taste better when you cook them in some good flavor. Oh, I'm not a... Are they to eat yeah, those are perfect eats. Well, I, uh, I don't know. Look for me, I got. Yeah, you can cook those. Question is, are you gonna? Because I, I don't know, make them for lunch. I can collect a whole bunch of Hardtack, a long legend out here, by the way. Good to see you. I'm actually getting quite hungry. I bought a brand new GoPro, by the way. I got. I might have to. They're, they're they're not gonna die if they're off the water for a little bit. Trust me. <clears throat> oh really? Yeah, she's been eyeballing them for a while. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, jellyfish things, right? Just swimming around, trying not to die. move yeah well, I'm gonna grab my lines we're gonna come over here and play with some fishing over there I mean, this is it's all it's all good time to do it low tide slack coming through you know a good two hours before high before slack tide high and low tides are where you want to really hammer it and you know I'm I haven't fished this beach yet a lot of people do fish this beach and a lot of people use drones when they fish it too and it's still early in the season so you know a lot of a lot of variables coming into play here uh looking at location wise i think that i've gave this about an hour and a half and ain't had a damn bite so me and you guys we're gonna pack up and move over there Yes, they get massive. They get big as your hand. What? Yeah, having snow on the coast, nutty. Absolutely insane to think about. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reel up and go out that out that air and fish. We'll just leave all that shit there and just grab our bait. And we're gonna get over there. No point to fish this spot if we're not catching anything. I, I know that I can go on the rock ledge and catch fish all day. 
you know we're looking we're looking to try new grounds you know when you're finding new fishing grounds sometimes you got to move around to do it and sometimes when fish aren't hitting in this spot move to a different spot and that's what we were going to do long little walk over there but we're doing it Nothing's hit my shrimp yet. Got enough for like a kelp bed? Well, I don't know either. Oh. Yeah! And I've got bear out here. I'm like, no, there's a freaking bear right there. Are we leaving? No, we're going to go all the way to the beach over there. Have fun. That rock over there. We're walking. Kira, is there any more? Uh, is there any more of those uh, Uncrustables? What are we going to eat? Nothing's hit my shrimp in a minute. <laughs> God darn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Allie! Yeah, <laughs> Allie? Poor Bam? Yeah, this is Bam's like, no, not poor me. Poor Allie, I've been busy. <sighs> cool. We're going to go over there. Yep, that's what we're doing, bud. We're moving. Kelly, like you're wasting the battery by just holding that. You're not touching it. Um. Well, then something's wrong with it. I need to bite. <laughs> Take the lead off. Take that there. Tighten your line. Yes, why well, we only take a couple? Take them all. Beautiful out, huh? Yeah. To Mikey? Thank you. We're trying. We out here, man. We casting out here. We're getting, we're getting some lines in the water. Got to break out. I break out. Twenty nine percent. I don't smoke. No. I smoke, I smoke a fucking eight now today, or I fucking ain't big money. Yeah, I don't. I made that oil film funny, but I didn't work at 7-Eleven, man. I'm fucking wait. I worked at oil pad for decades, motherfucker. I got more money than God. I'm going to bank bow to me when I walk in that fucking door. Clip it. We need a clip all around, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys see where we're headed. Right, I'm gonna try to get us up in this little corner here and fish this little ship. Oh, shit. Fuck you. You're gonna see the wall tent. The wall tent's gonna be dug down three, four foot anyways. I'm gonna get it blend in the truck. The truck's light. <laughs> Before you cheered, Dex 100 gonna send it. You got this. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Mac. Yeah. Two freaking hours to come out in the middle of nowhere. No, oh, no, we're, no, no, no. we're completely sideways. Yep. The whole trailer was. I can't go faster. Is that moose? Yeah. Awesome. And then ran that way. When was it? Like 
right when we got here. So and it, it was crossed. So that it crossed over there, and then when we they saw it, it was right there, right over on like right just crossing over, and then started running. Me and Kira got, got it. Ran did you? Out. Did, did, and Kira, and I said, Wait, what did you do? Run? I said, Move, move, and Kira I, ran. I called Kira the idiot because she's like, Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, you dumb idiot, get in the freaking tent. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over here shaking. I didn't even do that. You, you pee your pants? No, so, I had the pee and I was shaking. It, it's and footprints crossed over. Scared. And it was like, maybe two. You see that big tree, the double headed tree? No. -uh. Where'd it go in at? What? What? What's this about? Wait, what? Holy shit! Awesome. Thank you. Okay, ready? Go this way. I don't know why you do that. Here, where's your little coin purse thing? Let me see. Random stuff. <laughs> what we're doing um, is yet uh, again something that I love to do outdoor nature and enjoying that so again um, <clears throat> glad to have you here I'm glad to watch I'm glad to have you watching but as far as number one goes this is number one <clears throat> I'm just glad it's not ass cold out here today Josh. No. <laughs> we gotta start all over. We gotta take this whole thing down. If I'm being angry, I ain't really angry or not. I guess I should probably get in my shorts and be out there too. <laughs> Getting out of here, they're climbing over there! Alright, Wazzy. You see that? What? Oh no, fucking lightning! Oh. Lightning, we got it! Dude, we gotta get the air drone up there. Hell yeah! You guys hear the lightning? It was like across the whole sky. Hey, look at your kite. That thing's soaring. Oh, God. Oh, I can barely sit on this thing. How are you doing this? Ready? Yeah, like, push me on Oh, God. Ready? No. Oh, God. I push, I push her far. Yeah, there's a secondary. This is yeah, the first this one. Is the first one. Yeah, guys, we are not done yet. 
Nope, that was just the first one. Yeah, there's a secondary. There's another one up here. Yeah, y'all yeah, think we're done yet? Oh, no. Canada, right? Now we're in Canada. Yeah. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't like it. <laughs> no guns. Kidding. Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, one more. One more. Dad, at least you know it's going to be a little bit safe because there's no guns. Okay, so what's 25 US dollars yeah. to Canada? Woo, we went through one. Thanks. Hey, welcome to Canada, boys. Uh, let's see my... do the body search. Oh, shoot. Oh, hell no. Well, that was the... Big Papa, you fucking legend. No, that was the U.S. Customs one. Now we're going through Canada Customs. <laughs> Great. But they were Canadian officers. I don't know. Dude, I got dinner, though. I got crabs. I'm super excited. Stoked. The... Yeah, just go right there. I don't know what you're doing. Oh. He'll figure it out, I promise. Um, I wish I, I, wish I wasn't so fucking bright for the right, so. white balance. Yeah, let me see what I can do. It look weird for a second. Oh my gosh, it actually looks better, don't it? A levels. A lot. Auto. A lot. Auto. We on Mars. I haven't seen these in a while. What up, Father Time? Look at it. Acquired. Those things, like, they look like party hats. Don't go over there, girl. I know, it's been doing oh, that. Oh, my God. Random Dude, the legend. Yes. What? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Imagine that. Team right now. Holy shit. Cougar with five. ATW. Careful of the water. Legend Red, man. The legend striking us with the five gifted subs. Take it, Red. Let's get that, brother. Let's get some fish on that low. I know, she just needs to grab everything. Like, I'll grab, grab it. it.
Oh. Maybe. What is that? Part of a boat. Poor Rock, we were actually uh, sliding with the trailer. So I was, ah, but I was sick and I had no voice. So um, I looked in this mirror and my trailer was this way. Then I looked in this mirror and my trailer was this way and we were all over the road. It was scary. He almost died. <laughs> so scared. I think I might try air frying one of these. Searching inside for what they gave him. A strong will, strong mind, cause it's mayhem. We could change the world, change times, rearrange them. Staying on pace, running the race. Life is a chase, I don't want to play. So I'm going to push it until it hurts. I'm failing, right? They make these like, like I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't like the jelly to get um, the thing, the bread soggy. So two layers of peanut butter, one on each side of the bed. That's what I do. It's a uncrustable peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> Hello, Mustang! What? Yeah, there's a long alert. It wasn't supposed to be that long. <laughs> Did you see that? It just went all the way up here and then down. I got a good deal on them at Safeway. That's the only reason I bought them. Say, Kelly, there's the dog you want. What is it? Pomeranian? Australian Shepherd? Cousin Tian? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the kind of dog I want when they always. They're good little dogs. Huh? They're good dogs. Yeah. I want that kind of dog in a hut. What? I brought that. Right here. Okay. That's the old rock. How deep was it? I don't know. Ronnie, if you were the 5,000 boo! Ron, thank you, Ron! Again? Holy Chicago! Careful with that, Kaylee. Thank you so much, Ronnie! Shun it! What, the 5,000 earlier? What's today? Wednesday? That's up on your phone. You just passed it. I don't know what the fuck it is. I mean, only the lit sounds are down, so I can pick it up. I don't know, just move it. 
I'll put it on this rock. Buy it lunch. Matt, I just ate mine. Hello. How you doing? I've never seen it this low. Really? No. I'm cross bowl launch because that's what we got. It's a. Uh, it should get lower. This is only. It's not even low tide until 4:01. Shoot. <laughs> that's Heck the yeah. Australian Shepherd, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what she wants. That's what Kaylee wants. You're on my line, almost. He's a mini. That's what. That's what she wants. <laughs> Is he Cute. Nice? Is he nice? Oh, you want to see him? Yeah. He's so nice. What's his name? Nugget. Nugget. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Isn't it? He's so cool. We're nasty the last few days. It's kind of nice now. Looks very soft. I'd pet you, but I don't think you want <laughs> what I have on my hands. How old is he? Four. Four. Oh, he still looks like a puppy. Are you guys catching fish? Not yet. We just put it out. We did over there. Uh, we put it out over there. And it's nothing, but I have to come down and try to fish. Yeah. Some fish can caught like a 61 pound pound bit out of here, but they have a drone to take Oh away my god! Yeah. I saw that picture. I mean, what, you guys were the drone people, because I heard the ring, ring. Oh. No, it turned out to be the drone. <laughs> Not yet. We used to have a drone. We don't have a fishing drone, we had a camera drone, but didn't bring one. Ready to go? <laughs> okay, let's go. Have fun. You, you too. It's not have fun. Continue having fun. Oh, absolutely. Enjoy your walk. Look at this old thing. That's what she was wondering. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of perks for a boat, so there's... Here you go. Have a sandwich. You ate your sandwich. <laughs> you opened my glass up for a while. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm just kidding. There you go, honey. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. They need more jelly in these. All I taste is peanut butter every time I eat them. Mine always tastes like just a jelly. I think they need more peanut butter. What costs more peanut butter or jelly? Peanut butter. Jelly. Jelly. No, Mom, jelly's like a $4 thing. That's, that peanut butter we buy was $7. But look how much more you get. Jelly is normally, well, jelly's super cheap, but jam, the good stuff. Yeah, but then you add more jelly in this. Yeah, I've had, the last one I had was really good, but. Ooh. Isn't it so pretty? So pretty. There's more boat.
a lot of muscles out here. That's exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> Jam and jelly are very different. Wow. Jam has like all, it's made out of all the, the whole fruit. Okay. Jelly is just, you cook it down and t take as much of the liquid from it and you remove all the seeds and, and everything and you put gelatin in it and make it here get away from the freaking thing that's jelly it looks like there's a baby clam right here well don't hit it don't do it no it's uh it's not attached to anything it's just sitting oh. in the water i didn't there's no clams up on the rock bed it's so shallow right there. Just muscles. Like Big. four foot. Yeah. Three foot. Two foot. Little foot, blue foot, red foot. Orange, <laughs> yellow foot. Oh. Should then make what sure is you that? guys can see me too. Is that on the Let me see. I think it is. I know for a fact it is actually. That is. That's a butter clam. Yeah. Yeah. You said there's no claims up there. So That's maybe. weird that there's one up there. Maybe it's dead. A bird probably up there and ate it. Ate it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was just underwater a couple hours ago. These things are so crunchy. Mm-hmm. It's not open. So much shit falling off of the things here. Can I open it? No. I like jam better too. We're gonna be making a lot of jam, buddy. I'll be making jam. Jam's better than jelly. They're doing the homesteading stuff. We're jelly. gonna make all that. Apricot jelly or jam. Uh, making... There's not really a whole lot of apricot to eat. Finish here making right. who grandma started. Make grandma make it. She can bring it or send it. Stop chewing your mouth with it. What in the Wally world is this? What's that like? Grandma don't know how to make it anymore. That was like three or four years ago. Going on this, that was like six years ago. There's an animal going on this rock. Auntie Tanya makes the yeah. rhubarb and... Oh, that's a sea and enemy. Look out, they probably sting. He's right. ready to attack you. Let me see. It was like a little... Uh, centipede. Oh, there's oh, like a crab in here. It's moving. I yeah, just saw the, it. the shell was moving. <laughs> Where is the sea anemone? I freaking flipped it off. It was, it was ready to bite. Where is it? Mm. I don't know, but it was like this. Is it this? No. Kind of cast these a little close. I so. killed it probably. <laughs> I didn't kill it. I just dropped it. Hopefully that'll be okay. Really okay. A little close to each other. Hey! Hey! Okay, I was just. I'm on, I'm on a walk. Oh, I was just calling to see if this was your number so that I could send you the pictures. This? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, so on. you guys put an offer on a house there? Yeah, we already did. Wow. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah. You guys are seriously wanting to stay? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful out there. Um, it's more on the coast, and it's uh, it's you, you. The only way to get there is by ferry, with your truck, or boat, or airplane. To the whole village. And look, I found the baby butter. It's boop, boop. Nice. Yeah. You're just killing us. Oh, this out. isn't even it. This is 200 miles from there. So this is the. So there's a glacier between us and it right now. So it's technically on the end of this peninsula, on the other side, but. Does that mean butters um, are starting to grow? Yeah, you would take a whole day on a boat to get there from here. Yeah. But it but it is like it is literally the halibut capital of the entire world. And it is one of the oldest had some fresh stuff. No, the Yeah, I'll send you those pictures.
He's like, I'm on a walk. <laughs> He's on a walk with somebody. I love it. It's probably his girlfriend. Whoa. Whatever's on the ground right there is really, really sparkly. Let's see this on any of those so, uh, if you end up catching a fish on any of these rods, good luck. you're literally going to have to reel the other one in because I didn't realize the way I casted it, it was just kind of... Well, it's still going out, too. Yeah, we'll see. Actually, it looks like it's... We'll see here in a There's second. There's a baby, um, one of those things that I just showed you that I used to eat on the island. Limpets? Yeah. Limp it home. Get it? Where do I put this? Uh, just leave it where it was. <laughs> I mean, that's my. Mom, what do you think it is? Shiny stuff? I have no idea. Let me see how. The pants I have underneath these ones are falling down. There's a starfish. Oh, see, there's two, three, four. Yeah, it's like you've never seen a starfish before. Not here. Look at there are Um, it gets really deep. It's like 400 or yeah. 700, 700 feet. feet up yeah. Here. Probably not obviously where he's casting, but we're out there. It gets, it gets 100, about 400 feet. What up, smoked fish? He wants to know what's new. Oh God, what's the fellow? Yep. Looks like Nelscon's working on the bot because the bot just said test. <laughs> nope, never did that. Thank you, Luke, for coming in there. What up, Nelscon? I'm not gonna catch it. I mean starfish is like pink and We're waiting to hear about a house there, Charlie. You want to see fish caught. Mom, um, these starfish are like pink and orange. Nice. Hey, get some slack on both of those. No, I'm going to leave them because they're on top of each other. You do you. No, no earthquakes yet. There's a lot of rocks falling back there, but that's because it's warming up and thawing. Lots of snow. Isn't it? One thousand four hundred forty-four days ago. Nails Kong is here. Thank you, smoke fish. I know every time I get a message, I'm like looking. Is that it? Wait, what happens when they test it? Then we get to move in? No. Then we move forward. To what? Water test. And then what after that? He has to do another test or uh, appraisal. It's not just like you know buying a car, Kibber. <laughs> She's like, this should just accept, and then we can get it. <laughs> yeah, but mom, what happened after all the work? <laughs> Poor after right? they accept everything, like, I just told you. Oh, I didn't hear you. After it closes, then you then you can move in. <laughs> The subs are rolling through. Smoke fish with a tier two sub. Tier two, baby. Legend. Dad, your voice like echoes. Legend. Echo. Korok says the only username I'm sometimes afraid of. What? No, it's Kong. Oh, haha, <laughs> Legend. Thank you, Smoke fish with a tier two sub. How is there so many snow chunks falling? Uh, probably because we're yelling, we're probably going to create an avalanche or something. Yeah. I'm just kidding. No, um... It's just a frosting. It's getting warmer right now. What did you do? Ascaline, hello, hello! So why don't you... I'll have you hand me that one, and I'll take my chair, Josh, and I'll go over here. Hey, on the phone. 
You're always on the phone. <laughs> He's always on the phone, man. Where he is. <laughs> Thank you, Smoke Spirit, for the tour, too. Keeping the tribe alive, baby. No, it's fine. Drag it so it tightens up, bud. Woo! It's just a little bit of sun and 30-something degrees out, and boy, howdy, are you feeling, feeling hot. Heating up out here. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, it's a good spot. We got shot over there. Now I just need my shrimp line out. Because we're shrimping too. Don't hurt yourself, bud. Justin. Accordingly! How do you jump from rock to rock without slipping? I keep slipping and sliding. Why? Yeah, How? This is slick. Right here where you just that What's that word that starts with an L? Oh, legend. Yeah, that's because I'm a legend. I was thinking loser. I was thinking loser. I never thought the word legend. Your mom's a... Yeah, I thought of loser right away. How do I always well, remember the rock you always end up with mine? What, me? She, uh, she had a bug on her face. Nobody touched you. It is it's on the camera. Fucking yeah. incredible out here. It's sweaty hot now. over here, bud. It goes perfect with your part because you're always so salty. Woo. She just roasted you, buddy. Call you s'mores.
been incredible. Oh, I need you to throw me my phone. Somebody walk my phone up, please. Thank you. I don't have no chat. But well, we're trying a whole new place. Uh, this this is a uh, well. It is what it is here. We're gonna see what we can come up with. We got four people here, so we got four lines. Kate and Kira back there fishing. My good phone's dead, broken. Cheers, guys. Those guys had to have some very grubby boots to climb up that. Boy, who went up there? Uh, Breaking boundaries, man. I know, the first day that we came up. A lot of big stuff there, happening. There was a guy at the top of that fishing. Yeah. Wow. If he caught a fish, it would have pulled him under. Man, I don't even know what temperature it is, but I'm about to take my jacket off. It's freaking hot. Welcome to the gosh damn Alaska when it's 35 degrees and there's no there's no wind you're just like oh, I'm, I'm sweating dude It's exactly 35 degrees It's 35 degrees and I'm about to get naked I'm I'm, I'm literally borderline sweat my Look at this I'm hot But it's going to snow at 3 o'clock in the morning Yeah look I found snow Yeah baby no that's your boy That's right Ain't nobody gonna have her. Dad, We're doing you it. Since you're sweating, don't you want your hair wet? Fuck. There's a snowball. Hot flashes, Mustang said. Hey, I might be. I'm getting old. The old 30 show ain't ain't washed up yet. We still got years left, but uh, we might have to take the jacket off. Well, I mean, you're right about the shirt. Go get buck naked, bud. Look at the trees fall down. Oh. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Can you sit right next to you? Oh. Uh, that'd be $5 a person. Anyone that just saw that, that was a promo. promo. Yeah, it is. Go bang in the forest, bud. No, I, I definitely am excited to settle in somewhere. We've been eating a lot of cheeseburgers and I haven't been able to do my workout in like a month and a half because we're stuck inside of a, the cargo trailer and it's snowing and raining and cold during the day and night and all day. So I'm looking forward to settling in so I can start working out. I'm gonna get a bench again, get some heavy bags, and speed bags, start boxing and running and jogging and working. It's gonna be dope. We're gonna be in good shape here. Nothing yet. Buck naked and dangerous. Hey, <laughs> buck naked and dangerous. I like that. That's a good t shirt idea. Buck naked and dangerous. Hey, there's fish out here, Kaylee. You just gotta go get a knife, a buck knife, and swim for him. I hope somebody's coping and putting on some stripper music, baby. <laughs> Hopefully.
<laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's good. Imagine working with no music and no audio, and the next thing you know, you look up like, what in hell is Thirty doing? Good lord, he is out of hand. Only can imagine the stripper music in the background of that. With that. You like a, you're you're addicted to those things. You like it. Yeah, and make fifty bucks. I'm charging for it. Fifty five, idiot. For her birthday. She's self-taught, and that's her first one. What? I saw. Sometimes watching the channel with no sound is best. Yeah, you don't have to hear your annoying voice. I hope that chair breaks. <laughs> well, she's sitting on it. Crack kills, crack kills, dude. Crack kills, not hills. Well, here you're gonna find gray cod. There's flounder. There's uh, dolly varden. There's uh, well, soon so, soon will be salmon running through. There's halibut. Mostly, I have a halibut line in. So the three main lines that we're running are halibut, and then the far left one is for rockfish. There's rockfish all through here. The other day I came out and there's people everywhere, and I was like, you know what? I'm not fishing that. I'm gonna go find my own spot, and I found my own spot, and we caught a bunch of rockfish. And I said, I'll come back when it's, well, not so windy. I'll come back when there's not many people. And Well, that's where I'm at now. I'm here. Um, there's a reason why a lot of people fish this. Maybe it's because they don't get snagged up. And that's my assumption. Nobody fishes the rock ledge where I was fishing, which you being from the Northwest knows exactly what. That's where the fish are. I mean, they're not called rockfish because they're in the rocks. It just happens to be um, bottom fish, rockfish. And that's just kind of where they're... Habit, habitat is, you know? You're gonna find these fish in kelp beds and, and you're gonna find them in, what I'm standing on is a perfect place for rockfish. If it was out there, this would be a perfect structure for fishing. You come around this, the fish got a water break, they got a place to attack, attack their um, whatever comes in and they, they have shelter and all that. So it's ideal. Now everybody that I talk to is like, what are you fishing over here for? Not here, but over where I was. They're like, huh, nobody fishes here. Never seen anybody. I was like, yeah, but I'm catching fish and they're not up here. So I had a heart to go back to that same section, but I also had to come out here and try this. So we're hoping that this will produce early in the season. We are early yet, early, early, early. This is called the breakup in Alaska. We're between seasons anyways. So early halibut fishing, early rock fishing and salmon fishing is here. Um, so each day as we get into April, uh, May, is only going to produce better fishing. Abby said the, the background view is amazing, but you're in the way. I'm just kidding, she didn't say that, but that was unreal. Right fucking on, baby, so we're hoping for, we're hoping for some fish, you know? I'm excited. And if I don't catch anything here in about an hour, I'll move to that spot along the rocks.
Dingus! Dingus with a big penis. Tom Dingalingus. So I was I was looking it up. Um, I was still learning each area. Some areas have different rules and different residents. If you're a resident, you have different laws. So we're still learning them all. It's only like 30 feet here. I would like to fish rockfish for closer to 60 if I could. You know, 30 to 60. I don't know. Each spot's different. Where I'm from, you can catch rockfish in five foot of water and two foot of water. You can catch some of the biggest hogs up in shallows. So, we're just working with what we have. I'm pretty sure dad controls the weather. But yeah, halibut fishing, it seems that you can basically... Will you get my water bottle, please? No, I just got up here. Just kidding. You need to throw it to me. So halibut fishing, uh, there's no limits on them totally in, not in limit. touch. So totally you can limit. catch them all day long. Um, no size limits or limit or anything. You just catch them, I guess. From what I read and from what I've understood. That's incredible. You know, to think you can keep as much halibut as you want. And to think that these people charge you a... $30 a plate for two pieces of two chunks of halibut to me is nutty Tourists pay for it. I paid for it. I tried it. I enjoyed it. It was really good But the fact that I can go out especially when the season gets bigger and badder and I get a boat and a drone I can go out and a uh, fishing drone. I can go out And catch fr a freezer full in a couple weeks of meat and fill my whole freezer full of halibut I mean, I looked it up. They said don't eat more than one halibut serving a week. But salmon out here, king salmon and salmon. You wanna drink they said it? it's good. They say it's good for you to eat once a week. It's good in omegas and low in uh, low in mercury. So I'm just, you know, I like fish if it's cooked right, especially different type of fish. But our goal is. Our goal is to completely shut down all store-bought and food eventually. Our goal is to pretty much live completely self-sustaining off okay, shut down of what we grow, food. what we hunt, what we fish, um, what we raise, the animals, the, the the vegetables and the garden and all that. Our goal is to completely, basically be 100% self-efficient, which is the definition of homesteading essentially. So homesteading cheese? is, you know, not just building stuff. Just That's just building stuff. Homesteading is the whole package, you know. Um, raising your own animals, growing your own vegetables and food, picking and harvesting your own stuff. Um, it's homesteading, you know? If you're going to the store and buying what? buying stuff, I mean, it's not good nutrition, it's not good and healthy for you. A lot of the stuff that we consume as Americans are banned in countries all around. And even if you grow stuff and yeah, seeds that you purchase from the store, it's still not the best for you, but it's a start. So I'm trying to get back to that. Which bushcraft and survival comes back in. Being uh, being surrounded by a bunch of islands out there, I can get dropped off or take the boat, and then just do island survival stuff, and and that'd be cool. Beach survival, um, island survival out here in Alaska. That shall be a lot of fun. You can, I absolutely can, and I will. There's not a question about it. I absolutely can do that. You you put it on you put it on a dry ice in a package. I guess I can if you pay for the shipping, I can ship you the whole load. Absolutely will. There's no doubt about it. I even told my younger brother, I was like, you want some fresh halibut and, and salmon? Let me know. You pay for it, I ship it. You know, so. So, are you guys catching? Nothing yet. Show up something soon.
first time out? Uh, first time in this section. I came out and hit the rock ledge over there and slayed a bunch of rock fish. Which way? Oh, just as you come in. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, like 20 feet away from the rock line? Yeah, you just fucking slay yep. it. Nobody, so, nobody fishes it. It seems like everybody wants to come up here, so I wanted to try my luck up here and see what was up. And I, I'm like, way more production. And what, it's better there. <laughs> yeah, it's 20 feet on this side. Down oh, probably. Yeah. Uh, let me see where I'm at. Okay, the rocks on this side, 20 feet on this side, you'll kill them all day long. Oh, there, okay. So yeah. I, was, I was talking way down the road. Oh, as you, no, yeah. yeah. Down there too. Yeah, you where catch everybody... them over. Yeah. So there's a, a Nash Road. You follow Nash Road all the way down. Yep. You see you just boat dock. Okay. Okay, then there's another, you'll fall it all the way to this big old, where that big old boat's outside. And you'll go around, you know, turn to a, a dirt road. You'll follow that out, and as the road goes this way, you want to take that road to your right. I, yep. And it'll bring you all the way out to the riverbed. From that uh, shed, where that boat is, out to the end of the down trees, there's a river that goes through there. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And fish goes into there. Yeah, I saw that. I want to hit that up. I just haven't made my way over there. I'll probably <laughs> do that that's tomorrow. that's a good area. Yeah. So right here, I, I used fish. to be sponsored by that, the Fishaholics, your sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to get dozens of shirts and merchandise and do giveaways with those. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like those putting ones. them out. Yeah, I like fish Um, So, this is where I fish. I had a guy Google this fucking. Yeah. Uh, I paid him like 50 bucks to fuck, because he was already hunting crab or yeah. lobster right here. So, and from this point yeah going straight out and that point straight out i caught cast off this rock right that's here that's exactly where i cast it from and walk back yep and uh straight out then i go one straight out this way i counter cause yep. it but i never cast this way okay, i yeah, never I... ever caught anything this okay, way okay well i threw her line that way and these two are just like that and yeah, the tide pulled them over a little uh, bit. Little so. catch, um, little dinky rockfish here. Um, but if you really want to catch any good, good fish, okay. So take Nashville until it ends. You go to that boat. So you're gonna come up to the gate. It says do not enter. So you're gonna park right there at that gate, and you're gonna walk towards the plant. Okay. And there's a fence line. You're gonna follow that fence line because it cuts <clears> off. And you're gonna get onto that levee because it's like, uh, like almost 500 feet to a thousand feet out, and it goes into an L. So okay. you'll still drop off in this water, and uh, you'll catch halibut, rockfish. Well, fuck, all maybe that. I, I maybe I ought to go over there. I just um, wanted to try this because I knew it wasn't gonna be busy. Yeah, and not on a weekday at least. No. Everybody's dead. The best time to hit this area is uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, May, June. 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 June, July, August, September is when this is whole yeah. area is popping. That's, yeah, that's what I figured. We're, we're way early in the season on this, but... Yeah, but I mean, in that area, yeah. like right now, you'll catch your halibut, you'll catch your uh, peacod. Um, they'll catch uh, rockfish and all that between because they come down from that rock edge uh, and they just... all the way down. They go up to that stream. Mm -hmm. okay. All the rockfish goes up to like 500 feet and they turn around and they go back out until they get that fresh water. They turn her back around. Makes sense. Yo, that and makes they'll sense. come and they'll hit that edge. And when you go in, you'll be like, oh, this guy fucking like bullshit, you know? So they'll come in and they'll do a big old circle and they'll make their way back out. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, if, I mean if the face of the rock ledge is in the spots. Yeah, so there's a camp area too over there. I saw that. I don't um, think it's open yet. But we can You can still fucking sneak over there. And I, I do it every year. Yeah. Uh, I what, live up here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty incognito. I'm like, yeah, they won't be bothering me. I even talked to the, the, the trooper and he's like, we're not giving tickets. Just go ahead and camp. Go for it. You yeah. know? Um, That's what he said. Out here, dude, 
Yeah, if you get fucking stupid idiots. From my job, you get fucking idiots, dude. I'm probably the best one of them all. I like drinking my beer. I don't smoke weed. I don't do any of the dumb stuff. But I love to fish. I love to fish and drink beer, too. That sounds like my, my time of day. My hobby is fucking fishing. That's why it drove me up here. Yep. Um, yeah, just around when you go out... Yeah, I know how to get there. I mapped it all out. That was my yeah. destination for tomorrow. It's cool that you came out and said that. Um, yeah, everywhere over on that side, dude, right now. Okay. Um, there's halibut, uh, uh, gray cod. Gray cod. Um, there's rockfish, yellow eye. There's, uh, I call them long, long rakers and short rakers. Yeah. They're the same thing as rock, the rockfish. Yeah. And you get black <laughs> rockfish and all that stuff through that area right there. Um, yeah, it's that's okay. Well, that's where I'll go tomorrow. Yeah, it's. I, if I had a half a mind, I'd pack up and go now because I'm like. Are you already in the? I know I'm already <laughs> in the water. I've been here for two so, hours. I mean, by the time I get all the way around over there, you know, yeah, be making dinner, barbecuing. Yeah. I mean, fuck. I would have been over there already if I knew about it, you know. Yeah. But I know I just. So the tide, when the tide comes up. It's going to come up, and it's going to fucking come up to about... Yeah, when I got here, that's my shit way over there. So when I got here, it was way up I was wondering who the fuck... I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Who just left all their shit, you oh, know? I know. You know, it's... it's and everybody... knows, hey. Yeah. Hey, if somebody's out here fishing, leave the shit alone. Yeah. Yeah, I feel comfortable with you. Like, um, I can see it. Yeah. I don't run as fast as I used to, but, you know. But, yeah, I'll catch you. <laughs> My camera can zoom in far enough. I'll, I'll, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And, yeah, dude, I, I cast off right off the top of that rock. Yep. I go straight out. I got and, herring on it, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Herring. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. You'll get. We can get at least something for the day. For, for shit and fun, you know. For chicken dig giggles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you want to walk, there's a trail. That yeah, that's the trail I was talking about. Yeah, I saw that. It goes that. up. So I start right there, and I go up to the main road. Yep. Then the main road go all the way around that corner to the flatland way out there, and too. There, yeah, and there's a beach or something out yeah. there. I saw and that on the maps. I wanted to explore. Catch, and you can catch halibut and, and gray cod out there, too. But it's a good fucking hike. I, I don't mind. I need a hike. I'm getting fat, man. <laughs> all those cheeseburgers and food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, a good it, hike it, is needed. Dude. Yeah, over there, over like here. in the summertime, dude, this place is popping. Yeah. There's so many people here. And you'll see the fish jump, dude, back and forth. And that's why I, when I come out here, this is my spot. I come right here, I'll catch Yo. my fucking limit, dude. And it'd it be salmon. It'd be rockfish. Rockfish, there's no limit. But salmon and <clears> all that shit, there's a limit. We keep getting gravita gravitated towards this place because it's beautiful. We oh, were yeah. in Homer just the other day, and then uh, we're looking at places in Saldovia out there, and it's like we're secluded. You know, it's going to be busy here, but uh, not so busy out there. So yeah, well, in the summertime is the best time to get out here and you can catch your. I mean, you can catch your limit. <laughs> do do people fish up to like 11, 12 at night? Oh, dude, the sun don't go down. Until I know. Then. So, that's why I was like, I'm going to pick the hours people have to go to bed and make dinner. I don't. I yeah. get out all day. No, that's what I do. I go from work, because I work, when you come into the road, Yep. that big old plant right there. I, I figured that's where you work. That's yeah. where I work at. I mean, I'm the dock manager. Yeah. I run all that shit. And fucking, when people come through there and shit, it, it, go slow. Yep. You oh. know, I mean, I get people going through their crazy. We, we got that truck and trailer out there. We ain't going faster than four miles per hour, those bumps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a fucked yeah. up road. It I is. Mean, I, Dude, I got a fucking 2,000 fucking Jeep, and I don't do They five fixed months. it at least. I mean, it's better than last. We were here last week, and it was They're terrible. We couldn't even, We were going a mile per hour because the bumps were so bad, and shit was everywhere. Things were yeah. falling off our trailer, and I was like, all right. Yeah. That's funny. I saw a guy lose his bumper, and he came back for it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that road gets fucking bad yeah. through the rain and, and shit. And the, and the plowing, and... I mean, they try to cover the holes up. I mean, come on, you're going to cover the holes up. Yeah, it's going to be there after fucking people yeah. go running through and knocking yeah. it out. That's why I, that's why it's funny I but said that. But the only reason, the only thing they can't do, they can't fucking, uh, excuse my language because you've got a daughter right Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cuss a lot tonight, but they know right and wrong. 
um, they can't pave that road because all the avalanches and all that stuff goes off down that road. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. get caught. The avalanche, avalanche. Yeah. the avalanche section, I, I was, that's, I fished along that whole section, even including like right past the avalanche section, and a week ago, two weeks ago, it was, so boulders, road, boulders are falling. Yeah, on that road, use bobbers. Oh, for sure, yeah. 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 Because you'll, you'll be like, uh, snag, left and right. Snap. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We're actually from the coast of Oregon down there by Tillamook and along the whole. Oh, no shit. Yep. So, I got family in, yep. uh, uh, Albany. Oh, oh, Albany. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're from that area, and you fish the rock ledges and jetty and the inlets, where the, the, the bait, just like this, but ours has, sh sh you know, our shit's not as wide, and you got waves and stuff, and you just fish right on the rocks, and you get snagged left and right, and there's a lot of cussing, a lot of, a lot of <laughs> lost right. tackle, but, oh, oh shit, that was you. I was like, me. hey, that thing got hit. That's me, that's me. Let me yeah. Away. No, you're good. Uh, uh, yeah, um, I mean. Yeah, it's right in that front yeah. of that pole, the far view, you know, what kind of weight you got on this? Six and eight. Cast as far as you can out. out there. Swing it. I'm gonna get a. I'm probably gonna get a boat or an air drone, a fishing drone, and just put it, put it out there. But so from that beach, the rock ledge, the rock line, twenty feet out, and you do get one of them. Yep. And I know that it probably got three hundred yards <laughs> on it. Eat, yes, it does. Just yep. Follow that all the way out until you and let it drop and, and just make sure you have enough line on that whirl to give that, dra you know, let yeah, that drag that. out. And that's where I hit my 400 pound fucking, uh, 400 oh pound halibut. Maybe I go 395. Jeez. That's probably in like what, June, July? Yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're catching them all day long when we have boats or catch them. Yeah. We're going out here around that mountain the one that got the little snow on it yep they go around that mountain they head out yep and we have 100 pounds 80 20s all that from just around that mountain right there yeah that's the whole thing about having a boat is you can get out to there the fishing just different yeah so i want the air drone or the boat i mean as long as you can get out yeah and deep them. um like the there's another spot so you know where we come in and it's the aquarium. Oh yes, okay. yes. So you park in their area. Yeah. Okay, walk out and there'll be a bunch of uh, like sheds. Oh yes, Get yeah. behind them. That's where you'll that's catch a little bit. Okay. And that's where you'll catch a little okay. bit too. And you, but you might get like kind of fucked with, but <clears throat> so you said there's crab in this too? The king crab? Um, or tanner? Tanner. Tanner, tanner yeah. crab, okay. All right, I figured. Yeah. Just, I, I was like, well, I haven't got bought my, my... If I was casting this out where in, in where I'm from, you wouldn't have but two seconds to lose your bait. The crab is so thick in there. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know. I don't know if there's crab out here because I'm not getting messed with. No, it's um, there's a valley in this river in this place right here. Um it shoots straight out and you can probably when a current starts coming back in you'll see the different areas that is way out there and it curves all through here this is all flat yeah until about a thousand yards or a thousand feet or some bullshit it. then it drops dude i saw because i look at the the graph and it showed like 700 and 800 feet out there and there it starts 100 and something and it, then it drops down with like 350 yeah. 450 and it just boom 700 800 yep. yeah so it's a, it's a that's where you that's want, what i'm trying to get to that's where you want to be you want to be right at that until they start until they start moving in thick and moving into the shallows because that will happen yeah eventually. The, the water in the middle are hotter than out here right now yeah when that gets cold this gets warm yeah, I jump off this rock all the time when it gets summertime. Oh, that's a hell shot. <laughs> it only gets like 60 degrees, 50 degrees, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I know, it's 30 It's thirty now, and I had to take my flint. I'm like, dude, it's rocking hot. I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. 30, 50 degrees is summer. 50, 60 is like swimming. That's a nice rock to jump from, too. Oh, yeah. It, it was fun. As long as there's enough water to jump into. You yeah, know. enough water. That's why the water has yeah. to be right about here. Mm-hmm. Dive in. Yeah, 
Well, shit, well, thank you. I'll have to try that uh, spot out tomorrow. I'll go over there. Yeah, I, I want to explore there's, it. There's, you can drive right up to. There's a road that goes out, then it comes back in. You can drive right up to that edge line. Yeah. Of the water, probably like 20, 30 feet away. Park, you camp, you can do everything on that side. But when you get over where that boat's at, that one's off the dock, just sitting there, ready to go get launched out. Yep. So there's a, we call it a, a leddy. It goes way out and it goes like this. It cuts off a lot of water. Yeah. And you just walk out there and just sling it fly out. Fly that thing out there and just leave it. And every day it'll be good. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I'll do for like dinner. I'll just go over there and get my barbecue set up and I'll just slam out some lines out that yeah. way. Overnight, yeah. I watch people just bring up, but you got a twenty-foot ledge, you know. But walk, just walk. If you walk around, you can see the edge line. You know, lead you right down to yep. the beach line. Yep. And just reel him in there. Everybody does it. I mean, that's what I'll try next. Yeah. I wanted to explore that, and I, I wanted to do that hike because I saw the beach over there. And then, because I got about a week here or so. So, if you want to take a faster way take this way when we don't have the water going up you know take you to the cabin you know take you around to that beach over there and is that is that uh cabin there is that like a private road for them yeah, okay, you, walk ever, past, yeah, you can walk through there and okay. all that shit yeah i saw i was like well i better go investigate i don't even walk through somebody's property no okay. yeah, everybody walks through because if you take this way and you can walk up there's a driveway and it goes right up to the yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and it goes right like splits back off down. and goes back up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I have the kids and them with me all the time, so you know, trying to make it an easy adventure versus a long adventure. Cause yeah, taking taking the back field. Yep. You're you're gonna go up like this, back and forth. Then you're gonna come up, down, up, down. The worst one is going like this up the side of this mountain. Zigzagging. It's a good, it, it's a good adventure and, and a beautiful scene, dude. Beautiful scene. But yes. this would be the fastest way to get over to fish. Yeah. Then if you want to leave, that would be the best way to go because you're like, up. oh, damn, I didn't it, beat the water. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta beat the water. Yep. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate the advice. By the name, uh, uh, my name is Tim. I don't give a shit about the glove. My name Josh. is Tim. Hey, well, good to meet you, Tim. Josh? Yeah, Josh. I got a, I got yeah. a boy named Josh. <laughs> right on. I, I got a home. Well, her mom's ex husband was Tim, and we were like good friends, always fucking, so I won't forget that. Easy name to remember, Tim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so cool. Well, I, I mean, well, maybe one day we'll go fishing. You see me oh, always. I always. I, right now, I don't got I gotta go get my license. That's the reason why I don't got my pole in. Oh yeah. What is it for um, a resident license here? Like thirty five dollars. Ain't nothing, man. You know, I I'm, to me, I'm waiting for April, uh, end of April to get mine. That's when everything starts popping around. I know. Here. I that's the thing. I, I just I know we're so early in the season. I'm like, you know what? I got line in the water. They're better than not. Yeah, they're yeah. great. There's great cod out here. Yep. Um, they're swimming through right now. Yeah, I want to uh, try some of you guys' tanner crab. I want to see what that tastes like. Um, I tried some oysters already. The oysters here are incredible. They're so fresh tasting and no sand in them. But come least, by tomorrow. If you're out here, I'll, I'll hook you up on some. Really? Yeah. That'll be incredible. Heck yeah, man. Thank you. How many people you got? We got uh, my two daughters and three. So three, four of us. Four of you? Yeah. I'll bring you a fucking dinner five. No shit. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, thank you. Well, yeah. that's incredible. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Absolutely. I'll... I'll I'll go fucking do that right now. Or what? <laughs> okay. I wonder if my bosses are. I can still get in there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Come by. Come back out here about. Mm, I got fifty thousand coming in tomorrow. Holy shit. Yeah. Between twelve and one. Okay. Yeah. Come and stop at my plant. Okay. Fucking, hey, is that yeah, fucking... Where, where's is, Tim at? <laughs> is that dickhead here? <laughs> I like it, man. Well, thank you. Cool. I'll Glad get, to meet you. Yeah. And I'll, I'll set you up with some tanner crab. Wow, that'd be, all, that'd be incredible. Thank you. Cool. You're welcome. That sounds good. Yeah, just hit me up on that. Yep. Thank you. I got dinner to do myself. My, my 
wife is probably what she, she's doing? trying to stick in the sunshine that you guys got finally that yeah. we have not much sun we lately have, we just got out it's been raining snowing i was like no i ain't going out yeah we far. went we went to sadovia the other day and we were you know where sadovia is right across from homer you got to take yeah. the boat and they shut down all the boat access we were locked over there we had to get the hotel and everything and then we come back and it was just the way it was just oh yeah rugged it was more miserable it's insane in the last say eight days we probably got over 10 foot of snow here yeah that's I'm like yeah just I, I, yep. i'm over it i know because we were here i was like shit there's more snow now than there was the last time we came here and a week ago yeah, yeah just keeps on coming Oh, I'm waiting for it to end. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? When I start seeing them mountains start thawing out and raising up. I know it's summertime. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, just come uh, and see me. I will, and for I'll, sure. And I'll, I'll have you a, a little setup for you. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you that, for sure. Thank you. Later, Tim. Later, Bob. See you. See ya. Miss Rodan, how you doing? I get feed us all. Nah, that's right. At least it ain't pizza. I've been eating so much pizza, it's ridic ridiculous. Yeah, there's always somebody that you come across. I always gravitate, to, or people gravitate to me a lot of the times. I just find people like always, always, always nice, I guess. I don't know. Not. Not sure why. I'm an asshole. <laughs> but no, he's good. Usually locals are like, you're in my neck of the woods, boy. And that's cool to... I guess I don't need the glove on. I'm thinking about switching spots. Uh, we've been here, what, an hour? And, you know, there's not much action. Still early in the season. You even heard it. He even said it. He, he don't even start fishing until late June, right? 25 minutes. I caught fish over there first cast. I thought we've been here an hour. What's up, Moxie? Sexy ass view, man. Isn't it beautiful? He only had one beer, one beer with him. Otherwise, he probably would have. But I would have said too early for me to start drinking. I usually don't start drinking until a good 7 or 8. I didn't have my first beer until 8.30 yesterday. And it's usually... I. <clears throat> settle in once i start you know sit, standing around and making dinner it's like okay it's time for a beer and of course you know how that goes well that's cool i want to try some tanner crab that'd be awesome you know get the hook up over there i knew i knew right away when i seen him that he was going to come talk to me i also knew right away that he worked there i you could just tell Someone from the Oregon coast, the coast range, I grew up on the beach on the coast and you know, you can tell a fisherman and just by the way he was dressed in the sweatpants and the, the extra tufts and I, I and that's how he looked. I just knew right away he worked there. I, I would have bet a million dollars on it. He would be like, hey, where do you think I work? I would have been like, well, I mean, I'm probably gonna assume you're gonna work at that in there, but also he looks like a legit fisherman um, that works on the crab boats and stuff, so. Anyway, um, what they do there is that's where they offload the fish so they, they process it and they offload it so like father time when you guys saw us do the offloading for all the stuff that um the clams and commercial clamming we used to do same thing it gets lifted out of the boat gets put in and distributed around yep so it's just it's just a um, distribution center they offload it um and process they process it and store it and freeze it and shit so you'll see when you're down there it's by the waterfall you'll see a bunch of boats waiting outside and they just all take turns one after another but that's all i know about it because uh 
I mean, I we stopped and we talked to somebody and we asked what they did, and that's all they. That's all I know about it. I don't know exactly their process and operation. Wait, chat guessed his name? Are you fucking shitting me? That's nuts. I, w I wouldn't have probably guessed his name was Tim. I mean, there's so many white people's names out there, you can't really guess. You know? <clears throat> he could have been a fucking Brad for all I know. Or, you know. I knew it wasn't going to be Tyrone. <laughs> could have been Tyrone. There's so many white people names. How do you guess that? It's nuts. Some handy. Uh, what's that swimming in the water? It looks like ducks or some sort of ballard or something. Uh, the locals always know the best fishing spots. True. Yes. I mean, the local fishermen especially. Actually, I find a lot. I find a lot of the times local fishermen, uh, the ones that work on the boats themselves, a lot of the times they don't fish. They just keep it commercial and then they go out in the ocean. So you get somebody that works around, you know, like the docks and stuff. They got a little more knowledge, but I mean, like I said all the time, this is somebody else's home. I come in, I kick in the door, I find out what's in each cupboard, what fishing hole. I'll know this place eventually, but then again, if and when I get that homestead, I don't need to know this place because, <clears throat> well... That we're going to be fishing legit in the halibut capital of the world. So the biggest and the baddest salmon runs come from right Cook Inlet. They all come to Cook Inlet. They go into Kenai Peninsula. They go into the Kenai River. We're going to be fishing all that. And we probably won't get out here too often. I mean, it's a beautiful place. But again, we're going to be right in the, right in the mix of everything. So people go to Homer, Alaska, which is <clears throat> the halibut capital of the world. And then they get on these boats and then they go over towards to where we're looking at home so we're an hour and a half closer to the fishing holes where they come to they go we're, nope nope South Ovia, nope let's go fishing so we're going to be already closer to it so we're just going to go beep, beep, fishing that's going to be cool and then you can fish for salmon all year long out there there's king salmon that run out there that's where the salmon go out and feed and uh, kind of motate around Three, four, Yo, come on with them subs. Tacked out, dude, a legend. I haven't seen you in a hot, sexy minute, bud. Good to see you, legend. How's <laughs> a Raven? We will. So we're kind of having a pickle right here. Here's here's where things are. We're, we put in an offer in an extremely isolated location, boat in only. About an hour or so boat ride depending and then you got a car ride depending on where you go another 30 minutes of car ride and <clears throat> or airplane apparently the airplanes are like what i what i heard is they're pretty they got a lot of turbulence and like an old subaru up in the sky that sometimes goes like this <laughs> nutty good to see you talked out legend right there bro <clears throat> so when we start this homestead, our goal is to pretty much do what we used to for the OGs and legend legends. It's been around since the beginning forever. We pioneered off the grid living, bushcraft survival, homesteading and all that. We we had that in our um, content back in the day. That's pretty much what we started doing and did. And uh, and then we then we got some other land and we started doing homesteading out there in Oregon and we um <clears throat> <clears throat> say bye bye. Say bye bye. Why didn't do anything? Automata Jinky. <laughs> and we used to eat a lot of food and a lot of, a lot of stuff that we caught and hunted and roadkill. A lot of roadkill. A lot of butchering and such. Uh, and we didn't get a, you know, opportunity, you know, for some of you guys to see that. But that's what we're getting back into. Our goal is to go back to fully self-sustaining off the grid. I'm not off the grid, but um, homesteading. My goal is to fill our freezer full um, with all the meat that we catch, all the meat that we hunt, uh, and all the meat that we raise. Um, right away, it won't be right away because we have to first off, we have to do a lot of stuff. You know, we got 
I, I would like to just get right into it and get get livestock and all that but we're on a we're not in an island but particularly we're on an island you know a fucking hour deal you got to take a boat to get there so you're not and it's a small little community village it's not like you're just gonna go and go you know I just need to go get me some goats man you're in Alaska first off good luck finding them then you got to go buy them then you got to come get them and bring them and bring them out there it's gonna be a real serious fucking thing to do and then you got the winter the winter gets a hundred inches of snow if you don't know anything about a hundred inches of snow that is a lot of snow there, there's not many towns and places they get a hundred inches of snow uh, let alone out in the middle of nowhere so we got a lot of things we have to overcome and a lot of content for you guys during that processing of it and getting it there so one big thing is trying to figure out where we want to go with it first we got that place for the um not mention the fishing surrounding area the, the solitude and isolation and being very remote and many other reasons we got that place for that reason but you also have <clears throat> what do we want the boat or the tractor you have to make a decision you know i need this but i also want to do this where do i want to go first there's shrimping out there there's all kind of stuff out there and it'd be a, a crazy content i don't want to just do homesteading i don't want to be on the property just on the property all day long first off i would get bored of it second off that's fucking boring like doing the same thing every day over and over i get bored I can't watch that shit every day. I used to spend hours a day milling wood and building bushcraft cabins and log cabins and shelters and shanties. But I would do different uh, shanties and shelters and survival stuff. During that, I would mix it up with fishing, blowing stuff up, jumping vehicles, all that stuff. But <clears throat> I want to I wanna fish. I didn't get out there. I got friends and family that want to come visit us. and So I want to be like, all right, well, I got the fishing holes. I know where to go. I got the boat. I got the air drone. Let's go. So I have, to, I have to kind of figure out what I want to get first and how I'm going to do it. It's going to be a process. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be um, documented on YouTube. So we're going to make a lot of YouTube videos. I'll do episodes. Uh, so you guys can follow along. It'll, it'll, it'll be like episode one, you know. And each video will have a story. You know, you can go in and go, okay, well, this is where they started and this is where they're at now. And it should be pretty entertaining. That Bigfoot costume I sent you. What's up, Uncle Marty? Yeah, Oregon to Oregon is toast. Do it. Wait, what do you mean? Uncle Marty said Oregon is toast. Do it. Oh, like yo, Oregon's washed up. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the gig. That's yeah. The the place the place that we're looking at is fucking insane. It's incredible, and the community is awesome. The people are awesome, and and, and the fishing is awesome, and the location is is just it's awesome. And, so. I just have to figure out how we're gonna get what we want to do first. You know, we got the kids out there and the school systems going on, and it's gonna be a journey. Like I've been saying, reality show. Follow along with our journey and our adventure since day one. You guys can follow us and see where we began as we progress and change. Oh, is that me? Yeah, it's insane, right? <clears throat> Oregon's coming back five years. Devil's Ghost, small pond, brother. Yeah, Devil's Ghost, right? Small pond, dude. I'm gonna build something around that pond. I listen. I looked at that property without you guys because the the internet wasn't the best. It's in the middle of nowhere, so there is LTE service, and I was only on two modems, only Verizon. So my other modems, um, they all connected any tower that's uh, prioritized, but. Uh, not all my modems do that. So I have a couple of Verizon mo or AT&T modems that I'm going to switch into Verizon because that's the main tower out there. So I got this repeater. I've got some set up that I'm going to get. Our, uh, and they already have one on the house, but I'm going to get one. I'm going to put it so far in the sky. I'll have internet LTE service all around all the whole area because it has some internet or it has some LTE service on the property. So if you have some, all I need to do is get a lot. So, boom, I'll, I'll do it, and I'll get a lot. And I also have two Starlinks. We run the most advanced IRL setup on the platform, so we're going to make sure that we constantly innovate and figure out what we got to do to make internet for you guys to be able to view it. Come on there, fish. So beautiful, though. It's okay. 
yeah there's a lot of stuff happening you know uh, <laughs> just all in one hey yeah they had they had basically 24 hours well it's supposed to be by the end of the day today yeah, all right uh, theoretically because we gave them 48 hours and it's going on 48 hours so they have to have a counter offer within that time frame or the offer falls off so i don't know I mean, he wanted to talk to his wife he contacted our um agent or what I'm, I'm okay cool sit four feet forward so yeah hopefully we'll find out soon <laughs> yep by five today hopefully we should get an answer of a counter offer or something um we gave him a pretty fucking good offer personally so i think he got a good offer but so you got three hey come on now what blackstone you? what up dude coming with a 16 month sub yo thank you though no, the clear cutting so i like the fact so my biggest thing was I wish there were more trees so I could cut down on myself and use them, but we're surrounded by, I mean, behind us, all this mountains and everything, all those glaciers and all those mountain ranges is what's behind the property. We're So we're miles from the property, far away. But between here and there is where we're at. So from here, if you went that direction, you can't walk there. Good fucking luck. It's all glaciers. You can only fly there um, from here to there. It's a, bird, it's a bird flight. But if you were to fly over that, there's miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles of nothing of just what's behind our property um so we got a lot of land around us that we can venture into and we got not only that we also have the islands there's heaps of fucking islands out there i mean islands all over that we can do survival streams on we can go out and fish and camp on and do all kind of stuff so uh, there's there's a lot of potential around the surrounding that we're gonna do just for that but there's plenty of wood but um looking at the property that with the pond and then um it's opened uh, like a little bit and then there's a bunch of woods that the property's on too uh the the whole thing needs to be like tractored and leveled and then um i want to do something with the pond i want to make sure the ponds because ponds are cool we got a pond on the property that's dope so i want to figure out what we're going to do with that um aspect because it's i mean it, during the summertime it'd be nice to have some nice luscious green grass or just a, a booming garden just an incredible garden would be dope <laughs> holy fuck what up doobie like how you doing leveled up so it's enough acres to do what i need to do it's an, I, it's more acres than i'm going to be able to do anything with this year so it's not like it's 50 to 80 acres you know it's just a handful of acres uh, but it's not it's not enough for me i mean it's it's more than i'm going to be able to use this summer um going into winter i probably won't even use most of it because i i already have a greenhouse there it has a log cabin sauna there's a log cabin sauna there's a there's a concrete there's a concrete paved uh shop so the shop is, is uh, it's not like a uh, completely done crazy Target over the top fire. shop but th the shop is on a concrete pad so there's that what cool <laughs> and then uh what else is out there there's a bunch of shit out there and then there's a wood shot a shed out there um and then Target acquired. and then there's a two-story so the, the shop is two stories so it is insulated on the second story and there's a nice setup but he still has to get all his shit out when he, if he does accept the offer. There's that. Yo, Abby with the get us out the Shardy. What up, Legend? Thank you, Shardy. I hope we get it too, brother. It'd be so good. And that's the biggest thing is, you know, I, I thought about there's a bunch of acres, there's a bunch of land. I looked at 20 acres, 50 acres, 100 acres. We looked at all the options. I looked at bare land. I looked at bare land because in Alaska, you can come up with 20 to 30%. You can buy bare land. They finance you for that. They will actually give you a loan. You can't do that in the 48. If you had a hundred thousand, hundred thousand um, dollar property, right? Uh, you can get financed by giving them twenty percent. You know, some places will do fifteen, some want twenty-five. It really depends. 
Yo. Yo, getting us on a high train. It's not like an over the crazy top shop, but it's it's a start. I mean, it's not like a gnarly looking shop. But I mean, it's at least it's at least there. So that's the W. Yo, come on, guys, getting us on a high train. Smokefish, I said, come on with it. Dropping a hundred, Angie, what up? Let's go. So I looked out options. Yo, this is it right here. This is our song. You the baby. Thank you, boss lady. The other way. What we're doing ain't easy. We just need to catch some fish. Thanks, guys. Haha, <laughs> we'll stay up, upstairs in the shop. It is a three, four bedroom house. Nice log cabin set up. Pretty dope. Put me to the test. Absolutely. This my, this my theme song. I love it. Good. Dope you, baby. Thank you, boss lady. It's on a level two or one. I can't see. Level one high train, 89, 82%. Thank you, guys. Not a damn thing. Our dinner was good tonight. Oh. And no hot tub. No hot tub yet, but it will be one eventually. We can put a hot tub in, you know. Trying to keep an eye on our rods. Thank you, boss lady. Gonna need a quad, indeed. Or I'll go get the uh, side by side. Can, yeah, this is a good song. It's my hard theme song. Catchy, what up, man? Thank you. How come? How come no seagulls here? Work till it hurts, but I did it first, baby. That's it. Oh, baby. Yo, and it with the $25 ball, baby. Dropping a 25 on us. Putting us up to a level, well, still level one high train, 82%. The Zonos don't add to it, but hey, thank you, MM Legend out here. Good to see you. Thank you. I don't even have a donut club. You guys are just supporting the channel. Thank you. Appreciate that. Come on, fish. I think we get out of here. I think we go somewhere else, catch some fish. We're not catching dick. Whistle dick here, but so um what was I gonna say? Oh the the land. I was looking at bare land and I was like I will build it from the ground up that's completely fine, but it's not what I want. I don't wanna have to do shit like that. I wanna have it already so we can get right into the mix. You go to Alaska you can have any. You can build anything you want. MM with the twenty five dollar bomb. Thank you, MM you legend. Oh I won't catch fish. I can go over there. Ah, oh, thank you for Kaylee. Happy birthday, Kaylee, MM said. I was late. Yeah, we're gonna go. I already dropped some money over there on her. But uh, thank you. I think we're gonna go down that way. I'll catch some fish on my way out. I know where the fish are. I just wanted to try this because this is what everybody keeps saying out here's the spot. Out here's the spot. And I'm just like, okay, we'll fucking do it. We'll try it. It ain't the spot. It just ain't happening. So it's too early in the season for this spot to be productive, apparently. But yo, come on, win it. Ektar coming in with a thousand bits, keeping us on the high train. Legend level two, 40%. Let's go, baby. Woo. We got the new camera, too. So thanks, guys. We got uh, this view is fucking nutty. <laughs> I say we reel these up. Yes. I say we reel these up um, and move out of here. There's no sense to keep on fishing a spot that ain't producing. Right, Bree? Amen. <laughs> Thanks, guys, keeping the support rolling. I just gave the real other the thing she was asking for the handle. Handle? Oh.
off the camera on a hype train, all right? Father time. Father time. Yeah, I hope you all have a beautiful, awesome day. This is an amazing, incredible view. The weather's really picked up to being nice. Yo, on a level two I train still? No, Ektart coming through. Ektart, you're a legend, man. Thank you so much, Ektart. Appreciate that. MM Legends out here. Appreciate you guys as well, Boss Lady, with the 209. And uh, Father Time, appreciate you guys. And here too, over there, uh, Smoked Fish. So we're gonna move out of this spot and just tell you why. Not having much luck here. I know I can catch some fish down that way and the tides right now, slack tide. So we would like to move kind of quickly. I'm gonna go hit the, hit the fish. I went out the other day and first cast caught a nice fish. I think that we know where the fish are and I, I know where we're gonna go. I had a peanut butter and jelly, been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch. They're good. There's a little uncrustables because they're quick, but I want to get, I want to get into some actual meal deals. We want to eat. No luck out here. Let's get out. Dang it. I should have walked, I, I need to walk over there and reel these in. There's a ledge over there we're getting caught on. Woo! I reeled that in a little fast. Fuck him and bonked me in the face. So we still have bait, everything's still looking good. It's just, as good as things are looking, we're not getting any bites here. So let's go where I know I've actually caught fish. Angie, that sounds so good. What'd you have from Chinese? Chinese food's always good, right? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I thought this spot was going to give a little bit of more productivity, but it's the way fishing goes sometimes. It's also outgoing tide. Right now? It's uh, slack tide. Slack about 15 minutes. Yeah, then we have a, I think we have a six foot exchange. Yeah. That's pretty good, solid tides exchange. I mean, usually I don't like fishing anything over a six, but I mean, Alaska seems to be a lot different than Oregon. The fishing completely different, you know. Same fish, but different style. The same style-ish, but different. I don't know. If you know, you know. <laughs> uh, it's that way it is. In Oregon, you don't fish the beaches. Let's just put it that way. You don't fish beaches in Oregon. You don't fish sandbars in Oregon. Mm, that sounds good. Nothing like that. In Oregon, Oregon, you're fishing... about any part of the coast almost all the way to Cali and past it you're not fishing the beaches yes. so that's why I don't know why everybody fishes the beaches here I mean I know the halibut like the sand but I have way more luck on the rocks so we're gonna go there we're moving spots Isn't that beautiful here, you guys? Oh my, I should have went down, man. I said that last time. Let me go see if I can't get this out. Boy, I had 
Charlie, we got no bait on this one, guys. There is no bait on this, guys. Who knows? We could have got to eat a few hits on it. So when I self-tied. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Boom. Okay. Hope you guys having a good day though. Welcome in. because you don't wear any actual proper thermal gear. I'm wearing layers. Oh, I'm warm other than this hand. <laughs> my neck is cold and my Oh, oh great. It feels good. It, the it's wind. The warmest it's been in a while. The wind is what makes it cold. You're right. Yeah. The wind does make it cold. Oh. Yeah. What do you think? Never seen that. Cool. All right. We're going to move it. What am I? We're out of here. Max. One more. Mexican. Spanish. Here, take this, please. Don't fall. Butt face. Don't act like that. That's so cool how there's a cute little clamp. He said, don't spill it. He said, it'll slick. Cool. Do you like it? You see all these limpets? Nice! Every cow, just keep, just run at the beginning of every reel and get caught. Damn. Ah, we busted it free. Guess that's the benefit of having a, uh, 80 to, oh, 100 pound line, 80, 80 pound braid. I think 140 pounds. Woo! Woo! That was, that's 80 pounds. I know. But it's no, like. 65 actually. This one? 60. Oh yeah, I did do 60 on this. What, raw, what reel is it? Did we just buy Yellow that? and red. Or it's red with yellow string. Okay. It's right. It is, it's not something to overthink, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised too now. I like the white one. It's a hundred pound test. Yeah. All right, once you bring the camera down here, I can carry it. I don't know how I'm going to do. I'll carry it. I have this. But oh, we're going to. I'm going to have to switch them to the other camera. Why? I carried it. We're going to have to switch you guys to the other camera real quick. Thank you, say bye bye, you're amazing legend. No, we're at the coast. We're on, uh, you guys are just tuning in. All right. So we're at Alaska. We're, gonna, go we're, gonna, go we're gonna move to every spot down towards the rock ledge and see if we can not see. I, I have a lot of faith in those rock ledges, so we're gonna go catch some fish there. Hey, Shona, how you doing? Uh, she, I just got the phone. Everything just got sent over the other 
watching that clip. So, oh, yes, so that will be next. Well, no, no, I mean, the, uh, no, the, 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 the one of us driving? It's hard to see on my phone. It's hard to see. I meant, like they accepted the the underwriting gets moved forward. Okay. Yes. We're gonna put. Come on, Kira, don't do it. We need your help, Kira. Yeah. Grab some stuff. Okay, we're gonna switch. Exactly. Back to the shitty camera here. Yep. Where's one at? I don't know, you said you need my help. Perfect. ...product where we're cooking oh, yeah. today, which is tomato soup. It's really hard on cast iron that's not seasoned well. And uh, you really want a good thick bottom pot anytime if you're cooking soup so you don't scorch something. And this is the one that's not too much. Perfect timing. You don't want to use a, a cast iron, it says, and he was putting his cast iron out there. He's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> they literally said. Add the onion. there, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not, it, it, it's marijuana. Yeah, no, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let's be honest. Nothing wrong with that. It's a drug. It's just a damn good one. Yeah. <laughs> no. Totally agree. Totally. I mean, uh, yeah, you don't know the people I am killed. <laughs> I like to keep the little. Max says I don't smell anymore unless it spills. Yeah. Okay, we're back live. That, that. Oh. Cool. a long light. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's not large. It's not large. Large, not you. She'll probably tell us who it is. <laughs> hey! Who? I don't know. I didn't hear. Reese! Reese! Trees! Trees! I mean, trees! He's a tree! Exactly. Facts. Oh, I know. <clears throat> right, I'm just gonna leave it right here. I guess I can bring it over. They're all done for the night. So Sue. No. If I bring it over here, you're gonna. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm putting shit in front of me. That's the other annoying thing. He's like, hey, have a good day. You too. You too. You okay? Like, I don't want it in front of me, so I'm gonna put it in front of you. But talk of time. Yeah. I don't know, Miss P. G. Yeah, you okay? Turn around and eat. What? <laughs> Go. Dude, that's some deep. Where did you go? I'm 
watching this happen. I'm watching this go down. Let you go. That is really good to know. Oh, that's so cool. These guys are like, fuck you, okay? Let's do this shit all the time. <laughs> so, I just wanted to jump in the water and cool off a little, and then what we're going to do is go out with the machete, cut some brush, crawl through a tunnel underneath the road, run a, and then go through a creek bed, and then run an ethernet cable, so I have internet over here. Did y'all moose? Yeah, awesome. And then ran that way. When was it? Like right when we got here, so and it was crossed. So that it crossed over there, and then when we they saw it, it was right there, right over on like right just crossing over, and then it started running. Me and Kira got, got it. Ran did you? Did, and, like, did, and Kira and I said, Wait, what did you do? Run? I said, Moose, yeah, Moose, and I, Kira I, ran. I called Kira an idiot because she's like, Ooh, Ooh, Ooh. Calling him. No, no, I, you dumb idiot, get in the freaking tent. <laughs> you can you pee your pants? No, I had the pee and I was shaking. It's, it's footprints crossed over. Scared. And it was like maybe two you see that big tree, the double headed tree? No. -uh. Maybe like right there. Where'd it go in at? Go look at come here. What what what's this about? Guys, this Wait, what? Bear just did that. Holy did that. shit. No, I just blew away. That's not We're getting a little bit of rain again. Like I don't I really don't like how I don't know. I don't know how long we were on clips for. I don't either. We just need to switch cameras immediately. Throw this one in the ocean. Kira. Kira. Move your foot. Did you run into you? Move, move your other foot backwards. Haley, hurry. <laughs> well, shit. Oh, that's frustrating, man. The only reason I knew is because Kayla said I love this clip. That's, it's just the way it is. Doggone stupid camera keeps messing up. Oh, I'm starting to sweat walking this far. Come on. Yeah, no, the GoPro's, I mean, this thing's been online. We did, we did a whole entire subathon with it. It was online for hours, hours and hours a day. So it's just probably just worn out now. Well, luckily, I just bought a new one, but I mean, as luckily as I can say, luckily, it's 400 bucks. So, fuck it. Real luck, right? I'm gonna buy a $400 camera. Just to burn it back up. Janky. So, regardless. That's the reality of it. A bunch of flies are starting to come out. Oh, that's bright. And hot. It's hot out. Oh, you're grading the road now, I hope. Oh, yes, he is. Sick. They're fixing all the roadway here. Good. Wow. Much needed. Oh, just people's houses. We out in 
You gotta start turning the lights off out here. There, stay, we're leaving. Okay, come on, go potty here, whatever you need to do. He's like, am I coming out, Dad? I'm gonna come out. Nobody I know. Just people's in the area of the house. We're not gonna do anything special with these. Just gonna slide them in. And we're gonna drive just down the road. What I need to do, well, <laughs> I won't need to do it anymore because we're gonna be stationary. What I was gonna say is what I need to do is get some rod holders on the outside of this so when I'm moving spots, I can be like, boom. But again, we're not going to be living like this anymore, hopefully, soon. I'm done traveling and moving around, walking over it, over it. As fun as it is. Be nice just to be able to have it all squared away, no bullshit. Yeah, I like the cold too. We're talking 30 to 50 degrees cold. You know, I was hanging out Father Time and he, him and I were. I'm gonna go do that. I grabbed a bunch of Okay. I was hanging out Father Time and him and I were talking. And he goes, you know, I'd rather have a little bit of cold weather. Hot, you can only do so much and you just sweat and you gotta be in the water. Cold, at least you can put some gear on. But it's, it's really just about temperature wise. Is, Right around 40, 50 degrees, 60. You can come back for it. I can grab one. Okay, go. Yeah, 50, 50 to 60. Once you start hitting these temperatures right, like right now, I'm starting just walking, I'm sweating. Why, let me, what's a legend? Red wolves in the house. Good to see you, dude. How you been, red wolves? We got two or three red, and then we got red wolves. We got legends. Hope you're having a great day. What was your pleasure? <laughs> Alaska is incredible, man. Especially how we're doing it. You know, we got a lot of really neat stuff to share with you guys. A lot of cool things to do. A lot of places to see and adventures ahead of us. We're between seasons. Hey, look. This is what I'll be using. Speaking of that. I mean, so. Got. We got. A lot of plans. And we're, we're just getting started, you know. The season's not even here yet. Fishing's only. Like, gonna get better. Months of content for you guys. And they can come back and grab these two things. It'll be a lot of fun. chair down there and a table you gotta go get it what sorry well he's grading it right now but... yes it'll last I don't know. Let me take the backpack off and I'll do it. Don't worry. What are you doing in there? Jumping jacks? No, I haven't gone in there yet. Everybody's still putting their shit down right here. Their shit? No, it's our gear and our fishing stuff. Yeah. So it's just a, uh, a thing right here. What do you want me to do? I've already made four fucking trips. Oh no. Who brought all the stuff down, bud? I mean. No, it's just 
You guys expect me to... I didn't expect you to do anything. I said, none of this is going to make the trip. I got to get in there and put everything down. I don't... Should have been down already. Okay, put, that in, put those in the rod holders so they don't break. Hi, Bear. Hi, Bear. Dude, I'm so hungry, too. We only had a freaking peanut butter and jelly for lunch, and that's not gonna cut it. Yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. I've already talked to the guy, by the way, so. What are you worried about? Go do your job. You got two of those? Let me tell you something. You got two of them? Let me tell you something. You have Listen, of them. there's no trailer parking over there, so I'm parking here. Yeah, well, you're speeding road right now. Yeah, that's why we're leaving. Shoot what? Bear come. Bear. come on. That's a jackass. I'm trying to. Oh, I don't know, he's an idiot. Well, there's no trailer parking in that spot. So when we talked to the people down there, they said, no, you, they're not gonna bother you right here right now because there's no boat launch and everything's shut down. Um, but people just got nothing better to do than being jackasses. And, and I got nothing better to do than ignore those jackasses. I ain't got time for that shit. Didn't have to slow down to take that corner at all. He's not even plowing that section. He just has, you know, to be rude. Yeah, they got the rest of the stuff.
you're done it. All right, we'll switch you off.
Yeah, at least he's fixing the road. That road's fucking shitty.
casual and said, thanks. <laughs> oh, nothing to talk to him. Just kill my kindness. I'm like, thanks. He lay down a lot of like cool smiles. <laughs>
What's up, Rogan Legend? This is the spot where I, I had caught a few fish. I was thinking about coming back out here and trying it again. It's a nice little cove, and probably that's why they just come out and come around there. I don't know. I didn't realize it's almost 5 o'clock. Time flies. It's like 9 o'clock to a lot of you guys' time, and we got hours of daylight, hours of time left.
Thank you, Eddie. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, hey. Do you wanna try some new shit? We got having a great day, man. Mr. 30 organized over here, bud. Let's go with that unit. Well, unit ties this. Ah. I'm just the same size. Cool. Cool, bud. Like to put a snap swivel on here so we, you know, I don't like just running these straight. Um, switch this up, put a dual snap and stuff, but uh, I like running these. I'm just gonna throw this out because that's just what I have on me. Quick and easy jig. I'm not gonna throw anything out like um, any bait. I'm just gonna work the column real fast. Throw a few lines with the, the old nostalgic setup, and then, um, like I said, I just, I really just don't like having straight. Uh, braided line connected to that without having like some sort of swivel set up because I don't want to I don't know I just that's how I roll but you know sometimes when you roll some roll different this will be my float rod here shortly for our salmon and out We're gonna make our way slowly outward. I'm just gonna cast a few lines here and there. See what I can't come up with this. I think this is a 20 pound. What's up guys, you guys are incredible. Appreciate you guys. caught fish here before it was on my first cast actually i, I zipped up a couple fish real fit real, real quickly here not saying that's gonna happen again or anything because i use shrimp i don't want to bait fish right now i don't want to throw out any shrimp Thank you, Helen. Helen, how you doing, by the way? Hope you're having a good day. Did I see Helen in here? I thought I saw Helen in here. Who knows? Oh, a lot of people in here. Let's see. Wow. Water's not really far down, is it? No, it's way down, 30. Oh, you dim dumb. I went to grab my pliers. Yacht. I legit went to grab my pliers and I was like, oh, got my pliers. Whatever. There you are. You are in here. I thought I saw you, Helen. Hey. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. I also, last time I tipped that with some good old bait. I got to tip it this time. Oh, well. Drunken bra, what up?
You know, like Port Rock was saying earlier, having snow at the coast, being on the beach. Yo, big dog, the legend aboard here. What's up, man? It's quite off. It's kind, it's kind of weird having snow, you know, at the coast and like the saltwater fishing. Not just snow, a lot of snow. <laughs> Next tape. What's up, legend? And this is how we got the, the exclamation green screen command years ago. And it still stands to this day, apparently. We're reeling it a little quick. I'm, I'm not sure what the water and oh, I'm not sure what kind of call what shits down there and anything. So just reeling a little fast, keeping it above the rock ledge. We'll slow it down a little bit, maybe. system I, I could run it up there on top of the hill I have like miles of internet if I wanted thanks guys so this is solid ice right now it was uh oh what the fuck is that the hell? Yeah, there's cameras, man. What's going on with it? I got a brand new camera. I'm going to switch it out. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Casted the camera into the water. <laughs> Gone. Yeah, that. The camera. Well, I mean, we've used this camera for a long time. We went through the winter with it. It's, through this, it's been through some uh, very long hours of streaming. So I went and bought a brand new one. I got brand new live view. Everything's completely brand new except for the camera. So we just have to switch it out. I got to update the other camera. I haven't done it yet. We'll get it. I think throwing out shrimp and letting it sit is definitely going to be a move. It's definitely going to be a actual best, one of the best ways to catch a fish right now. Because, you know, when you're throwing out just a shrimp, you got options to catch just about anything. When you're throwing out this setup I'm doing, I should have ran a jig head and jig, but when I'm throwing out this, you know, you're going to change up the whole dynamics of what the fish are looking for. You just throw out shrimp, anything eats shrimp. Everything eats that shrimp. So anything in the area is going to go, oh, shrimp, hmm, I'll eat that. When you're throwing out this thing, you're, you're, you're working a different level of fish. I just wanted to move a little more. I didn't want to just put a shrimp and stand around, wait for it, because, well, I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm trying to get on a schedule here. So I'm trying to start getting a more of a schedule based stream time for everybody. I want to start fishing between, I mean, I want to start ending my stream between, uh, you know, technically seven, eight, nine, my time. So it'd be almost midnight and one or two, most people's time. And I want to really be online between six and nine, my Alaska time. If I can ever get that to happen, we'll be happy. And then if I hit my goals, so I'll have goals for the day. <clears throat> And if I hit those goals, then I'll stay online for an additional hour or two or whatever. But if I don't, then it's directly bye-bye. I don't know. It's kind of what I'm thinking. That way I can focus on YouTubing, editing, and just spending time with the family and enjoying life. Sometimes 
a different aspect of it. Yeah, um, I have. I, I've kept, I've kept a few fillets of fish. Um, so far, I ate a little offline without you guys, but we did do a halibut the other day, which what not what I caught, but God darn it, it was tasty. It was halibut from out here, so good. Uh, it, we got it from a friend, so Karen and Steve gave us the halibut. It's amazing how long halibut lasts. You know, if you think about it, they caught it. They caught it. They went out on a on a charter last year. And they caught this halibut and other fish too, but mostly. And they put it in their freezer and they still have heaps of it left from one trip out here. It lasted an entire year. I mean, that's meals upon meals of food. Pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try. I've been trying to do it as soon as possible, man. But I think when we probably when we settle in, it's kind it's kind of hard to have a time schedule because we never know where we're gonna be, what we're gonna be doing. It's hard to give a definitive answer because, especially since we got a lot of stuff happening, we're dealing with lenders and uh, real estate agents and looking at houses and and searching up houses and trying to figure out where we want to live and business important stuff happening, and then we're we're in between. I mean. Or moving on, moving around a lot. I mean, it, it's almost. I mean, there's no stream. There's no one doing I real like us. Not one. You know, they all have houses and places to go. They do their stream for the day. They go home. When you don't have a destination, let alone doing it with the family and in the extreme levels, we do it with. You know the the elements we battle and four people. Think about it. Four people living in a fucking cargo trailer. And a dog. That's pretty rugged. So it's really... Everything's... Nothing's really consistent right now. It's... Kind of the hard thing is trying to find that consistency. And we're going to be living, we're going to be living surrounded by glaciers. I mean, that's the reason why nobody go, can ever build a road or go out there. It's the only reason why you can access it by airplane and boat is because it's all glaciers and glaciers and glaciers. So we're going to have a lot of land behind us is what I'm trying to say. A lot of places we can go do shit. It's going to be our backyard playground. Bears in the, the deal. What's up, Frodo? Yeah, bears in the truck. Sleeping. See, throwing this jig out, you're most likely going to get yourself in some sort of black rock fish or something more aggressive type of fish not just a fish just trying to eat so if there's no black rock out here right now really about all lean cod and such Well, I just want to be like, you know, 
what we're what we're going to be doing for the winter i mean for the for the spring and the homesteading content it's going to be insane i mean that's that should be on television it should be on net geo and history channel and there's stuff legit like what we're doing on it on those channels but i want to make sure we do episodes so i have time to edit or at least maybe send send my videos over to somebody and they can edit it i'm gonna be making videos every day and since i'll be since i will be able to have my computer set up and have a spot an actual spot where i'm done for the day i can go in and fire up the computer and start doing some editing not much editing i don't want to run a super crazy edited deal i guess yet at the right away i want to keep it kind of authentic you know this is what we did here's here's the stupid shit we did do and we said you know oh boy we're still we're still sinking bam look at that that's how long that just took to sink that's down there well that was the furthest cast and the longest i let it sit so let's just comb it across the bottom and see what's up What's up, country? Hell yeah. This view. Just unbelievable. Okay, bring it on in. It's a lacking. I'm gonna do that cast again, but I'm gonna do it differently this time. How I reel in. I'm gonna throw as hard as I can again, let it hit the bottom. I'm gonna work it a little differently. I wish I had a jig on. I think a jig would really produce more. Results. Same spot. Facts. We will get one. Boat is on my bucket list. On my bucket list, or I say, a list of items we're going to get. Bucket lists are kind of like things you may never do, right? Like, oh, I wish one day to do that. No, it's, it's going to be one of the things you will do. And there's also the air drone, too. So you can fish out here in Alaska with a fishing drone. So you just hook your line to this, uh, the drone, and fly it as far as you want out there, drop your line, and fish. So I can throw it into 700-foot holes. I can, I can carry it two miles out there. I can carry it, you know, my, whatever my line allows me. Most of my line, most of my rods have 300 yards. 300 yards is a good distance. But when you're talking 300 yards and 700 feet, yup. So I'd have to get me a, I think I'd have to get me a one of the, the bait casters with an open spiel on it run it 600 yards yeah so i'm trying to decide because if i end up getting this property that we're looking at that that cabin it's in the heart of the halibut capital of, of the planet of the world there's no other place on the planet that has better halibut fishing so homer alaska is where people go to and then they book a trip and they drive an hour and a half to two hours to the hell of a hole we're an hour and a half closer to the holes that's what the what they say so i'll be able to go off the beach where we're gonna protect particularly live hopefully and i'll be able to go out there on a beautiful sunny day and go you know what i'm gonna hook my drone line drop it off put three or four of those bad boys out there and to start rolling in the hogs, hogs of halibut. Or 
rockfish, lean cod, monster lean cods, salmon. There's salmon run all year long where we're looking. There's there's salmon fishing. It's not just three months of a year. It's all year long where I'm looking at. So that's dope. Oh. Well, I, I'm pretty convinced that we comb this area. I think we need to throw a bait out there and let it sit, but I don't know what the plans are. I guess we got to talk. Fish are on vacation. They're out in the ocean right now. Yeah, that's true. I actually get mad when people try to like, I don't know. I think a lot of people just, certain people, most of them, just want what we have and it, their their host is ill intentions. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of streamers and mess with a lot of outdoors people. Because their, their interest isn't, oh, I'm going to host you and help you out. Their interest is like, hey, I'm going to try to have what you have and what you created and all the time you put in. That's why there's a few streamers out there I tell you guys, you know, look out for. So Their interest isn't my interest. Their interest is your donations, your support, your view. And <clears throat> that's the reality of it, you know. And I, I could sniff those motherfuckers out a mile away. That's why... I'm so blunt and I say, hey, look out for that motherfucker and tell you guys straight up. I can't believe some of you guys support this, this, these fucking people that would love to take what we have and see us fail. But, hey, to each your own. There's some people out there I generally respect. And there's, there's some people out there I know what they what they want. Some of you even said it. Oh, I wish I had what 30 have. If only I could get what he has. I want to be just like 30. Gotta look out for the motherfuckers, man. Look at this freaking view. It's a picture. So tomorrow, I think we're going to go out there. See that boat? We're going to hit that. And that looks ideal because it's all glacier face. I feel like that's going to be the ticket. I don't know why I haven't done it already. Over there, there's glaciers in the rock ledge, it looks like. I haven't been there, so I don't know for sure. But that's what Tim was telling me to check out. Because <clears throat> he's, he's a local, obviously, because there's good fishing. But looking at looking at the map and everything, I mean... I don't know what the water, I don't know what the rock ledge looks like, but anywhere you can get yourself on a rock ledge or the ledge just drops off and gets a decent depth is a good spot to start. I think this is kind of slow. I'm looking for some deep. But a boat. Boat's going to open us up to tanner crab, uh, shrimping. And it's just going to open us up to a lot of stuff. So that's why I want to get a boat down the road. And I don't I don't want to lock myself in because we we are going to have the homestead here shortly. We're going to be doing the homestead out in, uh, out here. And the, the main thing is, is with the homestead, it really just, um, I'm going to try a little jigging, switch it up a little bit. The, the homestead... We got a lot of things we need to do. We need, we definitely need a tractor at some point. I want to level out the land. There's a lot of lumps and bumps. There's a pond on the land. So I want to be able to have the pond uh, section kind of nice and cleared. And that place should look really cool. You know, don't know about swimming maybe as far as that goes, but definitely can utilize it in many ways. And then a giant garden huge garden is necessary <laughs> everybody's like looks like wallpaper all right we're gonna man i, I can't help to think if i would have thrown out a shrimp by now we would have busted one up i can't help to think that the shrimp would have been the play here this i just gotta work a different water column and I gotta work different areas and search the fish. The shrimp is where, you know, fish better find me type of gig. 
But yeah, let's move. Let's move down a little bit. I should throw the shrimp out here. I, I caught fish here last. It can only take a second to run up there and grab shrimp. I already had the line ready to go. I know Bree and the kids, Bree said that she's getting hungry already and she don't want to have dinner at nine or 10. It's really, it's really how things work. Most of you guys will agree with me, right? So in the winter time is dark early. So you feel, you feel drained at 4.30. You're like, oh, I should have had dinner done six o'clock. Most of you guys eat dinner around six anyway, but normally when it's dark, it's getting dark is when you go, oh, we should probably get dinner going. When it's summertime, especially in Alaska, you're gonna find it's daylight all the time. So you you kinda don't have that. And it's the same thing with drinking too. I noticed it, I'm like, oh, it's getting dark, probably getting ready for a beer. Eight, nine o'clock, I'm not even thinking about a beer because it's still daylight. I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll start a beer. Cause I'm not even thinking about one right now, just kind of the concept of things, you know, how it works. I talked to a few people in Alaska and they go, yeah, we'll be hanging around around 11 and we'll look at the clock and be like, oh, maybe we should get dinner going? Maybe. Getting... <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Isn't it? It probably looks better on your guys' end than my end. How you don't want to bust my mess up? Yeah, baby. Boy, howdy. Hate to take you away from it for now. I'm thinking I'm gonna go get a shrimp. Boss out a shrimp. What time is it? I'm getting hungry. I had I had a really late lunch, breakfast and I had a, <laughs> a uncrustable. You don't know what an uncrustable is? That's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with no crust. It's a kid's meal. <laughs> so I had that for, for lunch. And that ain't gonna do anything to me. I want the, the whole meal. Good to see you. What's up, baby? How you doing? Good to see you guys. Whoa! Can't come out on you like that, bud. Do you know where my Nintendo is? Nintendo? I hid it from you. Where? Um, I'll tell you where it is. You want to know where it is? Yeah. I'll tell you where it is. Yeah, tell, tell me. You know where mom sleeps? Yeah. Probably over there. Was that nice of me to tell you? Boy, howdy! It's not okay, you liar. Why would I lie? I can see it. What's up? Let's see. Are you guys having a good day? Welcome in. You see it? I can see it right there, bud. It's underneath the blankets. Or it's underneath the mattress. Do you find it? No. Huh. Let's put this one away. Here. Put that away, but don't break it. Oh, no, Probably did. Move. Oh. Put this away. They're delicious. They, they really are, actually. I, I will tell you this. I actually generally like those Uncrustables. I like peanut butter jelly sandwiches. I do, but I gotta eat like two or three of them to really make a meal. And um, another thing too, is since I haven't been able to do my exercising workouts because of the traveling and, and now that I'm in this again, um, it's been kinda, it's kinda lame. So I'm looking forward to cutting out when I do get the homestead and everything running. I'm looking forward to cutting out all the like fucking restaurant food and the burgers and then all the junk shit we've been eating so it's gonna feel good start getting healthy at that at that level and cut out all the I'm just gonna just keep using the shrimp I've used this shrimp for an incredible amount of time and it's still here I've, I've had this shrimp on for I don't know since the last time I went fishing it's just been chilling in there you think it's lost its shrimp love? Let's get rid of it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this one smells a lot better. You can actually smell that one now. It has a lot more smell to it. Let's do it. Let's put a new one on. Oh, well, thank you for popping in and saying hello. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you, of course. Oh, yes. I can't believe you had a 78 degrees freaking twister come through and and then now you're having snow. Isn't the weather something else? My buddy in North Carolina, he goes, uh, he's one of my best friends growing up. He goes, what the fuck are you talking about, Alaska? You're supposed to live in North Carolina. You're such an asshole or whatever. You know, and I was like, yeah, dude, I know. Maybe one day. You know, we out here right now doing some fishing out here in Seward, Alaska. If you guys are wondering where we're at, this beautiful place. Uh, the views, everything. Definitely incredible. Backdrop. Postcard. Oh, fuck it. Let me get after it. Let's just get it. Let me go all the way down. If we're going to do this, let's do it. We're going to throw it out there. Far. Ugh. We don't sheesh. Did we just cast off the shrimp? Did I? Yeah. We just cast off the shrimp. I guess we should have put a... Is that the greater guy coming back? Mr. Greater guy. Is that the greater guy? Is he really coming? Oh, I didn't cast it off. Is it? Yes, sir. God, Lord, this little fucking punk. If he has anything to say today. Um. What? After he comes by or something, can I have the modem, please? Would you have it? We'll turn on. We'll turn on the truck. We're going to fix dinner here in a few anyways, so hang tight. No, there's no venomous snakes in Alaska. The thing you got to worry about in Alaska, apparently, is the moose. You got, you got grizzly bears, of course, and bears all over, polar bears up north. Um, but... You don't have heaps of... Why, like anything poisonous, you know, no spiders. You got mosquitoes, it's kind of a thing. <clears throat> so, out where we're looking to live, apparently, there's not much mosquitoes from what everybody said. They're like, yeah, you know, mosquitoes aren't really a factor out here. We don't have to wear bug spray, anything like that. that I, I was like, well, what about black flies or whatever? Because that's apparently a thing out here. And they're like, not really. Don't see them too often either. Spiders won't hurt. The port rock got rid of the VIP. <laughs> Fucking Mike. <clears throat> you can go around. Hopefully. You can pull the side part in. Yeah. You should be able to fit around. He can't fit. Oh lord. Let's see. Kind of a bitch. Hey, you can put it on. 
Yeah. Better not pick me up, Al. Of course. Hey, Deanne. Hi. You hungry? I'm hungry. Like two ships, but I'm getting hungry. I said like an hour ago. I was like, Mom, are you gonna, are we gonna make venison? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. The pickles. This few pisses me off. What pisses you off about it? The fact it's so beautiful with snow. <laughs> I know how you guys are like, oh, you know the snow. <clears throat> Incredible. No, I, I I do believe if I sat and just fished this whole section, we would have had way. We not believe. I know we would have had way more fish going on than up and down. I just had to try up there. If I would have ran this whole setup this whole time right here in this stretch, that's the ticket, man. That's where the fishing just it just produces more. I went out there and I talked to a bunch of people and they didn't have any luck. I had a buddy I I met this guy, he came out and he goes I was out there, nobody caught anything and I said, Well shit, I'm fucking slamming them over here. Why don't you come join me? He goes, I gotta get out of here, gotta go back home, but <clears throat> this spot is just too good. I don't know. I'll go. I'll leave it out for like five, like three, five minutes. I do have to go pee though, so we'll just leave this out for a couple minutes. And oh, just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You freaking shit. No, fucking infection. Still there. Right, baby. Legend. Oh shit. Yeah, we'll get out of here in a couple minutes and go go post up, get a meal deal started. I think we're I think we're making some sort of meatballs or something. Meatball subs, I believe. Be sus. What's up? I do too. We're going to be doing a lot of fishing. I was born to fish. We're going to be doing so much fishing out here. It's going to be incredible. Especially when we score a boat. Especially when we get the air drawn. And especially as the season progresses into spring. As April pushes through more day. Every single day just gets better and better. As it gets closer to May, June, July. It's going to be a whole different beast of fishing out here. Out where we're looking for a house, they have the, um, not many people out there, right? So th there's a sloughs and rivers just loaded full of fish. And there's just so many of them. You just go out there and, you know, catch them one, one after another. And with that said, they, uh, don't have like a lot of pressure because, I mean, the locals is who's fishing it. And then the kids, the local kids and such, but. The place is boating only, so the people that are going to see it and experience that town, they're not going with fishing rods. Most of them are going out there, there to get back, check out the spot. They get like two hours of window to get there and back, and then the other ones that are going out there are taking a guide, and they're going out to the ocean.
So, holy shit, that doesn't sound good at all. Uh, I would love to have you out here. I'm I'm gonna nail a homestead out here, no matter what. No, no matter what, we're getting one out here, and we're doing it sooner than uh, than later. That'd be incredible. And like I said, I'm trying to square away a boat. I'm not just look. I mean, I'm looking at all options for boats, but I'm also I'm looking for if I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna get one. You know, I can start small, but I I know there's a handful of people that do want to come out, and I'm I'm not gonna. Like, hey guys, you guys want to go fishing? Here's a dinghy. <laughs> you know, I'm looking for something nice. But at least if we do go and get the homestead squared away, we will have we'll have the air drone, so we can fly the fish out, the the lines out with the drone, and get to where the fish are, and just get to do the bigger fish and and more heavy piles of them too. So there's so many possibilities. I mean, we're not limited whatsoever. The more support we get, the more we can do, and the more we're going to do. Content loading. That'd be so cool. Try to get Heather to come out. <clears throat> Alright, I gotta... I gotta go to the bathroom. I've been holding in, going pee, I'm doing the pee dance for like a half hour, an hour, I don't know, maybe here now. Time to... Uh, I... We'll probably throw out a couple more spots. I don't know. We'll see what we do. It's just, I know that. <sighs> Bree's probably ready to do something. And we also got the business stuff to take care of. So if we can get dinner rolling and get things switched up and taken care of, that'd be dope. Be great. Yeah, I know. You're welcome anytime. The, the place we're looking at has four bedrooms and well three bedrooms but the fourth fourth can't be uh, classified as a bedroom because there's no window but it does have bunk beds and hey you know okay put that shrimp back in there mm. excuse me sweetheart where are you going bud here hold this can we put that in the rod holder in there or just give me a minute yeah me too
Gonna use the bathroom real quick. Kid has to use the bathroom, and then we're we're talking we're talking the stuff over here real quick.
Isn't this a cool town? How beautiful it is, man. The mountains and glaciers all around. So I was telling you guys, if you look that direction, if you go far away, that way, that's where we're looking at the property. Um, that's where our homestead would be, is up and over those glaciers, all those mountain ranges. Long ways, long ways. Nothing here, nothing there. Yeah, for sure. What's that? Uh, loves, absolutely. What's up, RuneScape? For real. Yeah, right, Helen? For sure. Do you feel better? What? <laughs> Did you just feel better? Did you button up your belt through inches? Did you drop into a notch of your belt? They're gross. <laughs> 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 okay, no more. Or you're going to have to go outside, buddy. Back to the park. I don't know where we're headed, bud. Let's go look at the boats, I guess. I don't know. Come on, let's go on a quick boat look. I want to go to the park. Yeah. Think a park. Think a park. Why don't you park? Park into the. Why don't you park your butt into the chair? Just toss shit. Did. I don't please. care just because you said please. Don't mean you get shit, bud. Put your crap. No, I ignored you. Subs and bits, you got a great. I didn't have any chat on. Hey, more LEDs, I like. What is on believable views around this place? So beautiful. All the snow. Could you imagine, like, you just the random guy walking out here, checking out the area. The next thing you know, you get a giant load of snow hitting your face. Isn't that, wouldn't that be horrible? You're just like, yeah, you know, just, uh, what an amazing view. And you just get just blasted by all the snow falling off the top. Chwop. Just blast you. Absolutely incredible views, dude. What, oh, sweetheart? I said, look at these blasted off. What, Pat? What? Where? Show me. Come here. I'm gonna blast it off. Oh my god. Like a rocket? It has been working. They all, this whole thing blasted off of there. No way. Yes, yes, all this. Oh no, you got You would have never known? I know that. <laughs> <laughs> you blast it off. You know what would be really cool? You know what would be really, really cool? Is if you were able to walk this railing. Whoa, look at the pattern. Yep, it's a blast off pattern. Oh yeah, I've been here before. Okay. I'm scared to drive it any further because yeah, it, it yeah, <laughs> and we made it eight miles almost, and it just was like it's sputtering. Not the other way around. If they put diesel in a gas, all you gotta do. That's what happened to his truck. If you put gas in a diesel. Let's go, punch you. Hurt. Yeah, that's fucking camera, dude. It got to go. Camera fucking she shit. Absolutely shot. I hate this camera. Okay. It's just been used and abused. We used it so much, and it's just at a point where it needs to be 
we got a brand new one we just need to replace it we just need to get that camera out of here throw it in the wet and trash i have the brand new one the, the big camera don't make mistakes that's one thing she wants to do actually you say yo know, um Melanois, I, I say your name wrong, but uh, that, that's that's actually one thing she really wants to do, is do that and sell them. Absolutely, and that's one thing she wants. She's looking forward to doing when she gets a homestead and a house. She wants to get it all set up so she can, you know, kind of kind of type of thing she's looking forward to doing until that whole ramp was eighty one steps. Eighty ten. Yeah, it's need to be retired. Lord. Yeah, the camera definitely needs to be retired. Tra uh, we just bought a new one, so I just got to install the updates. We just need updates and uh, battery charged on the new one. And then we're good. I'll do that later. I'll probably do that tonight, today. I just want to show you the reflection of the water. Cool, right? Not this water, not Alaska. Some people in here live in Alaska. What you talking? Oh, really? Okay. Yo, well, uh, I don't know if Caitlin's in here right now, but Caitlin actually sent her a whole bunch of uh, uh, material for her to use. Cool. So she's been utilizing it and she's doing good. That first one she's doing is going to be for grandma's birthday. So grandma's birthday's getting. <laughs> Closer, June. Yeah. Good lord, a beautiful right here. Oh, there she is. So yeah, she uh, she's been using the heck out of that stuff, and Dad, I, I always you said you beg, I can't jump in. I <laughs> no. I always say, oh man, that's incredible too. Look at this. No way, it's water. Yeah. Reflection's awesome. So I, I always give her a hard time because I was like, hey, you're knitting. And she's it's not knitting, it's crocheting. I'm like, crocheting? I didn't know you can croquet that. <laughs> she's like, stop. Man, incredible views. Um, Yeah, we have. We got the counter offer. Bree's been kind of going over it, and I haven't had time to talk to her about it because, well, I'm here with you guys. So she's talking to Uncle Kenny because he used to do a lot of real estate stuff and been in real estate. And so they're just talking, and I'm just over here. In the distance because well i'm hanging out with you guys part of me was like well i better in the stream and take care of this but it is what it is we'll get to it okay we got a meal deal to make. Hopefully, we can sort this out. Cool house. Beautiful. Did you know boats need tires, Kara? Yeah, just in case when they go on the land, they can drive. It's so weird. And I know this won't You're just brain dead. Yeah. Did you hear? Yeah, there you go. I was watching a YouTube video and this guy and this girl he they come down and they're You did not hear that? What? One, two, three, four, let's go baby. Whoa, yeah, bitch, one, two, three, four, let's go baby. What? Oh sheesh. Yeah. Can you stop like a tie my shoe? Yeah, tie your shoe. Yo, thank you. Holy shot. Someone's vibing out over there. No, the scenery is incredible. You should have seen it an hour ago when I was over when I was over at the fishing hole. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And you know, he was a guy, fucking him and his chick, and he walks down here and he goes, Man, can you imagine that to be a person that carries up all their gear up through there? I was like, what a fucking pussy. So anyways, I thought of that because I was walking up there. And she goes, you can never be a fisherman. He goes, I'll be doing it. I'll be a fisherman. I was like, buddy, you can't walk up the fucking ramp, let alone. 
Oh boy, howdy. Um, it means to be... Oh. Oh, gotcha, for sure. Yeah. So, she's tying her shoe. I have to tie I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. No, I, I had peanut butter and jelly. That's, that view is something special. Now yeah, look at that. Someone left a glove. Cool. Yep, you're the legend out here with the one, two, three, four, pushing the two million badge, by the way, you guys. Yep, is pushing the two mil badge. He is on his board, a border. I don't know exactly where he's at, but he's pushing it for the two mil. Legends. Alrighty, how incredible. I like walking around towns and just seeing the the small the small town and all the stuff it has to offer in the winter. Just enjoy life once in a while instead of questioning me. We just did. We walking all around. We're just doing all kind of stuff. And so, <laughs> at least you're outside doing stuff. I'm gonna take you to the top of that hill and make you sled down it. That one in front of you. No, that would not be fun to go down. That would be horrible. How steep that is? I was sarcastic. Get. You get. You're in the pathway of success. <laughs> yeah, you got something to say, bud? <laughs> Are you hungry? I just said that. No, you didn't. I said I'm kind of. Uh, we're going to see what our last guy. Yeah, that would be a serious play. You know how much speed you would catch on that thing? That is so steep. But golly, it's beautiful up there, isn't it? All these mountains and glaciers surround it, all just beautiful. That's what makes Seward so awesome. It's the, the town is surrounded by all these mountain ranges, and that's cool. Very cool. Let let June. Hey. Don't splash me, okay? They don't need to be splashing. Cat didn't splash a lot over here. What are those things for? What? Cat didn't splash a lot. Do you even know where the car is? I do. True value. Yield deals. Do you want to go in there? What's up, everyone? Welcome. Hello. Colt. What's up, Colt? Another legend out here. Man, I wish we were over there fishing at that hole again. That was incredible. The view earlier was postcard. So many people were like, what? Did I just walk into? Amazing. So we're in, we are in uh, Seward, Alaska. It, it's truly special beautifulness. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Even the hardware store got its mountain views. When every bit of the town has a mountain views, you know what's up. This place is, there's nothing for sale here and it's very expensive and very popular during the summer, as you can see why. Imagine what it looks like in the summertime. I mean, it's beautiful now. I think it's, I think the snow makes everything more beautiful, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, green, luscious, green's my favorite color, forest green, but green, luscious trees and grass. It's hard to say that that's going to be even less beautiful, but I like I like seeing the mountains and glaciers covered with snow. 
Not to mention snow's clean. Look at this. This is this is pretty freaking dirty. Where are you going? No, it looks like you got money. You want to go buy around town with me? No, it's just in case you see something. If you want a snack or something. I do want a snack. Come on. We're going to go for a snack. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, but Mom has Mom giving you like 20 bucks. Or her card. If you want to go see a snack. It's so beautiful. It does look like paradise. Photo is one day going to come out here and, and photograph this place. And we'll make a business uh, postcards. Or something cool. No, it, it's incredible, beautiful here. And smoke fish is like, where's all the eagles? There, I, I've never seen so many eagles in my life. I don't even get excited to see any eagle anymore. I'm just like, oh, it's another eagle. Before it was like, holy shit, eagles! Eagles aren't even. They, there's, I mean, I'm not seeing them now all of a sudden, but there's more eagles than seagulls. They're eagle seagulls. Seagull eagles. I don't know. Just walk around town, I guess, and do nothing. Trying to row. Okay. $20. We got $20? Let's go buy like a big juicy cheeseburger. Out of everything there is, you want to get that. I don't know. I'm just going to snack. If you want a snack, go into that place right there, and then you have a snack. It takes, it goes, wait. It should upgrade to six. It should go to six. Yeah, because it goes one, three, six, nine, twelve. So it it should re, re, it should switch over. What's up, Frank? Oh, there's a prison here. Didn't know that. This is Seward, Alaska. Apparently, there's an original spot for that dinner on. I don't know. I don't know what is it is. Nothing's really open. Yeah, so Seward. Real class wildlife and glacier tours. Cool. Yeah, look at the heart. Oh, it is. Yeah, Seward, Seward, Alaska. Uh, it's a beautiful place. So far, it's one of my favorite places in Alaska that you can drive to. I haven't seen Valdez yet, but I said one because there's about three other places that I say I like, and I think I like this one up there in the higher level because of the the mountains all around us, picturesque mountains, um, versus some of the spots I've been. You don't have the ocean, and and that to me, having the ocean and freshwater seafood is. It's going to be hard to beat. You can be just about anywhere. If you were to offer me 40 acres in the middle of the mountains, it's hard to say I would pass that. But if you give me 40 acres on a, out here by seafood in this place, or 10 acres versus a 40, I'd say I'm going to take the 10 over the 40 just because you got the seafood access. And being somebody that's from the beach, the coast, uh, I like to be close to saltwater fishing. And you know, then there's a salmon fishing and all the other stuff we can get ourselves into. That's almost virtually impossible to beat. Yes, sir. What's up, Chris? Yeah, how can you quit fishing with the views like this? I would still be fishing, but my daughter had to take a dump. <laughs> Did you? No, it was you, Bubba. But regardless, I, I needed to kind of... We need to start planning some meals and get dinner going here shortly. And we're also we also got a counter offer on the on the homestead. So we're also working with that. You know, day by day. Wow. Like a hard There's water down there, Kira. Damn. Okay. This way. I thought you were standing on there. 
We are. Floating. God, you're so goofy. Yo, yeah, that'd be awesome. Fun to fall in. Hi. Getting getting things lined away on our end, and as soon as we do, man, let's do it. Flights are gonna go have wait. Flights have gone. Uh, oh yeah. I thought we were going to get a snack. Are we going to catch a fish? No, we're just chilling. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, <clears throat> beautiful. You can tell these guys are prepared some, some filleting. I'm gonna sit up here. Go ahead. Beautiful harbor. Yeah, no, exactly. That's what we're doing. We, you know, we. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. They saran wrap their boats out here. They really do. They just have those saran wrap material you guys see how they package it like some sardines just wrap it all up bud just wrap it up <clears throat> boat's going away for the winter throw some sardine wrap on it saran wrap it some rugged wrap heat shrink it's weird how it works Heat shrink, yep. Just sealed in, sealed in package for the season, bud. We'll bring you back out in spring. No, a lot of these campgrounds don't even open until May 15th. Yeah, just put that in perspective, you know. The, the fact they don't even open until May. Most of you guys are sweating ball sacks in May. Hot as summer already is fired off and its temperatures are up there. And Alaska's like, hey, we'll start opening campgrounds in May. Snow might be gone by then. Who knows? <laughs> Welcome to Alaska, bud. Mm. <laughs> May. May of all things. Mm-hmm, for sure. Catchy, I do too. I don't think it's... Honestly, here's the deal. I don't think we're not going to not get it, personally. I think it's just a matter of coming to a deal. We've already got a reply back, a counter offer, and you know we find we find out where we can be and push. See, for me, the way I see it is, I'm looking at it as an investment. So if I have to spend a few a few extra dollars now to get something I can invest in for the longevity, bring you guys something that's never been brought to the table before in IRL. You know, bring back some of the OG nostalgic stuff I've brought to the table. You know, we were the original original uh, pioneers of homesteading bushcraft off the grid living and, and survival streams and camping and all that and uh, we are going to pull that back on a level that's never even close to being done we're going to show you a proper way of homesteading not only that but we're going to homestead in a location that's extreme isolated you got to boat in you can't just fl walk in you can't just go you know what i'm at my homestead today and i feel like i'm just gonna jump in my car and drive 10 minutes to town it's not an option and that's pretty much what's on the table is the reality of life in the middle of nowhere. What it's like to have to home, not have to, but homestead, but also have to figure out how to work all those hurdles. You know, you don't, you don't go, you know, today I just feel like I feel like having some ribs. I better run to the store and get some ribs. It's not the case. It's going to be my goal is to be pretty much only food that I have. So if I want some ribs, I'm going to go butcher a damn cow. If I want some beef and pork ribs, I'm going to go smack a, a pig and pull it out of my freezer. <clears throat> you know, package our own meat. Uh, you know, that's that's what that's how we used to do the homesteading. And to this day, it hasn't been done at that level. People miscategorize what homesteading is on Twitch. It's not just building shit. It's the whole package, you know. You got to be self-reliant. 
And self-reliant means, you know, grow your own vegetables, have your giant garden, have your own food, your livestock, your pigs, your ducks, quills, your rabbits, which we're going to have incubating, you know, we're going to incubate duck eggs, quail eggs, um, all kind of birds, different type of birds. We're going to raise them, have feeder chickens where we'll butcher every three weeks to a month uh, to even a month and a half. We'll butcher feeder chickens like we used to. We'll have a flock of rat, uh, quail flying around and a giant giant filled of rabbits where if I'm like, hey, you know what? Rabbit meat sounds great today. Bop, bop, boom. You know, pop a couple of rabbits, fry it up on the barbie. You know, that's the homesteading goal that I have is to be, first off, we're going to be super isolated anyway. So we're going to have to rely on a lot of the stuff that we said. But the majority of what we're going to rely on is, you know, trying to can our own vegetables, like uh, pickle our own quill eggs, can uh, pickle our own, you know, can can our own salmon, you know, so we'll we'll can fish and all kind of stuff. So we'll be running canning operations, um, packaging food, storing food, fishing and hunting and and uh, butchering. I mean, so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be unique, and that's kind of where we're, you know, where we're at with shit. So did I. Yeah, I didn't realize you're growing so much. I almost can't pick you up. Look at you. No, it's going to be incredible. So I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, well, <clears throat> mine didn't break. they'll have, they'll be free range chickens. They can run and go where they want. There's plenty of forests around us where they can go and do what they need to do. But they're also going to have chicken coops and such out there. The ducks will have. I don't. I don't know what we're gonna do with the ducks. As far as ducks go, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that pond because I do have a pond there, and I want to see because ducks are very vile. Ducks will destroy anything, especially the Muscovies. Boy, Muscovies are they when they shit. They have. It's not just like oh look poop. It's just like <laughs> the whole yard, and then and then they'll they'll sit they'll sit on your deck if you have a porch. They'll sit on your porch and just your whole porch will be a slimy disgusting shit pile so <clears throat> we gotta we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with those because i will have ducks i love duck eggs um i love eating duck ducks is incredibly we good have we're gonna have a ton of quail we're gonna have so much quail it's gonna be insane so <clears throat> some of my some of my and i will bear hunt there's a a shit ton of bear hunting up there bears are everywhere out there um blue there's berries all through the area so there's so many uh, bears Oh, she is adorable, right? Ducks are that bad, Aunt Lily? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Come on. My mom had a handful of ducks. I had ducks as well. I started eating them, but we had, on our, our last home set, we had a ton of ducks. That's and where our ducks went. Yeah, that's where they went. I mom, had a, mom had a deck. Mom had a deck at her place. Probably almost the size of this deck, believe it or not. It was, good. it was a big deck. And we had to pressure wash this deck. Even though she did, we did live in a rainforest, so there's that too. <clears throat> but once a week, she had to pressure wash the deck because there was that much duck left behind shit. And then the... the duck. Yeah, it's exactly what they did. <laughs> so this would be good for a duck pile of shit, but... Anyway, the whole thing is, is it, they, they made a mess. They, they made a very big mess in a um, week time frame. She was pressure washing her deck off because that. And then <clears throat> the one duck she had, I forget the name of it, but this thing would flare up with the wings and the wings would flare up and she, he would come at mom and mom would have to slap him on the, on the, his name was Hansel. His name was Hansel. I remember his name now. So mom would have to slap this duck on the face because the beak because she loved this duck but i was like butcher that duck mom she's like no that's my little dude so she would smack it on the beak because it would because it would come at us and attack it was like <laughs> like a fucking pterodactyl you ever yeah it was crazy man so <laughs> Are we going? what's up abs legend how you doing I $20 from mom. Yeah. So. geese are crazy too for sure for sure sure <clears throat> I haven't had geese yet, but 
I'm definitely going to see if I can do turkey out there. I don't know. I mean, we're going to do it all. I mean, my goal is to document and show the realities of what it's like of the homesteading vibe of how, you know. I did. Snucky right out of there. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be a great adventure. We'll just get at it and do it. So yeah, my, my thing is is catchy. It's not a matter of really I'm trying to get it done this month, but it's just making the deal, making the right one and trying to close it. Cause to me, I'm gonna save money. I'm gonna make more money because I'm not spending it. I'm stationary. The content's gonna be one of a kind. It's gonna be unique, highly unique. I mean, shit, the realities of it. The other day, we went out there to look at the property, and we got stranded out there. There's days you can't get off the property. You can't get off the... It's on an island, but there's days you can't get out there because, I mean, <clears throat> the planes aren't flying, and the boats aren't driving. <laughs> ain't moving. So, and then there's days you can't even get a vehicle on and off. You got to figure out how to get a tractor out there, and you got to figure out how to get the, the livestock, and you, when you get the livestock, you got to figure out how you, you know, you're going to spend... You're gonna spend a few hundred dollars to go do it. You know, you're not just gonna go, you know, I think I wanna get a pig today or a couple cows or a goat. You're not just gonna, like most places, the, 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 you can just drive to it. They like, just oh, grab it, go. You think that many people have fucking pigs and goats in Alaska? Hell no. They're not like, they're, I don't even see farms in Alaska. I haven't seen a damn farm. I haven't seen cow farm or anything in Alaska. Mountain Nuska out there by uh, up in that area. I, I still I didn't see any out there, but apparently, um, whatever above Anchorage somewhere. Uh, I forget the, the valley what it's called, but apparently above Anchorage somewhere there's a lot of farming. But that's about it. I mean, not many people they 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 hunt, dude. They come to Alaska, they raise some cows and stuff. You know, I know you guys watch uh, the Kilchers and stuff. They they do stuff like that, but it's a whole different lifestyle. We'll show you guys. It's TV, it's TV content. It should be on television. <clears throat> but I gotta go pee. Let's see where Bree's at with things. I gotta pee again. Where are we at with the, Kara? What? Where are we at with the?
let's go make dinner real quick. Not real quick, but let's go make dinner. Oh yeah, smokefish, you still here? That's mission eagle. There's eagles everywhere out here. Uh, there's one I got a photo of. Absolutely incredible. We were we were feet from it. Eagles pretty much. Look at these views, man. Get back back, Jakey. Come on, Mr. Car. Drive. See the eagles? <sighs> hmm. Ah, look at these. Oh, that eagle's like, hey, I think they're just uh, so those are young eagles, right? There's two young ones, and that's probably the mom. That's the way it is. Usually, you see, uh, I think I see more eagles in Alaska than I've ever seen in my entire life. That makes sense. So, I've seen more eagles here in Alaska than I've seen in my entire life easily, I think. There's another eagle, look at it. Another eagle. They're, they're just everywhere. Everywhere. There, I know, I was like, hey, stop. He's been trying to see some eagles, let's go. I'll put the big camera on in a bit. They're everywhere, it's insane.
You're making meatball subs? Are we live? Okay. Um, you're, me you're making meatball subs for the, the uh, Vitad too? Really? Wait. Huh. Well, that's an awesome idea. I and Bree hasn't been very inventive uh, for dinner for like a couple weeks. I've been making dinner myself for trying to get it sorted out. And she's like, well, well let's make meatball subs because Balsam's recipe was a good idea. So that's what we're doing, I think. It's right fucking here with this view. Yep. Love it. What's up, Leprechaun? How you doing, Legend? Good to see you, man. What are you gonna do right here? How do you get a better view for dinner than this? <clears throat> Meat mall subs in this view. That should do it. Look at that. We will have to put you guys on a different camera now, you hear? I want the big camera for this view. <laughs> and like I don't think I'd be doing that either. Yeah, we have had uh, a lot of you guys come in saying I don't think I'm into this. Well, if I end up giving you guys a survival stream in the desert, what you kind of go, yo, the fuck was that? I'm just jumped up and hit me in my hand. Nothing's there. Oh, weird, bro. Something legit jumped up and hit me in my hand. What the fuck? Like it, look, it felt like something just literally grabbed my hand. Weird, dude. Like, legit, it felt like someone went up and went like this to my hand and just grabbed it and let go. That was fucking weird. Oh. F fucking. What a winner, so I'm that dinner. Like Yo, Bree with the six, the tier three. Did you work them extra hard today? <laughs> uh, they did go out and play pretty damn hard on the hill, but uh, they're also zoned hey. out. Hey, big dog, right? Yeah. No. I got you, big dog. I got you, brother. Don't ever let me let you Somebody down. Somebody please <laughs> ship Josh for Christmas poopery, like the three pack. Please. Somebody. What we ought to do right here is just sit down. Oh, let's have a fucking beer, dude. Mm -hmm. 
What it do be like, bro? How you doing? A lot of lunches out here. And we're gonna get the table out. Find, find a nice leveled area, put the table out. No snow, no melt, nothing like that. Then we're gonna have a beer with you guys. This is a good view. Won't light that way, no? No, this is beautiful. Let's do it. Bourbon, not a beer. I would love to have some bourbon with you. I would love to have a... I went to get whiskey the other day. And Bree's like, no! I was like, okay. And I even said, I said, uh, I just wanted something dark. You know, she drinks vodka and white rum, and it's like I wanted something dark, right? And uh, she's like, "Nope, we're gonna get this bottle." So fuck it, I'll drink it. But it does sound so good. Nice little glass of bourbon or whiskey on ice, or just even just straight. Bring it on! It's gonna be a beautiful day, man. You guys ready? Delicious, delicious bourbon. Need the legends. Nice green screen. You know, it's just the uh, new and approved technology. We've been working on the green screen for years now. The GCIs are only getting better. You know, I've been talking with Elon. Elon's been working with us. You know, he brought down some of the new technology. He's been hand crafting. Which brings you guys this. We're actually on Mars. Yeah, first one to Mars. Another Twitch first, you know, just out there. Double score, how you doing? Hell of you, right? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've been to a lot of places in Alaska. I've been to a lot of places around the country. Alaska, Seward, Alaska so far. One incredible view. <laughs> and the thing is, as, as, I mean, it's just, as it sits. Okay, what are we gonna go do? There are a lot of cool places in Canada what too are that have incredible go do? views. Beautiful. What are we gonna go do? Together, we, we're gonna find something stupid to do. Snacks, junk food, what are you into? The park. The park. Well, the park's way up there, but there's always the ocean just jumping and swimming. No, I got a chair for you. You can sit down and hang out with Dad. I'm just trying to find something fun for you to do because your sister's doing nothing fun for you. Yeah. It's just awesome. It's just really top five beautiful Twitch that guy's ever seen. Top five? Top one. Now it's it's incredible, but it's only gonna get better. I'm gonna show you guys more places that you never seen in your life. I'm gonna take you guys to the glaciers. I'll take you guys out and see some glaciers, utilizing what we have, the technology, exclamation Starlink. We're gonna be able to do stuff like that. <clears throat> it it's just hard to do um, without any any of this technology we have, it's not possible. That's why we run the most advanced IRO setup on the platform. You guys support gets it there. That beer, let's talk about it, let's get it.
boy, howdy. Getting the Jenny hooked up because the kids kept leaving the lights on inside the trailer. Now the battery's dead. I was hoping to see a little more eagles for you. I guess there's not much trees. What is up? So beautiful, thank you. Thank you, I know, right? Like, I know I haven't cut my hair in a while, and it's a little long. I, I got a little sun, so my face is a little red. I ain't even started drinking yet, but uh, I know, man, beautiful, ain't I? I know, my face is filled. And I'm also I'm getting a little weight, but I'm glad you still think I'm beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> They're not talking to me. Don't, Don't even ruin my Go day. Go this way. Okay. Where's the black tape? Like electrical tape? Right yeah, there. that's it. Man, we fishing while we're cooking, Frank? You know, if we were out that way more, I'd say absolutely, but I used to do a lot of cooking while I'm fishing and fishing while I'm cooking, and we'll get to it. We're working on it. It's just, this is gonna be shallow stuff. I know that people do fish from right there, actually, but I don't know, I don't have much high hope. Give me, give me. I'm opening it. Give me, give me. Give me all your money. Give me your loot, give me the loot. God, is it Miss Red Rain that was coming? I can't. Wait. You have longer fingernails. Yeah, I do it. Um, but do, I, do I have longer fingernails? Yes, <laughs> I have like nubbins. <laughs> um, what? Why are you yelling? She's making gumbo, and I was like, if I had freaking okra, I'd make gumbo right now. I'm starving. Let's make food. I actually, cook us food for once. Well, we'll I'll, see I'll, how bust, it turns I'll bust out the ribs. If it's not good, ask or tell Balsam. <laughs> Balsam's recipe. I was thinking about it. Well, let's do it. Or I was just gonna make regular spaghetti, which I already, oh, actually I should actually do that because the meat's been, been defrosting. Do, defrosting. So we're just making spaghetti? Spaghetti. I was looking forward to meatball subs, but that's fine, I'm hungry. I'll make meatball subs for a lunch. I feel like it's I'm hungry, lunch. so just do it. I will. Deal, take the offer. Do you guys have to give me some to do? Yeah, Ooh, I do, Kira. Yeah, you have a jump do the open. dishes. There's a thing. I'm gonna make spaghetti. Poor spaghetti, Kira. Pajama and spaghetti. What is your problem? She's just bored because Kaylee's sitting on the damn game and she wants to do stuff. So Kaylee, get out. They can start throwing rocks and stuff in I the air. They were going to so you can dodge it. Get off the Nintendo now. I'm playing with too many of me. I don't care. Not right now. It's, it's it's still daylight time. Go play for another hour or six. They're on all the time, so it doesn't matter. You can play with them any day of the week. When you okay. see money doesn't even mod for us anymore. Yeah. She just sits there and hangs out with you. We're gonna break her of that. You'll be fine. Did you ever get that um did you ever get that hooked up where you can shut see money's uh shit down? I have to have Amanda grab her thing and um We're gonna put her on parental and... controls. <laughs> yeah. Alright, shut her and, down. And give me the code so I can do it. Shut her down. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I should have done that as an April Fool's joke of the man on Sea Money. <laughs> you still could. I still can. Well, but she probably heard. No, the problem is the Sea Money's always fucking home. Because Sea Money doesn't. She, Amanda drives. So if Amanda didn't take her somewhere and drop her off, she's sitting there with her freaking Nintendo Switch. 
You know, fuckers. Free bear, I will, but there's two dogs walking. There's a lot of dogs. Big dogs said free bear. Get your butt over there and do the duty. Oh, do you want to go over there and cook tonight? Oh, I would love nothing but to it. just keep driving. Do not draw my truck. Oh, so you can do that. No, you cannot. Get it doesn't it. hurt to draw. Yes, it does. It scratches your truck. It doesn't look and we're going to be by green. salt water and that's going to become rust. This is a piece of shit anyways. You're a piece of... You can talk that's about my way. truck like that. Fine, I'll go get you a... What do you want, a Datsun? I'll eat the dog. You want a Chevy S10 or something? Go, walk along. <laughs> Stop, go start the generator. As soon as you start dinner, I can do that. It's early in the season, bud. I still haven't had a beer yet. Soon. Soon, buddy. Soon. What? Is, is there any gas? Hang on. I'll be right over there, hang on. Hands are cold. Your peasant hands? Why are we in the like? No. So, no. That way. Why are we in the? Or we'll move over here. No, this... that would do that. You gotta move that way. You're literally in like the snow melt. Like you're uh, in. I'm. The, I'm not. The thaw, thaw or whatever. I don't think I'm dealing with you right now. You couldn't have at least cleaned off the table. I did. I'm on the phone. <laughs> I was like, or maybe it's my end. <laughs> oh, that's freaking cold. Don't touch that. Oh, there's a bad influence. Right? <laughs> hey, peasant. What, who are you chatting with? Tell Seaman need to ch- Well, yeah, it's fine. It's better than nothing. Um. Okay. What? Okay, I'll do it. Ask me if he has Venmo or cash out. Cheers. Grab that in. Stop yelling at me. Mister, I'm starving. Put the beer down. I did, no, I'm diving. You have to move that at the same time. You know. I just, on the earring, look. 
right there. Now you pop out the view. Well, I'm standing over here. I'm not standing in that mucky mess. No, I don't expect you to. Why would you do that? Two you seconds. So? Two seconds. You got three seconds before you get on your knees. Okay. Oh, I think something. Isn't it so beautiful? Sebastian, cheers. Hope you're having a great day. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter what way you look. It's just all incredible. Just perfect. Okay, I need to put oh, some. Thank you. Thank you very much. Everything is perfect, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. But you do need to jump your butt up here. Yo, cheers, man. That's awesome. No, you walk the present way. Five miles, school fill both ways. What do you need in there, bud? I need you to get into the cans. Okay, I'll do that in a minute after I put some gas inside them. Okay, I put whatever was left in the yellow one this morning. Hmm. I forgot the lighter. Oh. Okay, Emily. Hey, Emily. Boy, howdy. Oh, boy. Doggone it. Oh, well, thank you again, Isaac, for the support today. Really, really, really grateful. Well, we tried a new spot fishing today. It's early in the season yet. 
Not much luck, but we got a beautiful view and we're gonna make some meal deals, so there's a positive note. I know if I would have went if I would have went where I went previously and caught fish, I know I would have caught fish there. You know everybody keeps telling me that spot's the hot spot and nobody was there so I took the opportunity to throw out some lines and nothing came out of it so we'll try a different spot tomorrow but again we had a beautiful awesome day bright side of the day what's up beautiful how you doing my kid she wants to do some stuff that is it I may have missed a little chat. <laughs> the only way it could be perfect if now I was standing there. What about me, Abby? And good to see you. Uh, hush, woo. Good to see you. We have a good day. Post a link in Discord about anniversary of the quake. Oh. Okay, I'll have to check that out, Mary. Yes. Has mom not told you instructions, dummy? The destructions? Big dog. A legend. I'm blowing myself up here. We're just taking up the parking lot. Never mind us, you know. Just legends out here making. Oh yeah, I like your attitude, bud. Bud. Propane. A little bit of propane. It'll work. It ain't gonna work. Dude, we're gonna blow the fuck up. My propane's going on. What's on? This. Whoa. Oh. It's not even moving. Good God. Let's get away from what's going on here. Oh. I gotta turn. Turn it on. Turn it on. I'm begging you if I can use this. You oh, you it. smell that? That's the first sense of. No, I didn't fart. No, so calm down. It's big dog. He did. Come here. Meh. No kidding. Hi. Right. Smell like salt water. Big Holy shit. That is the first smell of salt water I've had. Realistically, good. I mean, my nose has been fucking broken for a while, it. but I can smell it. Smells good. I've been smelling it. That I is just the not smelled it. First, first, first smell of actual crisp salt water air breeze I've had. I have not smelt this smell since I've been to Alaska, and I've been to the coast several times. I haven't smelt it. It is salt water. Someone must have put extra salt in it. The Mac with 103. Oh, no. Big Dog with 178. Mac with 103. Doggy underscore gaming. She had X178. Big wet fart. It's Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. It's Mac, time. welcome home. How you doing? Mac got a new dog. It's Corona time. For club four, you cheered. X one hundred and three Corona time. Cheers. Hey, thank you for helping me. You. Well, you're not going in there. You're getting off that thing. You're not just running in there. No. I'm gonna throw it in the wood, pud. What woods? The water. There's trees in there. You're gonna eat it all the way over there. Oh, we eat it all the way over there. You have you seen me throw? Yes, you've thrown my electronics very many times. Yeah, you eat it far, huh? And your electronics. Is that no, yes, we're making uh, we're making etouffee. No, that's that. Spaghetti! That's when you see bread, these three Parmesan things, and onion. when you see these three things, it's not obviously spaghetti. <laughs> no, you're not. You're very smart, but I, the thing is... Are you, you sure you about need, that? You need to start coming outside and spend time... Look at this. You look like a zombie. No, I was waiting until I was done with my game. Zombie. This is Kaylee. 
Yeah. 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 I can't wait to drop you somewhere up in the glaciers and see if you make it back, bud. Okay. And I'll just put the tablet. I'll put the tablet on the roof. For their drone. Go to bed. Oh yeah, let's, I'm gonna eat you. No! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh I'm gonna grab all of your hair and yank it out. Hey, quit. Why, why is it so- I don't know, why is he hitting Stop, me? Kira. Boom! I, I did nothing it. to cause this. I'm so fucking aggressive, please. Okay. I'm washing this out. Oh, what? it's not that hard. Why not, bud? Okay, um- Your hair. Okay, so she's gonna give me that paper. I know, I, I have literally a huge rat's nest. No, it's it's not just a rat's nest. It's making this view look hairy. <laughs> why are you, um, why are you, why are you defending yourself over here? Okay, I don't want to talk to you. Tina! Well, I need to, I need to somehow charge my phone. It's at 28%. No, 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 no. Hang on. Just go get me paper towels, please. No, ma'am. Now. Go, because you can't sit on the stream by yourself. Go. Come on, Kira. Go. He doesn't count on being Die! The lighting is great. Oh my god, I don't know why they're so aggressive. Okay. <laughs> hey. Mom, that has a really, really long piece of hair right here. He doesn't want to cut you off. It's so annoying, I just always rip it off really quick. What? Do it! No. Which one? Let me see. It's Stop. like curling. It's like this long. Well, where? What side? It's right there. Oh yeah, I know. It's like going backwards. Yeah. Yeah. It's for my preacher beard. <laughs> There's not But when you're 70 happen, and you're 100, bud. actually you're not going to live that long. Being the way that you're around Kaylee. Facts. She's gonna kill you. I mean, in a video game. In a video game. Awkward. Her, name, her name's KK Kills. <laughs> okay. See, there's something wrong with this family. Starting with Bree. Starting with you. I knew she would have Okay. Red sauce. Oh, I need the meat. Just making spaghetti. These people have been begging for it, so. That lady really walking out there in football. Okay. Spaghetti. I know I was gonna make the chicken meatballs, but it's kind of it's cold in my hands, <laughs> and the uh, meat's frozen. I was so excited for it too. I will soon. Your RC car is right there. Right when you walk in. Or, oh, Kira brought it out here. I don't know. Yeah, give me the RC car. Please calm down. I'm to the battery. God. You know, I know it's like really healthy for you to eat apples and stuff, but this kid has an apple and it's like she just did a line and was like ready to fucking bolt. No, it's it. not cute. That's it's not funny. Boy. What's the point? I don't know. 
I am, Caitlin. You She's kicking her everything right here. Go get them out. Go get energy out. Go. Why don't you guys all go run through the entire town? Go get me some butter and then bring it back from Safeway. About two miles that way. Seriously? Go. Go away from me. I don't want to hear from you right now. Go. Find it then. I won't talk. Sniper girl. Ooh. What? It's supposed to snow here too at 3 a.m. Man, I really hope it doesn't. Go, please. Please, please, please go. You're really ruining my vibe. Please. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. And I got some Italian bread. Mac, creating damn clips over there. Get out of the truck. God. Get out of the truck. Go get your damn energy out, please. No, I said you're killing my vibe. Like you're really ruining it right now. Get out now. Actually, gonna save. I took down both my wind chimes. It's so windy. Holy crap. I need to get the thing out for the pump. I want zero questions asked to me. It's a, yeah, don't touch it. It's the antenna. You break that, you break it. Yes. What else do you think it's for? NASA? Yes, okay. I need to get that out. I need to get this out. Ah, so much to do, so much to do. Oh, and I forgot to get the mushrooms out. You smell that, Brie? Yeah, spaghetti. Here, put some water in there for bear. Hey, you actually smell salt water. That was earlier. No, you smell it now. No, I smell spaghetti. As soon as those people head out of here, I'll let the bear dog out and eat. No, it's salt water, bud. Sandy, good to see you. Yeah, it's not. Cyber Girl, always a pleasure to see you guys as well. Good to see you guys. I'm using your phone. Uh, uh, Cyber because... Girl, the suspense. Did you tell him? The suspense? I no, I haven't said anything. Okay. Are you going to tell him anything? 
No. no, you wait until it's done. I know, I'm not telling them anything. I'm saying that you are so bad at surprises or anything. There's no surprises, we didn't say anything. Just say so you're so bad at keeping secrets. You'd be like, you guys wanna know what we paid for our truck? You know what the thing is, is I got a secret. You don't even know about. I wonder what shoe size I am. Ten and a half. Are you gonna get the stuff I asked you to so we can start speaking? Wait and pull all this shit out. I'm not searching through your shit. Okay, then you cut. No. I will. I'll cut that. Can I get over here and cut this shit? No. I'll cut it. Yeah. I know you will. We need to buy more than one. We need to buy some more batteries. Because yeah, Dad put it on there. I did. Hello, Shorty. What up, Legend? Do we need any more onions in that or more? Whatever you want. How do you want to make a spaghetti? You do it. Can I cut it? No, I'm already doing that. Ugh, I always ask. <laughs> you want to do it? No, I like. No, you get over here. You cut the uh, bell pepper up. No, I didn't get to cut yeah, anything. You can do the mushrooms. I didn't get to cut anything. You can share. You can do the mushrooms. Kira, go get the mushrooms. You, you did it. You, I. You know what? You can cut it. No, uh, you issue. Come on, Kaylee. You're the one now. Do we want jalapeno in it? No. no. What's wrong with you? You're stuck? My butt was stuck in my <clears throat> Are you stuck like a dog? No. We're gonna cut it all. Oh, don't put it over here. That's all no. sand. Yeah, uh, no, what do you mean you're not? Keith, what's up, Keith? How are we doing? We got a really big photo. They're going in on it. They're looking at the olives. Oh, they're going in. You're an otter. Okay, we'll see. Look, I don't see any. That's a rock. Okay, I'm looking at a rock. Let's see. Where the fuck are they? It's right there, Dad. Gone? Those ripples, that's it. Ripples? Mm -hmm. People come back up? Good to see you, Mac. Oh, there that little bastard is. See, right there. Where's Kira now? She's mine. Wow. She wanted to cut the veggies out. Nobody asked her to do that ever. I asked her if she I... wants to do the mushrooms. This is a weird mixture. A mixer. I got it! Because I'm showing you. It goes like this. Oh, this works. That's what I was doing. No, you were on the side. The side. Why does he take two hands? Oh, I don't know. Why he... Oh, really?
He's going outside. There's no stopping him. Go bark. He, like, he, his way you were, he was going right through you. He fought his way out. I couldn't stop him. He goes, I'm going outside, bud. Nobody's stopping I need the pot for the thing. Pot? Yeah. I don't put marijuana in my food. I don't know where anything is, dude. Why is it that I gotta go out and do everything? You're so, oh my god, he's it's, like, it's I don't funny because if I go cook, you're like, you get everything out, and I gotta get everything out when I cook, and I gotta get everything out when you cook. Well, I wish and I was just a back. little taller. Cause look at this. It's literally to here. Step and step. And it's step and step. How does your kid do it? No, fucking right. get over there and help her. No. I won't find it. Yes, you will. I don't know where she can't is. find a fucking turd in a toilet bowl. Okay? <laughs> no, she probably can't. But it was She's a fucking like, gaming where console. Is that? I don't I don't see it. I'm like, Kayla, you're in the kitchen. But I don't see it. Turd in the toilet bowl. Oh, see, I just can't pick this up, Josh. I can help you pick it up. Move, get off camera. Kayla, you're off camera. Get. I think you can. What do you need? This has to get lifted up so I can just grab the big pot out of there. I can just do it. Why didn't you just do it to begin with? <laughs> Stop touching my butt, please. Nobody's touching your butt. I'm trying to help you out. No, you're not. Okay, I won't help you out. Did you sneak her? No. You didn't sneak but her? I should. Stop it. You find the butter, Kaylee? No. You said you had butter. It was in the freezer. It disappeared in the whole box. I know. What are you looking for now? The butter. All right, let's take them all out. We need to find butter. We're not having garlic bread. This will welcome out there. Real Here, I found this for you. This is what you need? What the fuck, bud? I don't know why you're trying to go for a ride. He's just taking a shit right there. He's like, that's it, man. He went to go pee and he's like, nope, it's shit, I'm shitting. <laughs> bud. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Dude. Great, this one will probably have dogs. Probably. Find water now. Bear, come. Buddy, you want some water? He's like, no. Hey, hey! I ain't gonna melt. I ain't gonna work. Hey! Go get some water for us too, yes? Bye, Ford, how you been, man? <laughs> You're drinking my wine. No, I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not touching your wine, dude. So don't come out of your side of it. It's just smell wine. It's fucking salt water, bud. It's calling to me. Although I didn't know you had wine. Now I'm gonna. It's calling to me. <laughs> no, you don't need any. That's it. Yes, she does. Love me. No, definitely not the answer. Definitely not the question. Do I gotta do that too? Let me have my kid do it. I mean, is it hard? No, not yet, but it could be. Here, we no, it's not hard. Please, please come stir this. Here, I'm come on, gonna... help me. Stir it, come on. You are God and Karen making this fucking Texas toast spread. You get out here and stir this. Me? Dad, you wanna know what you are? Get, I don't... get your ass out of here. Go find the goddamn butter. Okay? See what I did there? No, she feels accepted. Yeah. I still find butter. And spaghetti. No, um, Mom, we're going to see a, a lot of lunches out here. Now, yeah, she likes the new spot. She's, she likes it more than I thought she'd like it. Because this is actually the, the location we're looking to purchase. It's funny because it was one of my first places I looked at. So, yeah, will you go stir this, please? 
Mom needs it stirred and I'm busy talking. I'm chatty Kathy over here, bud. Look at her smile. Oh my gosh. Come on, beautiful. Look at the beautiful smile. No? They saw that. Come on. Stir, stir, stir. It's burning. Oh, there goes our spaghetti. We could ever have any nice spaghetti here with. No, I'm not going to do it because I know you're going to do it. I know you want to do it. I don't. Yes, you do. I can see it secretly smiling. Look at you. Look at you, do. Come on. No, I know. I'll be less annoying if you come stir this and I won't talk for like two seconds. What? I get yelled at because I have too much energy and I'm trying and I said You're not getting yelled at. Mom did. Oh boy, how I wanted to go to the park to get out my energy and then Kelly's just like, oh I need I no. need to get, make There's, sure the my thing video is, game's okay. The park is full of snow and we got no room to work, so And you act like the freaking swings are not available. Okay. So we're cooking spaghetti. And good to see you my for the um no, back to the question. Does Bree like the sauce? When I first looked at houses, when I before I even got to Alaska, before basically even got into going into Yukon, I was looking at places. I was like, oh, that's cool. We got into Alaska. We looked at a spot. I was like, this is awesome. And I, I was, <clears throat> we looked at it, we looked at this one. And I showed Bree, and she, she did like, now happening. Yeah. And along along down the road, you know, she came across and found a few places, and we looked at them, and then. She goes, you know, this one, but, and I was like, I know what one it is. It's the one I've been looking at, right? Because I like secluded. I want to be far away from everybody. Somebody asked me today, she said, why do you want seclusion? I said, I hate people. I don't like people. I, I just don't. I think a lot of people just, I think they just need a, they're, they're, they just need a, they're fucking chin busted. In this generation, you can't do that. So there's too many people walking around like that guy today, you know, that, that chick today, come over. You know, they see we have a fucking cargo trailer. They live here. They can see that there's no parking, no trailer parking. And then they had the audacity to be like, hey, uh, by the way, or not by the way, you guys were there, what they said. And I'm just like, you need your fucking chin busted and you need your chin busted. But I can't do that because I'm going to go to jail. So better thing to do is go away from those people and be in the woods. So that's where I'm going to go is in the woods where I, where I belong. <clears throat> so the point is, is. The seclusion, uh, the, the remoteness, being secluded out there. Oh, definitely. I think I know where it's at. So they asked if you like the place. It's okay. It could be, there could be some adjustments, like, Josh is gonna have to get in there and rearrange the fucking kitchen. Oh. My brother goes, if he's a, quit. Boom. He goes, if he's a chef, <laughs> why doesn't he have a better looking kitchen? So that's what I said. They True. thought that was great. I think more than anything, he's a cook, and they, he calls himself yeah. a chef. They're, he likes they're to cook. aspired chefs. They like yeah. to cook for people and entertain. Right, that's no, that's fine. And they're free. We like, we, we're not chefs, but I mean, we make some gourmet food. Speak for your goddamn self. Oh, it man. is what it is. Yeah. Hey, right, I love pickles. That's Kaylee's gravy. eating pickles. Kaylee's eating the, the, the pickles. I have two pickles. I have two pickles. I have two pickles today. Uh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Okay. So you, I guess you're not getting any mushrooms in it, but you're fine. You won't even notice. <laughs> Thanks, Eloy. I mean, uh, yeah. I was like this, we're holding the pickle, grabbing this one. Like you're like pushed on the end and it shoves it down my throat almost. I don't know. No, by the. Give me a bite. <laughs> At least while I'm gonna do my hands are cleaner, so that's what's it. Yeah, we all ask for you guys. We, we know that she <laughs> literally. I wouldn't even consider asking a bite from Kayla. You didn't wash your hands up to the bathroom. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. I just washed. I'm have a thing that the bathroom door won't let you out unless you wash your hands. Dude, good idea. Mm -hmm. oh, that's they're like blocked idea. in there like a vault. Yeah. I'm back. Free, and Nintendo do that shuts later. down if you don't wash your hands. Try to know if we wash our hands. Oh. Beeping. Oh, pop. I already popped it. How does it know if you wash our hands? Oh, it's it's beep. Steaming. I don't know. She's talking out my beep. Mushrooms suck. Every time the stink comes on, beep, beep, beep. Ah, <laughs> Starbuck goes, let's tell us she can't wait. So Starbuck goes in, they're like, come on, please tell us, come on. We haven't, we haven't signed anything. No, 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 no. What she means is like, oh. you, you, a what? You don't get patient. I mean, you don't, you don't pay attention. She said. You, you know what, you, it's going over your head. 
Are you supposed to it's eat the pickle? Mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying, Sniper Girl, but she's. Do you know what a pickle actually is? A cucumber. It's a cucumber. Do you know what a cucumber is? A vegetable. A cucumber? It's actually a fruit. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. It's a fruit. It has seeds. No shot, okay. It's a fruit. Mm. Maybe you Like, this is a fruit. That's a vegetable. There's no seeds. That has seeds. Fruit. Whatever anybody ever tomatoes says. Tomatoes are fruits. The day you ever tell me a tomatoes are fruit. It is a fruit. I don't... Okay, I eat so, it like it's one. Gyro is... Euro. Euro. No. We should get a lamb. Oh, we, we will. I'll kill lamb. And roast it. Yeah. I'll On eat, a big I'll do lamb. stick. Why'd you look up? <laughs> Just on a big stick. No, I'm not stupid like you. No, you're a bird. Literally. <laughs> they both look too. I looked because he looked up. Mm-hmm. Bear! Care out. Because everybody looks up to you. Bear's making an igloo. So Yo, little crazy. shorty fucking 40 Brady. month prime. Bear. I knew you did. Month reset. Pickle hammock is always cool. Somebody better get in the back of the truck and find more butter. I don't need butter. Kaylee, go. She got I know I found the first no, butter. No garlic toast then for you. You don't need butter. No parmesan for you. No. Um, I don't have any pictures for you, Shorty. Uh, we didn't go out there. My phone, my main cell phone. If I can get it to turn on, maybe I'm I can do. Buy it. I have pictures. Yeah. He wants to see a picture. Send a call picture soon. Uh, My, only if he duct tapes himself to a chair. He, he could do that. How about Just gorilla kidding. tape? Just so My mm. main phone don't turn on no more. No, he used duct tape so that he could get out of it. Smart. <laughs> we'll send you a pic. Slip a couple of those other pics in there for him. Make his day. You know what I mean? Of a different house? What, he just messaged Caitlin? No, oh, Caitlin messaged me hours ago. Oh, block her. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it wasn't hours. But I was on the phone. And my phone's on at 26%, so I, I can't even do anything now. How the fuck am I supposed to send these little shorties? Mm. This mm. Uh, 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 that, are you Dude, serious? That doesn't make any pickle sense whatsoever. Stop! Now! <laughs> Those are pickles and that's spaghetti. <laughs> this is why you don't cook. No wonder why we don't offer you to cook. Get out of here. Get her out of here. There's <laughs> maybe the nooches all over me. There's a bear. I'm a bear. Rawr. Growl. Here we go. What? Kira, go find the butter. Yeah, where did you, where'd you get a bottle of water? It looks like a bottle of wine. <laughs> Holy fuck, Jesus did it again! She filled the bottle of water up with a wine. <laughs> At least someone right, noticed. You're literally right in front of the camera. Move. That is. Little shorty. Hey, uh, PM me on Discord. Just say that hi. is classic. Just say hi or something. Because no, I, I can't, can't respond see back. Me. That was bad. That is so funny. Dad, I'm doing splits and stuff in my head. Yeah. Oh, you can't do that anymore. Mm. Right, you're moving the whole damn kid. I can't get up. Yes, you can. No, I can't. All backwards. Big dog, thank you. Will you stop doing it? I don't know why I do it. Someone can help me up. I'm... Why can't you get up? Patience. <laughs> Give me a wedgie. Here we go. Dad is a I'll race you down there. Okay, so seriously, um, we need to find the butter. Are we? <laughs> the fact that you don't know where your I own mean, butter like is shows me a lot about yourself. The truck, we're gonna be just stuck here. We should be like, we should be like, our truck won't start. And Triple H doesn't come out here. Triple H does. Oh man, you'd be mad if I did that. 
There's a reason you have two broken phones and I do not. And but you don't do it like that because that's what char causes the black shit. You don't know, be honest. There's a reason why my phone's broken and yours is not. Because I don't do stupid things. No, anymore. I'm busy doing stupid things. I know. And you're not. Yep. Do you understand how that works? It's not rock science to figure out, right? Josh. Okay. <laughs> I need to use a Ziploc for the veggies. Shorty, are you still part of that old Discord? I know, I was looking for it. Ah, the otter <laughs> jumped seal. up. It's the otter! Oh, it's the otter this time. We recorded. Actually, I don't even have any pictures. I do. Well, no, I do actually have pictures. It's not the case. Your picture is. <clears throat> I do have pictures. Okay. Now I gotta climb in the back of the damn truck. I forgot what it looks like out there. There's snow. <laughs> There's lots of snow. Um. Bree wanted to take a selfie with me, but I told her no. You wanted to take a selfie with me. I just wanted you to uh, feel special for a minute. Being next Derek, to me. get out of the water! <laughs> He's gonna go fuck that thing up, ain't he? Get out of the damn water! He's gonna go mess out it. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna jump down there He's real like quick. He's like ankle and... deep in the freaking water in the bay. You're not a sea dog. Oh, man. Dad, I'm in the water! Proud of you. Oh, I want air fried Noki. Make whatever you want. We can end stream and you can make. <laughs> we can end stream and you can make us uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. Or uh, you can make. Or you, you, you can make ramen. You guys couldn't even freaking do that. Or you can make ramen. You want to make us ramen? I'll eat ramen. We can just end stream and you I got make... shrimp ramen. And you can make, make us ramen. I'll have that for dinner. You want to make us ramen? No, I'm going to make it for me. Fuck you. No, I'll pass. You don't need to F me at all. Plus, that's a bad word. Why is it so hard for everybody to just find? All you have to do is move that and there's butter. See? Lots of butter. Dude, he's good looking. Damn. I still got it, bud. Come on. No, you're not eating all those. No, those are... Gilly was trying to are making food. Gilly was trying to open These guys are eating all the pickles. I just bought these. We each had two. So what no we gonna fried pickles, no what, fried sandwiches. What we're gonna have to do? Get off is, the. Is get. Listen, we're going to have to make dozens of uh, pickles. Stop, please. Foot face. Karen, please don't act like that. Like that. I just. Did, Listen, did you say, did you reply to me? Well, Jordy. Josh is probably doing nice things. Oh, there he is. Hey, I found you. Hey, bud. Mm -hmm. Hi. Why didn't you reply to me, Shorty? You never messaged me. Get that food. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay. No bite. I only have seven on this phone. The rest are on the other phone. Oh, we're not doing mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> yes, we are. Could you imagine not doing mushrooms and spaghetti? Why, I, why even make, like, spaghetti? You know, the last three times I've made it, you haven't noticed. No, I did notice. I just, I just I was just kidding. you to do this. Ah, thing. Kira, 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 what? Don't you ever just come out like that. Look, first off, hold it like this, and just use the tip, and go like this. Okay? Your whole, and you're squeezing these together, so they're staying together. Then you turn it, and you come back like this, and like that. And that's all you need to do. Here you little fucking ninja. No, no, no. I did it. Again, watch again. It's facing okay, butt, butt okay, way against that you. Way. That's all you have to show. And hold it. You're still not holding it correctly. You're still not holding it correctly. You're still not holding it correctly. Watch. See my hand. We're gonna, the monster's gonna hold it. Other hand, because you're right-handed. So this one, okay? Now you're gonna come in with the knife, very carefully, keeping your hands just like this, and just the tip. And you kind of push forward, push forward, push forward. Now we're gonna turn. Maybe or you can just go like this. This is this is. This is awkward. 
Why are you being so aggressive? What did it do to you? <laughs> you touched it. Did you get him, Shorty? Gonna get you, Bear! Don't go through that stuff. I'm gonna go through all the Bear, no! Bear, no! Bear, no! Bear! You're gonna break a freaking hip, dude, and then we have to put you down right here, and you're gonna be living with him. Okay? Bear. Bear? No! He's gone! All gone! Bye bye! All gone! He's like, Jamin, I gotta see what this thing is. See him? Yeah, are you gonna do a rock? No! Don't cut like that! I'm sorry! Are you? No, no, I'm not. I just said I'm sorry like for no reason. You only need one more. Save these for me. No! That's all you need. You literally just cut it all of them. That's not fair. What are we trying to do? Wait till we go halibut fishing. We'll have to send some. We'll, we'll have to free. Uh, yeah, we'll have to send some to people. Why can't you literally just do it like Mom, this? Like it's so much do? easier. No, I don't know. Look, oh my god. Look at <laughs> look, look at this. You make the steering capability easier. It's taunting him. It's like I'm just eating my clams. Yeah, Bear, like, what are you gonna do? I'm just sitting here floating. Bear's like, fuck you, I'm coming over there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bear's following it. <laughs> oh, he gone. Well, where'd he go? Bear's like, wait a second, what? Bear! Come on, bud. Oh, that's all that zooms out. Oh, so close. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good, huh? No, okay, you're good. Okay, I'll grab that. I'll, I'll grab that. Wait! No. No more. No. No. Oh, you can eat that. Yeah. Hey, bud. It's, it's okay. He he belongs out there, and you belong on land, bud. No, thank you. Please stop. <laughs> Bear! That'd be nice! Alright, this is getting ready to boil. Yes. Mom, look who's back! He doesn't walk, he's going back and forth. Bear, come here! If he comes down, he's just gonna say hi. He's nice but old. <laughs> He's nice but old. Like he, he is he nice and old. Okay. I know. <laughs> He's a good dog. Boy, howdy. I don't know what she means by that. <laughs> Me? No, Karen. What did you say? Did you touch her something? Oh, she's, she picked up that. You're gonna keep oh. I'm gonna start putting snow on you. Okay. So, <clears throat> I just sneezed like 28 times. Nothing to it. I think you should do it somewhere else. Yeah, I did. I just sneezed in there. You're, it's not done. Mm -hmm. 
All I do is sneeze. But people are just walking. You sit here. Oh man, I hate sneezing sometimes. It's just been a lot lately. We I hate you sneezing. On. All the time. I know. I've been sneezing more than I've ever sneezed. <laughs> all it's crazy. The time. Uh, all right, so we're going to jump off the YouTube. We're live on the YouTube. So if you guys want to finish up the stream, twitch.tv slash 30 show. We're live out here and uh, we'll be over there on YouTube putting out YouTube content. I got heaps of content to edit. Also, YouTube shorts are going out left and right. So if you guys want to check our YouTube shorts out, do so by jumping over there on the YouTube. Exclamation YT for Twitch viewers to YouTube. And YouTube, you can go over here on Twitch. The reason why I get off at YouTube when I do the cooking, because I kind of want to leave the YouTube for more the outdoors fishing and outdoor cooking is awesome too. But it's kind of I don't know, kind of what I've been doing. And the box. Yes. Yeah, maybe we'll change open. it up eventually. Maybe, maybe we won't. Guess not. So sorry. Wait, what do you mean? Guess not. So sorry about what? What? See, it was a good day though. Yo, it's been a great, a good day. <clears throat> oh man. This is what I did. Oh, we haven't, uh, we haven't. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, they. We're talking about it. Yeah, so <laughs> they, give, they give us a counter offer. We have a call. Yeah, we, there you go. Streaming. We haven't had time to actually decide what we're doing. They do. countered. There what? we go. What? Can I have one noodle, please? I just gave you one noodle oh. and then you just flung it at my head. So, so I haven't had time. To talk to Bree, even look at what do it. I do with it. So, I'm up in the air with no? anything that's been done. I haven't. I'm streaming. You know, that's doing what we're doing. Really. So, um, it's not the same. but yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna uh, kick it off the YouTube. So, uh, if you do follow the YouTube guys, go over there and do it. We've been crushing the content over there. Uh, we, I can't wait till settling, settling down somewhere where I can start editing those vods I've been working on. I got some good, uh, good content for you guys. And then. Oh. For the very beginning of us going into the Kenai Peninsula, <laughs> so all the way from the start of the Kenai Peninsula, we're doing. Uh, I'm doing three days episodes, so we're doing episode, episode, episode. Stop. It's going to lead up to the point of us where we're at now. So I've been taking very little, short minute to three minute clips, just videos of us, everything, every day we've been uh, on the Kenai. Uh, even going out and looking at the homestead and then all the stuff up to this point we've been doing I've been doing oh, shit so. dog on, off the leash um, Kelly get him in the truck real quick before he's even bear. the trailer No, it's open in the back. It's open in the back. It's not gonna jump out of the back. Yes, he will. He did last time. Bear in the truck. No, 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 no,